Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god. Yo, what up chat? How's it going? Oh, wrong scene. Let's go, uh, wait. Let's go here first. Okay. Where's the music? There we go. All right. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Yo, Habibi. Hello, Habibi in the chat. The one and only Shady. Hello, Habibi. What's good? Just got off work. What's up, Apo to go? Well, we got a long stream cooking up tonight. We got a banger because finally, one of the bundles that I've been waiting for since it got announced is in-game, dude. And I'm pretty stoked for it. The Godzilla bundle. It looks so good, dude. And also, I'm pretty sure these guns are kind of meta, which is nice. Um, I think this is, what, a striker? I think the striker's meta. So we're going to have a cool, like, frosty gun effect on one of the meta guns. What else do we have? We got the MCW in here, which is looking juicy. Oh, yeah, dude. This is it, fam. And, of course, we got Shimo. The MCW is a Mastercraft. All right, Isaac, what is a Mastercraft, okay? Let's just, hypothetically, guys, let's pretend, all right? Pretend that I'm a complete noob on Modern Warfare 3. Pretend that I've been playing mobile games for the last, like, eight years, and I know nothing about PC and console games, all right? Let's pretend, all right? I want you guys to talk to me like I'm a complete and utter imbecile. Just but, but pretend imbecile, okay? Let's pretend I don't know what I'm talking about. What is a Mastercraft? Let's, let's, uh, <clears throat> let's pretend I don't know what a Mastercraft is and maybe someone can explain it to me. Equals custom geometry. Okay, chat, let's pretend I'm an idiot and, um, can, let's pretend I don't know what custom geometry means. What is, let's, uh, what is custom geometry? A Mastercraft is a gun skin with tracers and a kill effect. Okay, okay, all right, okay. You guys could have just said that. Coming in here saying all this fancy, this, that's a Mastercraft. Bro, you could have just said it has, it has cool effects. All right, I know what that means. Yeah, this skin is kind of sick, dude. The only problem is, I don't know if the MCW was meta, but <laughs> we're going to make it meta, bro, because this thing looks sick. Yo, Zay, thank you for the member. What up, Metalcore? Congrats on the banging stream earlier. You pay $20 for unique inspect animation. Okay, is that... Well, it's it's a lot more than an inspect, because look at this. It's got way more than just that. Oh, dude, and they explode. Okay, I love the effects where the enemy just explodes. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. By the way, I think I fixed my stuff, so hopefully it won't lag when I try to record on Modern Warfare 3. I'm going to try to set up like a two PC setup because that's how most actual Warzone streamers do it. 
But uh, yeah, last time we tried to record some of the uh, the battle pass footage in Modern Warfare 3 and it made my computer lag. Because I'm trying to stream, record, and play all on the same computer, which I thought I could do that. I thought I could do that with a 4090 graphics card. Apparently not. But I lowered like almost all the settings I could possibly do to try to make it not lag. So we, I do have DLSS for a little bit of sharpening, but I'm playing on like 1080p. I can't lower the frame rate, but I got a 4090, dude. We're on like low, 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 very low, off, low, low, very low, off, 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 low, off. Like I have everything as low as possible. All I did was put textures at normal so it doesn't look like absolute butt cheeks. But other than that, yeah, I don't know what else to lower to try to get my computer to like run this game while I record. I don't know. Yeah, dual PCs are the best. I just, as a mobile gamer, dude, I I don't I have not configured my thing to have two computers. Bro, I need a double, I need a dual PC setup just to make Warzone mobile content. <laughs> what is gaming coming to? Does mobile look better? I mean, at the end of the day, bro, like, in order to test out all the effects and stuff, and, and to test out the finishers, that is one thing, is we don't have the finishers on mobile, so I can't ch uh, check out this Frostbite finish on mobile. So that's why I like to open it on PC, because I I also like showing off the cross progression. I think it's cool to tell everybody, like, hey, uh -oh. did you know? Did you know that you can buy the skins? on? Dude, look at the back of it, bro. Oh, my God. Like, people don't know that you can buy this stuff on PC, and then you can literally load it up on mobile, and you, and you have it, too. It gets kind of cool. Bloodstrike also has a PC version. Nice. Yeah, if you guys didn't catch my last video, I just uploaded it a few... Um, I uploaded it a few hours ago, so let me tell you guys what's going on here. Let me do like a little bit of an announcement, all right? Um, here's the deal. Here's the dealio, okay? I announced, and I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to talk about this for too long, all right? Like, you guys can time me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take 30 seconds, okay? Ready? I'm going to explain everything in 30 seconds. Here we go. Boom. I announced that on PUBG Mobile, I'm not going to do as many crate openings because it's super expensive. And I'm literally losing money every single video, spending like $800 to get an X suit, and then the video only makes like $200. So I announced that. And then second, I said Warzone Mobile. I'm having a lot of fun, but I've noticed that some of you guys aren't having fun with Warzone right now. So I proposed an idea, and I said, what if on the channel we played Warzone Mobile, but we also played Bloodstrike, which is another fast-paced first-person battle royale game that's super fun, that's very optimized, and a lot of you guys can probably play it. Um, if you're having a hard time with Warzone, you might be able to play Bloodstrike. So we could do viewer games. We could even maybe do some crate openings on that game because it's also cheaper. So I just threw that idea out there and said, what if we did Warzone and Bloodstrike together? You get two fast-paced Battle Royale games. I really like Warzone. Some of you guys really like Warzone. But some of you guys can't run Warzone. Or maybe some of you guys just really like Bloodstrike. I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's a good balance. I just, I like doing this with my hands. What do you think, chat? I think that's, I think that's a cool idea, you know? I love Warzone, I am a partner with Warzone, I love Call of Duty, but I'm not stupid, and you guys aren't stupid, there's some problems right now, and I think it would make sense to try something new, we can incorporate a little bit of Blood Strike, I'm sure they're gonna fix Warzone, I have full faith and confidence in the devs, they're working hard on it, um, and it's, it's gonna take some time, um, but I just think, at, deep down at my core, I just wanna try something new, you know, that, that's really why I wanted to play Warzone in the first place, was, I just want to try a new game after like six years, you know? So, I mean, we can give it a shot. Who knows? Or maybe everything comes crashing down and in two weeks, we're back on PUBG Mobile doing another lucky spin. No, I'm just kidding. We're not doing that, okay? We're not going back. I'll keep playing PUBG Mobile as well. I know a lot of you guys are missing PUBG. I miss PUBG a little bit too, but dude, I, honestly, I like Call of Duty. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. It sucks right now. I'm getting a lot of hate on Twitter, a lot of hate comments, a lot of people coming in my stream saying some nonsense to me bro i'm actually so happy and i'm having so much fun for the first time in so long bro i'm, I'm enjoying myself dude this call of duty stuff is so much fun bro so, but it's funny man just at the one time that i'm having the most fun i'm also getting the most hate so i'm just like come on man come on really really right now y'all can't just let me have fun <laughs> it's okay all right. Do you like the new Shim Shimo bundle? Is is this the Shimo bundle, right? Yeah. Oh, of course. We're about to buy this thing right now. Give me give me ten seconds, and we're maxing this. Also, check this out though. If you get all four of the bundles that are related to the Kong versus Godzilla movie, 
you will unlock this super sick like Kong melee uh, like poof, which I think is pretty sick too so but you got to get all four bundles but even still all four bundles that's like 80 bucks total you have a love-hate relationship with COD I'm sure after 20 years a lot of people do I did I have not played a whole lot of COD so for those of you guys that have been grinding Warzone for like four years I'm kind of new to this so I'm actually like it's fresh fun I still enjoy every minute of Verdansk I mean I could see where you play any game for a long period of time you might get a little bored but trust me I'm not bored at all with Call of Duty I'm not burnt out on it That's what you said about New State, and now look what happened to that. Wait. Oh, you mean when they, uh, what, that they'll fix New State? Well, the thing about New State, here, look, if we're going to talk about this, I'll mention it real quick. The thing about New State is they actually fixed it. New State's amazing now. Just most people don't play it. But, like, it actually, they actually did fix that game. Um, it's way better now. It's way optimized. I can run, I can run New State better than I can run PUBG Mobile. I'm not even kidding. On New State, I can play ultra graphics, 90 FPS. Bro, on PUBG Mobile, I can't even do balanced 90. I knew I do ultra 90, and on PUBG Mobile, I can't even do balanced 90. Like, what's up with that, bro? New State is actually way better now. A lot of people don't know it because they just they don't market the game. They don't sponsor any YouTubers to talk about it. They don't do they don't run commercials. They don't run ads. New State doesn't market their game at all. But like, it actually is really good. New State has that footstep problem. Yeah, no, I, I think that's the one problem, dude. If they could fix that, it would be so much better. The footsteps. But in the new in the new era update with Jetta, by the way, though, they did fix the footsteps. Now there's, like, directional indicators that tell you, hey, there's an enemy, like, in this direction. Hey, there's an enemy in this direction. So for at least for the new era, like, that Jetta mode with all the jetpacks, it, it's a lot better. Anyway, wow, how did we end up talking about New State? We were talking about PUBG Mobile on a Warzone stream. Now you guys got to me talking about New State? What the heck? What is going on? All right. <clears throat> Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Winnie. Welcome back to another blah, 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 blah. Somebody, Somebody said they missed me wearing the sunglasses in my opening. So, you know, I'm going to just wear the sunglasses. And maybe we'll play the Dr. Disrespect music. And I'll be like, can we get a Godzilla bundle on the first pull? Yes, we got it. First try. And, you know, you know that's just that's how Warzone works. We'll put the glasses on and we'll just get everything on the first pull. All right, if you guys are going to miss the crate openings, we could, I can try we could try to recreate some of that magic. You know? Can we get it on the first of the day? It was me. I missed it. All right, Raphael. Well, this is for you, buddy. We'll throw on the old sunglasses just for this opening. All right, what's this called? This is the Shimo Tracer Pack bundle. Okay. All right, lads. I think we got to get started. Um, <clears throat> me, 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 testing, la, 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 go with the music first, oh, you want me to play the music, the problem is, am I gonna get a copyright, I think I started getting copyright claims if I play Dr. Disrespect's music, bro, the two times trying to take my money, which is, it's fair, it's his song, he's allowed to do that, um, all right, I'm sorry, no. all right, I got it queued up, chat. You ready? Here we go. We're going to record another Warzone Mobile and mixed with a Modern Warfare 3 video. Where should I put my camera? I never know where to put my camera. Let's put it up here. Okay. <clears throat> Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Win and welcome back to another video. We finally have the long awaited Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire Shimo Tracer pack in Warzone Mobile and Modern Warfare 3. This is an absolutely insane bundle that has one of the sickest operator skins I think we've ever seen in the game. I mean, just look at the back of it, bro. If you weren't sure why this was called Godzilla, well, now you know. We also just got a whole bunch of balance changes for the new Season 3 update, which means some of these guns are pretty strong, including the Striker 9, which I believe is one of the best guns right now for SMGs. So not only do we have a strong gun, we're going to get a sick blueprint for it that's got all the tracer rounds and everything that you can expect from all of the sick guns in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone Mobile. Look at this MCW, by the way, too. I don't know if the MCW is meta, but oh my god, I hope it is, because I want to be using this blueprint, bro. This thing is sick. Let's check out the FX preview here. So another gun that has the enemy absolutely explode into a pile of 
frozen, frostbitten body parts on the floor, dude. This thing is crazy. Let's check out. I think we got the similar effects here, too. We're also uh, going to get a custom finisher with this Godzilla skin. Yup, look at that. Dude, this is so wild. I love these effects, man. We also have this Flash Freeze Stun Grenade skin, which is kind of animated. Yeah, you got like the goop on the inside moving around. We also have a custom finisher. By the way, custom finishers are not in Warzone Mobile yet, so we will. The reason I opened this on Modern Warfare 3 is so we can like still check out the finisher. The devs have said that these custom finishing moves will come to Warzone Mobile soon. Uh, but they're not in there yet. And last but not least, we have the decal. We got the loading screen for PC and console, obviously. And we have the Ancient Ice Weapon Charm. Now, one cool thing I want to mention is this is not the first nor the only bundle that's coming from this Kong X Godzilla movie. We just did the King Kong bundle a couple days ago. And if you unlock all four bundles, you get the Beast Glove, which is a custom melee that's the Kong Fist. <laughs> Dude, so honestly, once we get this bundle, we're going to be halfway done and then two more and we're going to get this Kong Fist for getting all four bundles completed. So I'm not going to lie, though, chat. Somebody in the comments mentioned they missed my crate openings. They missed the glasses and stuff. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to see if today in Warzone Mobile, I mean, <clears throat> Modern Warfare 3, can we get this insane mythic operator on the first... Pull of the day, all right? I'm feeling pretty lucky. Let's go first to the day. Oh my god! Oh! No way! No way! What? What? We just got everything! The first set of 10! What? Oh my god! What? That was only, that was only like $20. <sighs> oh my God, dude. Uh, anyway, well, there we go. We got it. Let's check it out. Cool. That was insane. I, that's never happened before, dude. <sighs> I don't, I, I don't even know what to say right now. I mean, I'm in complete and utter disbelief. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm literally, I'm literally shaking. <clears throat> Let's go, chat. W's. Let's go. That's right. We're not just lucky on PUBG Mobile, baby. All right. Operators. Oh, crap. Wait. What is... Wait. What is the... Uh, <laughs> whoopsie. What's the uh, What's the operator for? It's not... Is it its own operator or is it... Uh, uh, is it this guy? No. Hold on. What is it? Byline. Okay. It's for byline. I always forget to check who it's actually for. Now, the real question is, bro, where, who's byline? <laughs> Which one's byline? Okay, byline is the guy with the... Okay, I see. So, byline normally has, like, the all the, the things on their face. Now, we've got Shimo. Crack it down. All right. Nice. Uh, let's make ourselves a uh, Lodi here for the new guns. Uh, let's replace this one. It was a uh, striker, right? And it was an MCW, so I believe the MCW is... Isn't that a battle rifle? No, it's an AR, I mean. MCW right here. We got the Glacial Cold. This has got a 60-round mag on it, too. Heck yeah, and for the handgun. Oh, wait, no, we need... Dang. We're not going to be able to... We'll just have to make a second one. Uh, on Modern Warfare 3, it doesn't let us do, like, two actual, like, first... Uh, Main weapon is what I'm trying to say, like primary, and then we uh, have to use a secondary, and the SMG is a primary. So there's one. Custom loadout, too. Let's just swap this over. SMGs. And uh, this was for the striker. We've got the Frostbite striker. W. And uh, let me see if I can make a custom room. Yo, Isaac. Isaac, you down to help me out again, buddy? Maybe we can make a habit out of just murdering you for my videos. So let's go to the COD HQ. We go over here to a private match. Create a private match. Oh wait, was it was that a training? Can I do go with like training dummies? Wait, what did that say? COD HQ. Go over here. Uh private match. Training course. Is that what can we do the training course or no? You need overkill vest papa. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I I I thought there was a way to get it. I just couldn't remember off the top of my head. Um 
do I have the pr the question is do I have that unlocked? I probably don't because I'm a nerd and I don't have anything unlocked. Let's see. Uh, wait, is this my ranked loadout? Oh, that's a I don't want a ranked loadout. Did I select ranked? No, I don't want ranked play. I just want multiplayer. Multiplayer. Loadies. Let's see. Can I put the vest on? What did you say it was? Change vest? I need the... What kind of vest? Overkill vest. Where do you change the... That's the gear. Boots. Padding. Infant... Oh, the vest is right here. Infantry vest. Overkill vest. Yes, I actually have it. Let's go. Sorry, chat. I know some of you guys are like, this guy's such a noob, bro. He doesn't know anything about Modern Warfare 3. How did Call of Duty ever sponsor this guy? He doesn't know what he's talking about. And you're right. I don't. All right. We got it. We got both guns. We're chilling. Um, and then, hold on. I was going to ask. All right. I got Isaac. Let's just rip it right now. I, I don't think the training thing, that's not going to help us, right? This training course. Isn't that like the super noob like tutorial? I don't think we want to do that. All right. Um, oh my god. No way. Do I have to, uh... I gotta change my operator. Like, dude, I gotta reselect all of this stuff for the private match. Alright, let's go Shimo. Weapons. Multiplayer loadout. Change the vest. We want the, uh, overkill vest. Got it. Boom, bam. Watch this. Dude, look how fast I am. MCW. Glacier cold. Equip. Secondary. SMGs. Striker 9. Frostbite. Look, I'm a pro player, guys. Okay? Boom. Look how fast I did that. I'm goaded. And, uh, yep, I'm here. He's there. Spectator, Codcaster. Can I change the map? I don't want to do Invasion. How do I change the, uh, game setup? Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch. Map. Invasion. What's a fun map? Six Star. That looks like a cool map. Isn't this a new map? Isn't Six Star? I think Six Star is like a brand new map. All right. You're deploying to the war zone. Any idea when it's coming on mobile? Uh, what? The the Godzilla bundle? Oh, is it not on mobile yet? Oh, it might be coming tomorrow then. I guess maybe Modern Warfare 3 gets bundles like a day early. Um, I, I do remember that the Kong bundle also came like a day early. Yeah, so this is also a brand new map that just dropped in the update. Oh, is it on mobile? Okay, cool. Team Deathmatch. Alright, hopefully this doesn't lag. Let me know if it lags. Alright, it shouldn't lag. I've configured my computer. Alright, let me know if it lags, chat. Alright, I'm cleared to engage any and all threats. So I'm gonna I'm gonna what uh, <clears throat> engage any and all threats. Alright, here we go. Let me find Isaac. Yo, can we, like, chill by the pool, bro? I want to check this map. Hold on. Uh, this map looks sick. Yo, let's come out here, bro, by the pool. We kicking it. Damn, bro, look at this view. Oh, <laughs> those are all my boats, chat. Listen, chat. You know? <laughs> if you if you grind like me, you'll have a view like this one day, too. All right, anyway. We got to get out of here. I only rented the place for an hour. All right. Let's check it out. First and foremost, we got the MCW. Oh, nice. He pops a little crystal off of there. Yo, what? Oh, that's fresh. All right. We also got the striker. Very nice. Got that uh, hit effect. Nice. What do we got on this? Dude, this is crazy. Oh my god, bro. Do these just stay? These just stay. His, these are his feet. His feet are just on. Oh, oh, now they're gone. Okay. Bro, this is so insane. Yeah, that's why it's called a Mastercraft. You're right. It's got that custom inspection.
Wait, let's see. I might have forgotten to equip the finishing move. Let's see. I might have to back out and redo this because obviously this uh, has a finisher attached to it. It's sad that the MCW is not in the meta. Bro, I might just figure out how to make this thing be meta because I want to use this. It's crazy. Dang it. Yeah, we don't have the custom finisher, but there is the operator skin. That looks crazy. Do I have the skin? We don't have the skin for the stun, so I'm going to have to equip that as well. This is so insane, dude. I actually think this is crazy. The explosion effects, too. All right, let me, uh, let me back out. Let's get the custom finisher. Did that lag at all, by the way? I think we finally... I think we finally figured out how to make my computer not lag and, and be able to record. Look at that. Isaac didn't even get a single kill on me, bro. <laughs> he sucks, dude. He's so bad. Couldn't even kill me once, bro. No lag? Perfect. Um. Alright, let me put on the finisher. I do want to see it. So, let's go. Operators. Custom finishing move. We have the, uh... What's it called again? It's this one right here, the frostbite finish. Okay, it's frostbite. And then also, you know what? While we're at it, stun grenade, we have the flash freeze camo. Now the question is, does the camouflage also, like when you get stunned, does it, does the, uh, the flash look different? Cause I know in COD mobile, when you put a skin on the stun grenades, that like the flash also has a different effect. I know I got a stun grenade for like the uh, the siren, uh, uh, mythic operator, and that stun grenade like it makes it look instead of like a white flash, it's like water. It doesn't look different. Okay, good, good call, good call. Team deathmatch. All saver, you've got the nod. All right, I'm just glad it didn't lag. That, that's good. All right, so all we got to do is uh, hit the quick finisher, and then we can get into some mobile gameplay, lads. Find and eliminate all hostiles in the area. Find and eliminate all the hostiles. The hostiles. We've got some hostiles in the AO. No shot. I just kicked his head off. I just kicked- Oh my god, bro. What? 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 That's insane? He literally freezes him solid and then kicks his head off. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Look at that stun. Oh, and then uh, we can do the laying down finisher too. No way! Oh! Nothing personal. That's just the job. <laughs> wow. Wow. <coughs> wow, 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 wow. That is actually insane. I'm going to turn my face cam off so we can see this thing like completely and fully. All right, yeah, get back here. I ain't done with you yet. Oh, my days. That's wild, bro. All right, let's hit this inspection just one more time. It lagged a bit during the laydown finisher. All right, that's fine. Let me try one more time. Oh, yeah, it is lagging, isn't it? Dang. Dang, it is lagging. Freaking A, bro. All right, hold on. What could I possibly lower to make it not lag? Yeah, it did lag slightly, didn't it? Um, Is there any setting on here? What else could I lower? I don't even know. Texture resolution, low. It's gonna look like butt cheeks, but here, lay down. Track you down. Nice, okay, I don't think it lagged on that one. Cool, all right, let me do one more finisher with him standing, and then we should be good. I don't think it lagged on that one. Higher the VRAM target? Oh, does that need to be higher? I, th I had it maxed out. I thought I needed to lower it so that it doesn't... 
Where's the VRAM target? Right here? Oh. Nothing personal. That's just a job. Dude, look at all the bodies. <laughs> like, they don't go away. He's missing a head. Missing a head. Missing a head. Missing a head. Bro, I'm I'm hitting all headshots today, dude. Look how good I am, chat. Look at this. A whole army of stasis couldn't stop me. Okay, wow, that, that took... Why did that take so many headshots to kill him? That's actually crazy, bro. Crouching finisher? There's... Uh, guys, there is no crouching finisher. It's the same as the standing finisher. Here. Crouch. Yeah, see, it's the exact same thing as the standing finisher. Track me down. The whole the crouching finisher, guys, is a myth. There's no actual crouching finisher. It's either laying down or standing. There's no I don't think that unless some of them do, I don't know. I love how the gun just goes like flying. Alright, boys, you wanna hop on a mobile? Down finisher? Yeah, we did the down finisher. <coughs> Alright. I think that is good. What are my PC specs? Guys, I have the most insane PC, I promise you. I bought, at the time, I bought the best graphics card and best processor you could even buy. I have an Intel 13900K, which is a 24-core processor. I have a 4090 RTX. I have 64 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. Like, literally, like, my computer can't be better. And it's still, like... <laughs> it will lag. It's because I'm streaming in 1440p, recording in 1440p, trying to play Modern Warfare 3, all on the same computer. It's It gets a little crazy. Oh! I spilled my energy drink, but it actually didn't spill, so that's good. Okay. The iPad for Warzone Mobile. The lag is from OBS, not the game. You think so? You forgot downs. No, no, Hawk Dubs. I did the downed one, man. I did. I He laid down like four times. I don't know why I always plays that meme every single time I switch to that scene. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta... I gotta log in, man. <clears throat> I also gotta plug in my cooler. Sorry, chat. There's a lot happening right now. <laughs> I got to plug in my other cooler and then I got to log in. Oh, whoops. I can't log in because I'm still on in the game on uh, PC. I got to close the PC version before it lets me log in on mobile. Spin for the new C suit. What's a C suit? Next time. Take off the preview on OBS. Started as moderator. It should not like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I, um, I know what you mean now. You mean started as administrator? Got you. Yeah, the the preview on OBS that definitely helps. Good point. Um, I was recording on my Samsung Z Fold Five, so the game probably looks a little scuffed. There we go. Back to normal. Let's turn on the hand cam. All right. Okay. We are in. 
now let's rebuild our loadout here on mobile and get our operator going and everything. So let's go, uh, let's go to gear up operators. We got to find byline. She's not too hard to find because she's got that, that crazy night vision goggle. Yeah, there she is. Shimo. Boom, bam. Just like that. And uh, I like that. This is like my main loadout. So let's not mess with that too much. Let's yeah, let's replace the uh, the Kong loadout. Actually, these are the Kong guns. So let's get the Godzilla guns going. Assault Rifles, MCW, Glacial Cold, Set of Monarch Stinger, let's get the Striker 9, Frostbite, and just like that, look how easy it is, man. That does look pretty clean. Uh, I did that in what, BR? Yeah, I guess we could just hop straight into BR and try to get our Lodi going. Or maybe we could make a multiplayer. Let's Yeah, let's make a multiplayer and then we could test it out on Rust. We were already using the striker, so let's just replace it with that. Even this gun, too, from the battle pass is going to look super good. I mean, the boss B, I'm pretty sure, is meta this season. Twenty-four-seven rust, and we're chilling. That was fast. Yash Parker, thank you for the member. Finish and the flashlight. Uh, the finisher isn't in mobile. That's why we checked it out on PC, because the finisher's not on mobile yet. I need my claw socks for my thumbs. Oh, wait, crap. Oh, big mistake. I need my like trigger thing. I knew I was missing something. Hard point. Capture and hold the target area. All right, so wait, hold on. We're on high graphics. Let's go to peak. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably want to see it on peak. Just to look the absolute best that it can look. Dude, I'm going to get some absolute sweats harassing me. Where can I go? This I'm not going to get harassed by anybody. Else. Oh, well, there's the effect. What the? Right here? Maybe? No? No? All right. So this is the striker. This one doesn't have the custom animation, but the other one does. Oh my god, oh, come on. I needed my teammate to kill that guy. Heck yeah, dude. That's so sick. All right, let's see if we can kill somebody with it. Or even get a finisher. No way. Oh, that was with the striker again. Dang it. We gotta keep switching to the MCW. What? Okay, yeah, this MCW is ass. I can't kill these guys. The gun literally doesn't do enough damage. What the heck? What the heck? It's laggy. What's laggy? Oh, the gameplay? It's because my frames are like 30 FPS on peak. I'm playing on like a lower frame rate. Bro, I can't kill anybody with this MCW. It's so hard to play on peak because of the frame rate. Bro, what the f I just want to get one good clean kill with the MCW. Is that so much to ask for? All I got to do is just hit somebody like 10 times because this gun does not do that much damage. MC I know the MCW was booty cheeks. Oh my god. 
I gotta switch the MCW, find an enemy, line him up, hit him 10 times. There's no way, dude. Okay, there we go. Fortunately, that guy was a little too far away. All right, what do you say we just hop into a BR? I feel like we could check the guns out better if we actually just go into a battle royale. You get slammed no matter how good you are. That I know, dude. Playing on uh, playing on Rust is toxic. You spawn and literally die. It's it's like almost as bad as shipment. See? Yeah, this guy's mounted in the corner. Look, I hit him like four times. He killed me with a shotgun. What? A shotgun out killed me from that range before an MCW? I can't aim, dude. I like it's not moving. There we go. All right, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to settings, graphics. We're gonna go on high uncapped, and it's gonna be. Oh, never mind. Okay. We're gonna play so much better on high. That's why I don't play peak, by the way. I don't play on peak because it's like 30 FPS. But then high is like 90. So it's like complete, like two completely different games. I play on peak just to get like screenshots, but other than that, I turn peak off. Dude, that was a fat rip. All right, let's do some BR. Let's see if anybody's online. Not a ton of people are online. Maybe I can invite that J guy. He's pretty good. We can hit a mobile royale because we get our loadout in the first like five minutes. So we'll be cooking no matter what. Is there anything I can do to fix this MCW so that it's not total garbage? What do we think, guys? This lowers the accuracy like crazy. And plunder, you start with your loadout? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, actually, maybe we just do that. Maybe we just rip a plunder. And I could do it. I don't need teammates for plunder. It's just, it's casual. Put on a grip, change the muzzle. I was thinking more like ammo. Like if we put on uh, pressure, like look at that buffs the damage up like crazy. The problem is the TTK is so high because it does like no damage. Oh, what? Wait, oh, I guess. I mean, it makes sense Isaac plays uh, mobile. What do you think of chat? Overpressurized? What can we take off? High grain ammo? Nothing you can do, brother. You just gotta kill. You gotta get kills from far. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, you take off the drum mag, dude. I I need that drum though. I mean, it has thirty. We could take. We could try taking off the mag. We could try putting on some high grain. And I want to take off this optic because it's goof. It's it's freaking goofy, dude. Um, 
What do you think about, uh... I know what I, yeah, you know what I'm gonna put on there, bro. I'm gonna put on my schlaggy, okay? All right, Chet? I like the schlager. Okay, I don't care about no eagle eye. All right, around here in this house, we use the schlager. Don't let anybody tell you the schlager's worse than the eagle eye. They're lying. Don't take it off? Why? Nah, you need 50? I wish the blueprint was on a better gun so it would be worth using. I know, dude, it sucks. Don't take it off? Well, what 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 should we... What's the... Pro I don't know what else to do, chat. We can only do five attachments. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we do 60 round mag. What should we take off, though? The barrel? Oh, hell no. Nope. Nope. Screw that. We're gonna... Alright, let's reset this. That got real... Oh, God. That's so ugly. Why did that do that? Reset that. Okay. Don't change the bullets. Keep the 40 round. Remove the suppressor. There is no suppressor. It's a, it's a muzzle brake. Muzzle, put the Zem in 35. I know I have it unlocked because I've used it before. Bro, I can I can never find the attachments I want. Maybe it is locked actually. Hold up. Where's the Zemin 35? Flash hider. Oh, there it is. Oh, dude, it's so long. It's the Zemin compensated flash hider. Okay. Alright, we got the Zemin. MCW has clean sights unless it's different on mobile. <clears throat> oh, so you're saying I don't need the optic? Is that what you're saying? We could take the optic off and then we could put the high grain. How are we feeling about that? How are we feeling about that? Change the stock and put the... Wait, what if I take the stock off? Oh, it's so ugly. Bro. Why they gotta do... Why can't they just put the skin on it? Oh my god. I think it looked fine the way it was. Alright, let's, let's let it rock. Okay, I mean, I, I want to see the skin. I don't want to change all the attachments. Then there's like no skin left, you know? All right, let's just do a plunder, and we'll see what happens. The problem is now, on both of our guns, we don't have an optic, so <laughs> we're not going to be firing very long range here. Don't move the gun too much. Tracer and kill effects are going to be gone. Yeah, how do you get the tracer effects? Is that attached to the muzzle, or is that attached to the barrel? Or, what? It, like, what is it? I changed the muzzle, so is that going to change the bullet tracers? I mean, I know you guys are get, trying to give me good loadouts. Like, Nopsy gave me a good loadout for the MCW. But the problem is, if I change all the attachments, then there's literally no point in even using the skin. Because you change some attachments. If you change two things, yes. Oh, you lose the effects if you change just two things? Oof. I think we changed... We changed... One... Th well, we took the optic off. And we changed the muzzle. Uh-oh. Does that mean we're going to lose the effects? Get yourself a proper warm-up. We'll be deploying soon. Well, let's find out. No, you can keep the effects as long as you don't change the ammo. Well, I didn't have any ammo. No, we fumbled the bag, chat. We fumbled the bag. It doesn't have it doesn't have the effects. All right. Bro, alright, I'm just gonna reset it, dude. Why am I gearing up? I need to back out. Bruh. Chat, you did me dirty. So, alright, here's what happens. You said that if we change two things, if we just change two things, then... 
it's going to mess it up. So we can only change one thing. Take off the ammo and you're good. Yeah. Well. What could we change? I can't honestly guys, if we're going to if we're going to change anything, I kind of want to just put an optic on it. Or maybe we do the Zemin. Yeah, maybe let's do like the Zemin. And then that's it. All right, that's it. You don't need the high grain. Yeah, I, I just did the Zemin. I don't want to change anything else. I mean, I, I think the optic looks cool enough. I don't want to go iron sights. Just don't change the magazine. Oh, is it the mag? Whatever. Let's let's see. I'm just trying to get some gameplay for a video. You know, we don't need to we don't need to sit here and like analyze it. Bro, I swear to God, if we got if you could get 650 men into a room and study a problem, they could solve anything the way that we do for freaking Call of Duty loadouts. All right. The amount of men that we can get into a room and focus on attachments and, and high grain ammunition with a Schlager 3.4 scope with a Zemin flash hide compensator. Bro, if we all focused on a real problem like world hunger, I'm sure we could do anything. <laughs> if men put the same amount of attention into anything else that we do to, to our Call of Duty loadouts, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Men will go to the grocery store with a list of four things and they'll they'll still forget something. But then men can sit there at night and they'll be like, all right. <laughs> so if I add the Zemin compensator, I'll get plus 4% damage drop off, bullet velocity distance from 30 meters to 70 meters. But if I change the 60 round mag to a 40 round mag, I get 0.2% greater mobility strats. And I can have a 0.1% jump to stand speed ratio on my tax spread. Bro. <laughs> For real. Touch me, says touch me. Okay, that's, uh, that's number four. All right, here's the Godzilla operator. Objective is to eliminate the bounty target. What's up, Cyper Gaming? By the way, chat, I didn't announce it. I, you guys know how I had an extra token for my Bentley opening? And I said I would do a giveaway? Well, let me be completely honest with you guys. I forgot to do the right, giveaway. But guess who the first person was and one of the only people to ask me about what, what I was doing with the token? Like, days went on. Nobody asked about it. The first person was Cyper Gaming. And Cyper is always super nice. They're always supportive in chat no matter what I play. I love that they're so positive. So you know what I said to myself? I'm like, you know what? I forgot to give away my Bentley token. Cyper was the only person that asked me about it. They're super nice. So I was like, you know what? You can have it, Cyper. Congratulations, you won. So, so, I'm, so I added Cyper the other night. We're waiting 72 hours, and then I'm going to give Cyper my Bentley token. So congrats. Enemy dropping into the AO. Cyper's really nice. I think they deserve it. So W, Cyper. What is this, dude? I feel like they swapped out. There's like a bunch of random guns on the ground now. Damn, bro, he's got a big fat bag of cash on his back. Holy crap. Wait, where are my Lodi guns? Oh, I'm an idiot. Did I? Oh, I'm stupid. I dropped them, didn't I? Because I thought I didn't have guns. Wait, I need my guns back. Wait, what the heck? I don't think I had the right ones anyway. He 
Yeah, I had a pistol. Wait, so where are my loadout guns? Maybe... Oh, maybe when you die. Oh, okay. Bro, I can't even die properly. Can I buy a Lodi? No. Okay, fantastic. Double barrel is ground blue? Yeah, I know. I've never seen a double barrel. It's so random. Yo! Shady! What is the purple hit marker, dude? I keep getting a purple hit marker. When I shoot guys, I get a purple hit marker, and I don't know what it's for. I can't, I don't know what it means in uh, PC Warzone. Friendly UAV online. All right, I'm gonna jump off this building. Plates, I guess. Yeah, but it's usually the first hit marker. I get it. Like, it's the first hit marker, and then it, it's a purple one. So, I don't know what it was. When you hit the butt. Yes, it's a it's a booty cheek shot. Alright. We're deploying you back to the front lines. Go get them. Alright, we should have our loady guns now. Somebody on Twitter just said, I'm a shameless liar who's paid to promote lies. That's awesome. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Okay, we got the hit effect. <laughs> Bro, I literally tweeted, hey, do you guys like Bloodstrike? We should try. Do you want me to try Bloodstrike? And somebody's like, you're a shameless liar. Will playing Bloodstrike affect your Warzone partnership? Guys, no, it won't. Nobody understands this. Just because I'm a partner with Warzone, I can still play whatever I want. I can play PUBG. I, I could be playing PUBG right now if I wanted to. The truth is, I just don't want to. I want to play Warzone. Nobody believes me. Okay, this MCW is not that bad. Guys, playing Bloodstrike won't affect anything. It really won't. I'm, I'm not kidding. Look, if you don't believe me, watch. I can literally close this, and we can open PUBG Mobile right now. All right, look. Look, it's fine. Nothing bad is going to happen. It's okay. Guys, it's okay. It's fine. It has zero recoil. No, dude, it really did hit. Yeah. All right. Is my fan on? Oh, I forgot to put the thing underneath for airflow. That's why I was like wondering, why is my iPad getting hot? There we go. All right. Well, we're not going to actually play it, so. Sorry. Bro gets banned three days later. No. <laughs> is Bloodstrike even good? Yeah, I think it's good. I haven't played it in a long time. Um, I wasn't going to play it because I was honestly was just going to play Warzone. But the more I thought about it, and I was like, you know, maybe we can play them both. They have similar mechanics. They're both first person, you know, like the sprinting and the gunplay and the loadouts and stuff. Um, it's a lot of fun. But the thing is, uh, Bloodstrike's really optimized. So if you guys have been struggling to play Warzone while we wait for them to fix the, like, optimization, that could be a good game for us to play in the meantime. Enemy UAV active. 
You show the QR code. Wait, what was that QR code? Yeah, wait, what was that? What was that thing on my PUBG Mobile login? What did that say? You use a device that already logged into the game to scan the QR code of the new device for login authorization. Once authorized, the new device will take over the original device to log in. What is that QR code? Enemy dropping into the AO. Deep breath. You know the drill. It was a two factor. Nothing bad. I've never seen that before. The QR code will expire immediately after you leave this page. Oh, okay. Thank God. I'm like, did I just... Chill chat. Okay. I've never seen that before. That's really strange. But, okay. We're good. Whew. Man, I thought I was like, uh, wait a minute. Did somebody just scan that and steal my account? I mean, listen. If I, I'm not that worried. I mean, my account got hacked before. I might be able to get it back again. So, I'm not super worried, but still. Yo, wait a minute. This thing actually might be kind of disgusting. If used in the proper hands, you know, if used for good, not evil. Um, I think this thing could be kind of nasty for like a long range beamer. And look, this has the same effects too. Like all the feet, <laughs> the, the freaking frozen feet had me stressing. I don't even own the account. I know, dude. Another guy from Bangladesh is on his way to nuke my account, bro. Chill. Told you, just shoot from far. Yeah, no, dude, you were right. But I probably would need an optic to go with it. Oh my god, bro. Is my cooler on? Yeah, it is. Okay, for some reason my iPad's getting kind of hot today. Hotter than normal. I don't know why. Maybe it's because we played on peak. And it, like, warmed up. It wasn't that hot the other day. I didn't have one of my fans turned on for a while. So maybe we just gotta cool it down. 1k likes fast, guys? We're, yeah, we're at 560. I figured it out. If you change the ammunition, you lose the tracers. I looked it up. Oh, okay. That's a good, that's a good point. So, wait. Then what if the, what if the blueprint doesn't have ammunition? So if we add an ammunition, it won't work? That's weird. Yeah, actually, I want to put the Schlager scope on here, dude. If I could just swap the optics, this thing might not be that bad. I just can't be, be I can't be beaming guys from this far away with a red dot, bro. I can't even see where I'm getting shot from, bro. Fuck. Finally, you're gonna stop spending money like it grows on trees. Happy with the decision. Yeah, no, I think it's not a bad idea to not do as many crate openings. I mean, like, I'm not broke, Chad. I'm not sitting here trying to be like, I don't have any money left. I have to stop doing crate openings. It's just not smart, you know? Like, I'm almost 30 now, and you gotta save money for retirement. You know, you've gotta, like, you can't just spend all your money on crate openings. Like, I have to start saving for my future. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's just as dumb. How the hell you lock on like that? Mine never does. It has that recoil. It's not locking on, bro. It's I just aim with my finger, dude. Watch. That's not a lock. I'm I'm literally aiming. I'm just holding it on him, bro. You just gotta hit your shots. You gotta get good, you know.
No way, bro. See, this guy, he can't hit his shots. Is it me or does it feel like the tax sprint is recharging like mad slow? Are we in overtime? Okay, we're in overtime. We gotta, we gotta pick it up. I wonder how much cash I get from this. Have I tried the finisher on mobile? Not yet. Oh my god, I have so much money. We gotta lock it in. We gotta lock it in. Where can we lock it in? Oh, what the heck? Is that Wicked Half? Uh, Jose Gomez. Yo, wait, Jose, are you, did you used to be Wicked Half? Thank you for the 10 gifted. Aditya, thank you for the member. Lil Pancake, thank you for the $5 super chat. Curious to know what your current iPad stand cooler setup is. Links would be great. I can help you out, Lil Pancake. So, all right. The reason that I haven't really told you guys about my iPad stand setup is that I did something really stupid. And I ordered the dumbest iPad stand that it works, but it's like $170. It's so dumb. So I would not recommend you guys buy this thing. If you can find, I couldn't find a cheaper one and Warzone Mobile was about to launch and I just needed to order some, order something. So here's what I use, okay? I'll show you guys what I use. <laughs> it's kind of whack. Um, let me see if I can put my hand cam up here so you guys can see. So, okay, here's the setup. And then I could share with you guys some links. But again, like I said, it's kind of expensive and I wouldn't recommend it. So how I play is like this. I play like this. Let me see if I can like pull this up a bit. Um, here's the iPad. I play with a trigger on the side for aiming. And I play with a cooler on the back. I can link this. This cooler costs $30. All right, let's set that aside. Underneath, I have this stupid thing. It's a it's a Razer laptop stand that's got like USB ports and all this fancy stuff. It's got like RGB. Hold on, let me see if I can do manual focus or autofocus. It's got like RGB ports and all this stuff. That's why it's so expensive. Now, I was dumb. I literally don't use any of this stuff. It's just a basic stand. That's open on the back, so it has room for my cooler. This thing was like $170. And I, it's like, you could probably find a stand like this for like $30 or $10 or $20. Underneath, I have this laptop cooler thing um, that's double fans. Sometimes it starts to get really loud if I move it. So it's it, it can be turned up or down on the side with this little knob. And then underneath that, I have a super ultra high-tech piece of wood that I have that just kind of lifts it up because when this lays down flat there's not a lot of airflow so you have to lift it up a little bit to get a little bit of airflow so yeah this is my super insane ultra giga chad sweat lord like mobile gamer setup to play warzone mobile and stop my ipad pro from overheating and melting while I stream because playing the game and streaming makes it like double hot so yeah I can link you guys this but yes this is a stupid I bought it for the shape, but it was super expensive because, like, you can plug it in. It's got, like, an HDMI port, USB ports, USB-C ports. It's got, like, a cord under here. I don't know if you can see that, but, uh, yeah, so it's, a, like, a laptop fan. If you guys are iPad players and you're looking for fans and coolers and stuff, the best thing to search is actually just laptop coolers. They work pretty well. And then, yes, I saw you guys making fun of me. Yes, I do use a trigger. That's how I ADS. So I'll be playing like this, and my middle finger is back here, aiming. Yes, that, that this piece of wood is uh, it's made by Gucci. This is a one thousand dollar Gucci mobile gamer piece of wood, limited edition. So yeah, <laughs> you know I wasn't gonna link you guys that because <laughs> uh, you know nobody can afford that. Okay, it's a piece of wood, bro. That's that's high end.
He's using a controller, chat. <laughs> yes, chat, I'm using a controller. Yep, I do have double coolers. I'm not, guys, I'm not going to lie to you, all right? I'm not going to sit here and be like, <laughs> Warzone Mobile runs perfectly fine on my iPad. My iPad doesn't even get hot. My, I don't have any heating problems. Yeah, guys, my iPad gets hot as balls. It Not as much after the most recent update. Now it just stays warm. Oh, look what, you know what I got? I got the gun. I got a thermal, it's a thermometer. I can take temperatures. So I could show you guys how hot my device is. Like here, um, let's take a, let's take a device that's room temperature. Like, let's take this, let's take this phone right here. How hot is this Samsung? It's just sitting here. It hasn't been turned on. It's doing nothing. How hot is this? Wait, let me turn the light on. 26.3? 26.3? Right? Was that what that says? Celsius? That's how hot my, like, a phone is, like, normal. What is that Fahrenheit? Yeah, that's, like, 79 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's like, uh, that's like 26 Celsius. This phone's just sitting here. It's not doing anything. What is the temperature of the wood? Yeah, also like the temperature of the wood is like 25.7. That's kind of how hot it is in here. Let's see. How hot is my iPad? I just turned the screen off. The iPad right here is about 32 degrees Celsius. 33 which is like 91 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not crazy. Now look at, like, look how cold it is under the cooler. This right here is 27, 28. Oh, it's going up 29. Oh, it might be going up because it's literally getting warmer because I took it off. That's like 87 degrees. Yeah. So the cooler keeps it a little bit lower. It feels kind of cool. This thing gets insanely cold though, like insanely cold. Let me show you guys how cold the actual cooler is. It says 64. So, like, this is in the 60s. Probably even cooler. It feels like ice, bro. Yeah, it's going down now. 59. Which, in Celsius, that's like 18. 17, 16, 15. Yeah, 14. This thing's getting mad cold. So, the cooler's like 14. Where the iPad right now is like 31. And the block of wood is like 26, 25. So yeah, it's about, what's the, what's that? It's like 77. Yeah, I'd say it's about 77 degrees in my studio, bro. It gets hot as hell. So yeah, this cooler gets mad cold. That It really helps too. Also, pro tip, I put, instead of putting my cooler in the middle, I moved it slightly over to the side. Because more of the heat generates on this side of the tablet because the processor is like over here. So there you guys go. That's a full in-depth breakdown of my stuff. How hot am I? Ninety-six point eight. That's pretty accurate. It says, uh, Damn, boy, you 10 out of 10. God damn, son. Giot. That's what it said. It's, I, I swear. Battle Royale. Almost 100% of pure hotness. Oh, -ho! thanks, chat. By the way, Jose, aka Wicked Half, thank you for the 10 gifted again, man. I thought I saw you said yes. Dude, I don't know how I remember that. I swear. I have like I have one of those weird brains that can like remember like people's faces. I can recognize profile pictures. It's weird. Where's the hotel map and Ellis Silo? I'm not sure. They had different maps in uh like the soft launch, and then they kind of just took them out. Didn't you update your iPad? What do you mean? Like software or like the actual, like, did I buy a new one or do you mean did I update Warzone Mobile? I, I did update Warzone Mobile. We're on the new season three update. 
I did not buy a new iPad yet because um, the, I'm waiting for the M3 iPads. They're supposed to come out in a few weeks. Um, and then I, I haven't done any software updates recently that I can remember. Put a scope on the MCW. <gasps> Yo, true, 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 truly. I'm falling in love. All right. Where is it? Where's my Schlager? Put the Schlager 30.4x scope on that. Yes. Nice Schlager. Yes, very nice. Yo, wait, hold on. Could we also, could we also improve the striker, the frostbite? I, th I don't think we need an optic on here. We do not need an optic. So, chat, you said as long as we don't change the ammunition, we should be good, right? Let's put a muzzle on here. Let's see if we can jack up the damage. Usually the last muzzle, a couple of these. What about this one? It, inc it increases... Mobility and damage. All right, I'm going to put that on, and I don't care about what anyone in chat has to say. Okay, I'm doing it. Leave me alone. I make my own decisions, all right? It's meta. Trust. Yo, Vimal Sarminra. Thank you for the 36 months. Thank you for the three years, Vimal. I appreciate that, man. Let's go. Okay, can we get some W Vimals in the chat, please? Three whole years of membership. That is sick, dude. You're in iPad OS 16. 17 has come out, though. Oh. Yeah, I don't know anything. I just play the games, bro. I don't know anything. That low-key looks like the UMP. Yeah, no, it, it kind of does, yeah. What is going on? Are we actually connecting? I think we're, uh, we're lagging out. There we go. All right. Sometimes you just got to like toggle it over. You are you able to tell them to add hotel and El Asilo back? Well, I think right now they're kind of worried about more important things like optimization. I saw some people commenting things like, um, why did they add rust and why did they add plunder? Nobody asked for this. We want optimizations. But the thing is. They probably had Rust and Plunder, like, planned for months. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of this content, it's not like they woke up one morning and they're like, huh, should we optimize or should we put in Rust? <laughs> Let's put in Rust. It's not like they did that, you know? They're working on the optimizations. I mean, the, the, the thing is, this game is built on the same engine, right? So they could honestly just turn on pretty much all maps if they really wanted to. I, I think that's how that works. If they wanted to just be like, yeah, let's just add... Like, any Modern Warfare 3 maps, they could probably just pop it on. I don't know if that's true or not, but, like, because the games are linked, I know they can do some pretty crazy stuff that, like, other mobile games can't really do. So they can just turn it on. So it's not like it took a whole lot of time for them to do that. Who am I playing with? I'm just playing with some viewers. We got Isaac and, uh... What was his name? 1v1? Yeah, 1v1J. The Jack glassless optic is bugged for people. Oh, I haven't tried that. I've heard the glassless is pretty good, but I haven't heard about it being bugged, no. Why don't you guys tell them the reason for all of this? It's clearly the high-res asset streaming. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I have told them. I've mentioned it, yeah. Um, I, I remember talking directly to one of the producers at the global event. And we were talking about how they, like, stream in the textures. And I mentioned, I was like, would you guys ever maybe consider doing where we just download everything to our phone or tablet and just have all the files? Because that's literally how every other mobile game does it. PUBG Mobile, when you download PUBG Mobile, you have Erangel. But then you fully can download Miramar, Sandhawk, Vikendi. You download them all, right, to your phone. Just like all the skins, you download all the skins. As far as I know, Warzone Mobile is the only game that does this like, like, oh, we're gonna like stream the textures in real time. And I'm like, maybe we, maybe don't do that. I don't know. I don't know how it works. But if that would help, maybe we could have this stuff just downloaded like straight to our phone. Because that was one of the biggest problems, I think, on the first day. Was everybody was like trying to play the game for the first time. And it was, everyone was also streaming all these textures. And it's, it's pretty much like you're trying to play the game and you're also like doing a download in the background, you know? It's going to make your phone heat up. Ah! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Enemy 
Enemy UAV active. Really? Your teammate was sent to the Gulag. They'll fight for a chance to redeploy. Really? But. Placing Claymore. No. No. Oh, does that have to lock on? Oh, that's stupid. That's so stupid. Does that have to lock on to a car? Oh my god. I don't think it fired. It never fired. Rip. He's on the roof. RPG? No, it was one of those like uh, anti-aircraft thing. I think it has to lock on to a car or a helicopter. I don't think you can just straight fire it at somebody. Bitch, Oof. bitch, bitch, mm -hmm. bitch, bitch. Why are you running? You don't care about HD graphics. You just want low graphics and high FPS, just like PUBG Mobile. I know. I feel that. I feel that too, man. I just want the highest frame rate possible. I don't care what it looks like. I just want the highest FPS. Well. The javelin? That's what it was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you played only one match. The heat was crazy. Oh, shit. Well, look. Let me be honest with you guys. This is what we tried to tell them. We're like, hey, listen, okay. Mobile gamers, they'll wait for years to try a game. And then it comes out. They'll play one match. And if they don't like it, they delete it. So if that first match that everyone's trying... Their phone's getting mad hot because of texture streaming. They're all going to uninstall. So if you played only one game, yeah, your iP your phone is going to be really hot because all the, the texture streaming occurs in the first, like, three to five games. You actually have to play a while for it to stream in, and then once it's all streamed in, your iPad, sh or sorry, I keep saying iPad, your phone or iPad should not be as hot. But a lot of people tried it, like I said, that one game... It got hot, and they're like, I'm deleting. Because of the, the streaming, you know? I think most people would rather just download everything up front and then just play, you know? That's that's what I would do. Just let me download everything. Like, I'm not worried about storage. I feel like most people aren't really worried about storage. I know some people are. But, like, dude, PUBG Mobile and COD Mobile are, like, 30 gigs. If you, do, if you downloaded everything in COD Mobile, it's literally 30 gigabytes. I'm not even making that up. I could show you guys right now. And uh, PUBG Mobile's like right behind it at like 29 gigs. Like people don't care. Like they're trying to keep Warzone down to like 9 gigs. But it's like, bro, just let us download everything so we can play. Enemy dropping into the AO. Do we still have the tracers? We do, W. Okay, all right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this gun. It's not that bad. So I think this build could work with what we have. If we go striker, like SMG AR, that works. This AR would not work with a sniper. No. Dang it. I had to reload cancel. I probably had enough bullets. I don't know why I reloaded that. Can we see the finishing move? No, the finishing move's not on mobile, guys. If you want to see the finisher, you can rewind the stream. And I tested it out on PC, but the finisher is not on mobile. They haven't added custom finishers yet. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. How do I... T oh, that's, that's a little bit. A little bit. Okay. We don't like those words. Oh, my God. You know he was trying to open his chute right there. It didn't work. 
Oh, let's go. W teammate with the buyback of the century. Buy a Lodi. Yo, get the Lodi. I need the gun. Oh, I think he did buy a Lodi. Yo, is he actually goaded? Let's go. Homie is actually the best. Oh my god, the MCW, baby. Bro, that was three knocks on that mag. That was actually... Okay, alright. I'm. I think this gun is kind of fun, dude. It might not be the best, but it's fun. Also, yo, what the heck, dude? We've been holding over 600 viewers this whole stream. That's actually kind of a W. If you guys have been enjoying the Warzone content, I appreciate it, you know? Trying new things is always scary, but I appreciate your guys' support. No. And there's a guy over here, too. This is not looking good. Please have plates. Please have plates. Oh my god, bro. Just better. Okay, that was a tough spray. Garlish? Gar garlic LA. I thought I said Garlisha. I knew it. That's a win. Okay, that actually got turned around pretty well there. What's up, Extreme 22? Nice gameplay. Thank you. Yeah, we actually got locked in there. After he bought us back, dude, we went crazy. Nice little good gameplay. With the new Lodi guns. Dang, man. Isaac with the carry.
I don't know what it is today. My iPad is definitely getting hotter than normal. I think it's because I started the stream with like my one fan off. And I also was playing in peak. And I think it got warm from that and then it's just never really cooled off. It's not getting any hotter, but it's not getting any cooler, if that makes sense. Always getting kicked. Oh, wait, yeah. I'll back out, dude. I'll invite you. That was whack. Can we change the zone color? No, you cannot change it. But I do, I do know that they're aware of the fact that... Um, the zone is like being very red is something that some people have complained about. So hopefully we'll see a change to that in the future. But yeah, the, the, the circle is like really red. The gas is very red. And it can be kind of hard to see, especially if you're in the zone. It can be difficult to see. So yeah, I'm sure they're aware of that. What gun were you using? I just bought the brand new Godzilla bundle and we were using the MCW and the Striker 9. Both of these were blueprints that we got from uh, the bundle. I just made slight modifications to them. But we've got this, uh, the Glacial Cold MCW. It's got the Zemin. We also changed the compensator. So we added the Zemin Flash Hider. Zemin, Zemin 35 compensated Flash Hider. We got the 16.5 inch MCW Cyclone Long Barrel. The Schlager 3.4X. The RB Regal Heavy Stock. And the 60 round drum mag. We also have the Frostbite Striker 9. That's got the Stovall Tack Laser, Striker Recon Long Barrel, XRK Knockout Breach Muzzle, 50 Round Drum Mag, and the Recon Series Stock, uh, the Lockman Recon Series Stock. It's like a little Glacier UMP, you know? <gasps> Yo, chat, could I make a Glacier video? <laughs> Maxed Glacier Loadout in Warzone Mobile. <laughs> Instant million views. New Glacier Godzilla bundle maxed. Yep. This is the Glacier M4 of Warzone Mobile. <laughs> oh, yo, bro. Oh, yeah. I can see it now. Glacier... On the first pull? What? Nah, dude, I'd lose subs. They'd be like, you clickbait and son of a gun. SMGs are meta in Warzone, that's right. Up close and personal. Did you know that SMG stands for Shoot Machine Guacamole? It looks like Moon Knight. Yeah, kind of, actually, yeah, kind of. Wait till they make a real Glacier M4 for $20? Bro, if Warzone Mobile wanted to troll PUBG Mobile, they could. They could make a Glacier M4 and make a bundle and literally make it like $10. <laughs> oh, that'd be so crazy. Yo, guys, check out my Glacier Ram. To change the loadout mid-game, press pause and loadout. Yes, you can do that. I got 31 kills in plunder and we still didn't win. Oof. Sounds like you were too worried about fighting and not about cashing in the money. Whoa, dude, wait, did you see that? Look at him glow. Whoa. I didn't realize he glows like that in the plane. What the heck? I wonder if I, like, if I were to hide in a corner, do you think they would see me because my character glows? I feel like you can't really rat in a corner with this skin. I mean, it's literally bright white. Superstore. 
Yo, and Sandy, how you doing, fam? Love from Pakistan. What's up, Maximus? I hate this EBR, dude. I always pick it up first, and it gets me killed because it's so bad. Is there not a single other gun? Thank you. Well, this isn't much better. I need a gun that's not this. Oh my god. We could get Lodi actually. Oh, never mind. There's no buy stations. Bro, where's like just an SMG? Rival 9. Thank you. Enemy UAV active. Oh, never mind. We got loadout in the first. Loadout marked. Does the inspection still work? Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Even though I changed some of the attachments, the inspection still works. I gotta try to get an execution so we can see the operator. Oh, right here. Oh, of course he died immediately. Dusted him. Dusted him. All these dudes trying to land on loadout, you know? I got so much money, bro. Let's just start with, like ripping some UAVs. Are there not any buy stations? This is crazy. That's like the only buy in the whole circle. That's wild. Oh, I forgot because we did a recon contract. We can see the next circle. Enemy UAV active. I don't normally do recons because they feel useless, but because you get to see the next zone, that's actually going to be so clutch in like ranked mode and stuff. I can't wait for ranked mode. I feel like when I play this game, I'm just running around. Not even using my brain. I'm just shooting and running, bro. But when, when you play ranked, you actually have to think and strategize and like play as a team, you know? It's not about who can get 40 kills. It's about who can win against Giga Chad Sweats. Oh, it was driving away from me. I thought it was driving towards me. Got some guys over here.
Sick. Okay. Oh god. Getting kind of beamed from somewhere far. Just closing in. Got some loot here. Friendly UAV online. Friendly UAV online. Bro, if we had a mortar or something, I swear to God. Bro, I can't. Like, how do you get out of here? No. This building is so confusing to me. Your teammate was sent to the gulag. They'll fight for a chance to redeploy. Need recon overhead. Your teammate is redeploying. Stand by. They're all on. Oh, he did. How'd that hit me, what? Advanced UAV? Oh my god. Oh, we're going up, up. Oh. 
Oh, damn. Boom, bam, bada, bop. Cowabunga, baby. Let's go. Dusted him. Bro, these guys were sweats. You hear them on the freaking all chat. They're like, he just bought his teammates back. There's one more. He's over here. Hostile mortar in the A. Bro. Whew. That was fun, dude. I've actually never fought around that freaking air tower before. That was sick. We had the stuns going, the frags flowing, the buybacks. The oh, dude, the double clutch buyback. Oh, baby. That game had it all. Let's go, chat. Every time I win a game like that, it just reminds me why I like this game so much, dude. It's so exhilarating. You were so focused. I know, you just gotta lock in, you know? You gotta get in that flow state. We ran out of bullets in the MCW, had to switch to the Striker 9 at the end, dude. Luckily, those guys, like, they didn't have self revives because I think we kept knocking them so much that, uh, luckily, when I killed that last guy, it was just all done. Kaput. Cool, cool, cool. I think that's definitely, uh, that might be the gameplay we use in the video. Dead ass, bro. You bought back so your teammates could just eat bullets so you could clutch. I know, really. They were just like cannon fodder at this point. I called back in two, two meat shields. Let's go. Honestly, 11 for a little mobile royale is not bad. Especially with the sweats out in full force. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of this bundle. The Godzilla power. There is a new AMR skin. The cat AMR? Is the finisher working? No, the finishers don't work on mobile yet. They're they're going to add them soon. That's why I bought the skins on PC so I could see the uh, finisher on PC. Get yourself the proper warm up. We'll be deploying soon. Yo, Insanity, why my MCW doesn't have shooting and killing effects, but my Striker 9 has special effects? I'm so confused. confused. Yo, CJY, thank you for the super chat. Did you change any of the attachments? If you bought the bundle, you should put the blueprint on, and then it should have all the effects. But, if you change, like, the ammo attachment, don't add an ammo. If you change the ammo, then it won't have the tracer effects. Winning streak, chat, keep count. Oh, are we? What are we on? A two-win streak right now? I think so, yeah. So far, so good. Mobile Royale is fun. I actually, I'm starting to like it more and more. You get the hot drop, then you get the loadout, and then you immediately just start frying people. You don't have to wait, you know? Nice. We also got the buy station at Super. Lots of buy stations in this circle, too. That's a W. That skin is fire. Um, actually, it's ice. <laughs> it's not fire. It's made out of crystal. No shot, nobody went here, bro. How come every time... Oh, well, look at this guy. Way up there. Yo, give me a sniper rifle. I'm gonna bang this dude right now. Come on, come on. No, what is this? Is this enough? No. Yes? Get banged, dude! There we go. Miss? Bro, I didn't I literally hit all five shots. I don't know what you're waffling about, blood, bro. I didn't miss a thing. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go over to this buy station and I'm gonna throw a cluster mine on it just because I feel like being a jack wagon. Oh, I gotta change my claw socks. These feel crappy and like sweaty. There we go. Oh, that's much better. All right, we should get loading in like three seconds.
How'd that hit me? Alright, we got Lodi. Got another cluster. Yup! No! Wait, finish? Uh, I could try to do the finisher. See, there's no custom finisher, unfortunately. It's just the, the default one. The custom finishers aren't in mobile yet. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Oh, my God, dude. Come on, Jay. You got me, bro. No, he's in the window? Are you kidding me? Lol, that cluster worked. I told you guys, yo. Just throw the cluster on the buy station. Here we go. Dang, man. They just kept coming, dude. If you survive, you earn your freedom. If you survive, you earn your freedom. And while you wait, feel free to give these wankers a proper cheering. And if you find something to throw, let them have it. Chat, should I give these wankers a proper jeering? Oh, you wankers. I'm gonna jeer you. You suck. What are you doing, mate? He's right there. Are you kidding me? Hit your goddamn shots, private. Snoop has a dope finisher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of the cool... A lot of the operator skins have pretty dope finishers, honestly. Oi. What do you think you're doing down there, yeah? Did you guys know you can throw rocks at them and they do like one damage? But if somebody was one HP, you could actually kill them with a rock. Like, see, I actually got a hit marker on that. Bloody hell, mate. When here, and you return to the front lines. But if you lose, you're done. It's not fair, bro. He's controller. He locked on to me, bro. He's cheating. Right here, yeah, mate. Win here, you're going back to the front lines. But if you lose, you're done. I'm gonna jeer these wankers. I don't, yeah, we don't have any other loadouts, so we're chilling. I have never won a gulag. What? There's no way. Jailbreak. Where is everybody, dude? Oh, shoot. Isaac. Look at my Godzilla skin, dude. I'm a badass. Welcome to Verdansk. This is the land of the free and the home of the brave. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Wait, we have two Lodis? Why? Did we buy one? Dude, this sucks. I was on an absolute heater. I had six kills and now I can't find anybody. Oh wait, somebody's out here. Back on our like original loadout.
Bro, there's literally a guy just camping in there. He can't hide in there forever. What? Is this stream even family friendly? No, what do you family friendly, bro? This game's rated M for mature. They got gun skins that have like drugs on them, bro. This is not family friendly. This game's rated M, bro. Adults only. This is not a child children's game. Careful. Area's hot. Oh my god, did he get like three of them with that? Dang. Yeah, that team just got rocked. Oh my god! That scared the freak out of me, dude. Bro's going the long way. Only five left. What? It was just like 20 alive like three seconds ago. How to turn on gyroscope? I can show you. One second, I can show you. It's in the control settings all the way down at the bottom. Go to tap the gyro button and then there's like a whole other thing you can turn on. That's a win. Proper job. Dusted them. Yeah, three wins in a row, dude. We'd be on our way to a nuke right now if they had nukes. All right, here, open the settings. Wait, we gotta... um. We gotta get Isaac back. I don't know if he left on purpose or if it like... Open your settings, go to controls, go to gameplay. All the way down at the bottom. I don't know why they put it down here. Gyroscope. And then, uh, right here. Sorry, it's down at the, like almost at the very bottom right here. Gyroscope. And then inside of it, there's, you can turn it on. And then there's like all the different sensitivities. You can do mo like... ADS gyro for all the different uh, scopes. I highly recommend that when you do turn on gyro though, it gets crazy. So what I've done is I just kind of lower it and I stagger them all like this. And that helps to do kind of like a staggering like that. The high zoom is super high. Like you want to lower that a lot. I had the uh, the gyro for the highest zoom scopes on 1.0. I moved it and it was like, woof, woof. It was way too high. So you got to lower that. But yeah. The gyroscope is down here. I turn it off because I play an iPad, but it's all the way down at the very bottom, almost at the bottom of the gameplay tab inside controls. Not the smartest place to put it. I won't lie. If I were the developers, I probably would have put gyroscope um, maybe in like like sensitivity. I don't know. Some places, some games put it in here. Like, PUBG Mobile, I think, has it inside of the sensitivities, and then you can turn it on and off. Wait, so what's happening? Are we, are the people playing? Let me see if Isaac's in chat. Maybe he had to go.
Hold on, chat. I lost you guys. I had to reopen the window. There it is. Thanks a lot, bud. You're welcome. Nice. Yeah, I would have put it in sensitivity, right? I feel like that makes sense. Yeah, I, I'm down to play Swens. Although I got J. Bro, if I add Swens, we're going to be too goaded. We're going to literally be too good. I'm going to get three kills. I freaking love this game. Dude, I do too. T-Mag, shut up, bro. What are you, sponsored to say that? Come on. Everybody knows nobody actually likes Warzone Mobile, okay? Only the people that are paid like Warzone Mobile. Okay? In fact, I would argue, I don't even think anybody likes Call of Duty. Does anybody actually enjoy Call of Duty? It's only been around for 20 years and has like $75 billion. But does anybody even like it? No. Okay, nobody actually likes Call of Duty. Anybody that's ever played COD Mobile? Sponsored. Okay, fake. They're all frauds. Sellouts, okay? If you have anything good to say about Call of Duty, I Activision's paying you, okay? It's confirmed. And for all the little goofballs on Twitter that watch my streams and like to clip shit, clip that. Put it on Twitter. Do it, I dare you. Every day I wake up and one of these troll accounts on Twitter... When Sanity said this on stream last night, what do we think about this? Let's get everybody upset. Literally, all I said the other day, chat, this was freaking hilarious. All I said on stream was Activision knows how to make a good game because it runs really well on high-end devices. So clearly they know how to make a game. Now all they're trying to do is figure out how to make this game work on lower and lower end phones as they continue to optimize. That's literally all I said. And I said that th th this game is made on like a real big engine, not like Unreal and Unity. And everyone freaked out <laughs> and had like a, like a conniption on Twitter. All That's literally all I said. It's so funny. It's only boom and stealth, the, the two goofballs, I know. Careful, don't say that. They're going to clip it and put it on Twitter. When Sanity called boom and stealth a goofball, is he a fraud? It's so funny, dude. Boom and stealth. I know. Stealth has literally... All he's done is make videos like slandering Warzone. I mean, that's fine. You know what? If he wants to do that, that's fine. Go for it, buddy. But like, bro, he's killing his channel. It's so stupid. Get yourselves a proper warm -up. All I know is that I'm sure Activision is never going to want to work with him. Which is fine. You know, maybe it's not all about sponsors. But all I'm saying is that if you're the type of player that's just going to just complain about games and stuff... You're never going to get sponsored, so good luck trying to be a full-time YouTuber. Other YouTubers aren't going to want to play with you. They're not going to want to collab with you. I'm not, I don't want to play with that guy. I don't want to... I'm not going to be in here teaming up with guys that are all over YouTube talk, telling about how bad this game is. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to end up just being all by yourself if all you do is complain. Following in Riggs' footsteps. Listen, I like Riggs, okay? I like him, but, you know, he's also been going on a little bit of a... Of a of a rant, dude. Like, Riggs's last, like, 10 videos have all been making fun of Warzone. It's so dumb. I get it. People are frustrated. But do we really need to make 10 videos about it? 11 videos? 12 videos about Warzone? Like, Jesus. If it's so bad, just go play something else, man. Like, come on. It's just weird. Like, this fixation on it. We gotta be haters. It's so dumb. Riggs tells the truth? Okay, sure, yeah. The game's not great. It needs to be optimized. Devices get hot. Graphics look bad. I can tell the truth, too. Do you want me to make a 12-part Netflix series about it? No. There's two types of people in the world. You know, Chad? There's two types of people. There's people that complain and just, and just sit there and do nothing. Or there's people that solve their problem and they try to make the best of a bad situation. There's two people. Two types of people. Are you going to complain? Or are you going to stop complaining and either go play something else or buy a cooler and play the game? There you go. All you little you little nerds on Twitter. Clip that. Clip that. Did would Sanity say that you I have to buy a cooler? When Sanity calls out YouTubers for complaining. More news at 11. You know? Yeah, my iPad got hot. But I want to play the game. So what did I do? I bought a cooler. I solved my problem. That's what my mom taught me. If you've got a problem... Are you going to cry about it, or are you going to do something about it?
That's all I'm saying, bro. Honestly, as like mobile gamers, we've never been in a better spot. There are so many good games right now. Arena Breakout, COD Mobile, PUBG Mobile, New State Mobile, Blood Strike. Yeah, if, if Warzone Mobile's out, but if, if you're having a hard time right now, bro, there's so many other games. Just go play other games. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm a PUBG Mobile partner, and I'll even tell you, if you're having a hard time, you can go play COD Mobile. Or did I say PUBG Mobile partner? I'm a Warzone Mobile partner. I mean, not PUBG Mobile partner. It's fine, guys. If you're having a hard time playing the game, you can play something else. It's, there's nothing wrong with that. There's so many great games, you know? I don't think anybody should be complaining. Oh, my God. I'd be tracking these guys like I got a roller. All right. I'm going to stop talking about this because we always end up talking about it. We're, you know what, chat? We're going to be all about positivity. Happiness, friendship. All right, that's this. Our channel now is going to be all about good, good stuff. Bra said, "I was about to delete this game, but then I bought a cooler, and now I enjoy playing this game more." See, if you can't afford a cooler, I hear you, man. I'm sorry. You'll have to wait until it's optimized. I know coolers. Some coolers aren't cheap, but if you can't afford a cooler, I'm just trying to let everybody know it does help a lot. Like it really helps. I, it, I will admit, if I didn't have a cooler, I probably couldn't sit here and play this game for like 12 hours a day like I do. But with a cooler, I can. So it does help. He does have a roller. I know. <laughs> I got my little trigger, bro. <laughs> Controller confirmed. Holy balls, it's hot in here, dude. It is so hot in my studio. Like, what could I... How hot is my hand right now? It says 90. Yeah, it's it's like 90. Dude, it is so hot. How hot is my monitor? 88? Dude, it's like 88 degrees Fahrenheit in my studio right now, bro. I am boiling. I wonder my, like, my iPad probably just overheats half the time because of the freaking temperature in here. I got to turn my air conditioning on. What? Are you cold? Bruh, what do you mean? She's like, she's freezing. It is boiling in here. Bro, she's the queen of yapping. Destiny's freezing. Dude, this is my problem. It'll be like 80 degrees in here, and then it'll be like 60 degrees out there. She's out there shivering with a blanket, and I'm in here boiling, and I want to turn on the air conditioning, and she's like, no! I'm kind of clapping right now. I got four kills. I'm just yapping and clapping, dude. Oh, wait. Did I see Jacob in the chat? Yo, Jacob, you trying to play? I saw a bunch of y'all just saying Jacob for some reason. Whoa! Okay. Man, I'm freezing. Can you turn the heat on? I opened my window and I got really cold. Can we turn the heat on? <laughs> you should buy a window AC. No, 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 it's fine. It's actually really cold outside because it's not quite like spring yet. So I, I opened my window. We're good. Wind needs a cooler on his forehead. Dude, I know. It gets so hot in here. Even Not just playing games, but just hot because of my computers and stuff. Look at this guy. Watch this. What? Boom, boom, boom. Bam. You're not funny, bro. You know how many times she says that to me? She's just a hater. All 
right, this will be a... F oh, shoot. This will be a four-win streak. I didn't mean to throw a frag. Whoopsie. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Just throwing explosives. Watch this. Watch this. I'm about to bang all three of these dudes at once. We got the dead silence. They're never going to hear me. They're never going to hear me. Here we go. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Push him, push him, push him, push him. Got the guy in the back. Here we go. Got him cracked. These guys are looking at me. Right there. Cracked him. Throwing the frag. Popping a stun in the trench. Reloading. Hitting the deck. Back up top. Reloaded. 60 drum mag. He's beaming me. He's beaming me. He's cracked. I'm knocked. Self reviving. Self reviving. Self reviving. Selfing. Selfing. Boom. We're back in action. Another stun. Over the wall. Plating up. 43 bullets. Teammate knocked. Plating again. Everything's going according to plan. Switch to the SMG. Onto the trash can. Over the wall. Into the spray. Around the corner. I'm getting sniped. Third party. There it is. And I'm dead. Nice. Let's go, East Winds! W announcer. Ahmed Sami says, win sanity. I am unsubscribing you. All right, Ahmed. See you later, buddy. Have a good day. Eminem dropped the album. Oh, who, me? Oh. Oh, dang. Yo, W Gulag. I literally... Oh, shoot. Wait, are there any buy stations? Oh, bro, I got a clutch. No way, dude. Why is it that I get the freaking dumbest gun in history? Bruh, all I want to do is land on those bodies and try to get a, like an SMG or something. Ugh. There goes the win streak. Uh, yeah, let's let it rip. Maybe it's Eastwind's fault, dude. We got him in here and we lost the win streak, so I think it's his fault. What's up, Kingdom Soldier? Yo, Kingdom, are you playing any Warzone Mobile, dude? Do you like it? I think it's a lot of fun. You were trolling too much? Bro, yeah, hold on a minute. You, you were goofing around with, uh... Freaking riot shield, right? What the heck? Get out of here, bro. He's unsub. Yeah, I know. I don't. I'm not playing with subscribers, chat. I'm uh tonight. I think I'm gonna play with unsubscribers. So let's let's get a med in here, bro. Sorry, I meant to say I am subscribing. Says a med. Yo, okay, okay, sure. Dang, bro, bro, with the fastest switch up in history. Yo, Win, how much does this bundle cost as compared to PUBG Mobile? Um, well, that's a good question. I can show you. So, for like $20, for like 20, yeah, it's about like $20. Um, you can get this gun as well as another gun and an operator and all that for like $20. I'm not going to say anything, all right? I'm just going to let chat... Chat, how much would this gun cost in PUBG Mobile, all right? That gun alone. Like a, like a Star Sea Admiral AKM with a hit effect, a death effect, uh, an inspect emote. About how much do you think that would cost? Like a tier 7, tier 8 gun lab in PUBG Mobile with all the cool effects and stuff. Sirius says $300 in PUBG Mobile. I'm not trying to trash PUBG Mobile. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just saying, because chat asked, I'm just letting you all answer the question, okay? I'm not answering the question. I'll let them answer the question. 700? Yeah, I'd say about that. For me, that's about equivalent to like a Star Sea Admiral AKM. You know, gun with a hit effect. 
a death effect, inspect emote. Yeah, you know, four or five hundred dollars easily. That whole bundle was twenty five dollars in Warzone. And I, I got a second gun too. I didn't even show it to you. I got a whole second gun. We got a skin for a stun grenade. We got a bunch of stuff. I'm not trying to talk smack about PUBG Mobile, all right? I'm just, I, I've spent more in that game as, uh, as much as anybody, you know? I'm just saying. I mean, most games cost like four or five hundred dollars. It's just Warzone's crazy, dude. They come onto the scene and they're charging twenty bucks for guns that look wild. That actually is kind of crazy. I think Warzone Mobile is gonna add lucky draws, unfortunately, for like a hundred bucks, maybe. Uh, but still. There should, you know, there's going to be bundles, though. Objective is to eliminate the bounty target. Watch this, chat. I'm not sure if he's still up here. Let me uh, let me get my other gun reloaded again. No! Enemy movement. You know you don't really have to buy any skins. Well, that's a great point, Jimmy. I mean, that's I mean that it, that is the thing where like I know PUBG Mobile charges like hundreds of dollars, but the reason I don't get mad at it is like you don't you just don't have to buy it. You know what I mean? I could charge you a million dollars for a candy bar. I could charge whatever I want. You know, it's, it's up to you as the person to decide if you want to actually buy it or not. Like, that's, that's truly the point is, like, we compare prices, but at the end of the day, you don't have to buy anything. All these games are free to play, and that's why I never really got upset with the pricing in PUBG Mobile and New State and COD Mobile and stuff is, like, the games truly are free and you don't have to spend anything so that is a good point i think you know that's something we don't mention enough less talk more focus okay all right i'm shutting up i'm focused let's see here um we need a gas mask Oh, wait, that you don't get an advanced gas mask from the shop? You just get a regular one? That's stupid. Copy that. UAV online and orbiting the AO. Like it here. No way. What a goober. Certified goofy goober. Loadout drop inbound. Yeah, we can keep rocking with this. I'm enjoying it, man. The MCW, it's not bad at all. Let's mark this most wanted and go clap his cheeks. We got an enemy in the AO. Dude, what's with people all having these, like, red guns? I see that a lot. I feel like these red skins are pretty uh, common. New X suit is here. Yeah, it comes tomorrow. All right, now there is one thing I forgot to mention in my video chat. Be and before you guys see me do another crate opening and you're all like, but you said you weren't doing them. Wow, Insanity. You lied. I do have one sponsored video coming up in a week or two. And because it's sponsored, I think we could do the X suit. But I'm only going to do it because it makes sense that, like, we have a sponsor to help out. You know, like, if we do get sponsors, I'm totally down to keep doing crate openings. I didn't mention that in my video earlier. But I just, for the ones where I'm like, well, today's sponsors win sanity, you know, might maybe less of those. It's not confirmed yet, so maybe the sponsorship won't happen. It's not. We're still working on it. But if we do get it, maybe we could check out either the X suit or, like, that new lion or something. But yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, 
I'm going to try to make sure moving forward we at least have some kind of sponsorship because it is crazy to spend that much just on our own, you know? Stop yapping and focus on the game, bro. I am focused. We got to mark, hard mark the... Uh... Enemy marked. Whoa. I think they added some bots back in. Kind of annoying, dude. I don't want bots. Ugh. Some people are complaining that the game is too hard, bro. So they added some bots now. And it's like, bruh, just get good. I might zip. I'm gonna zip up because uh, he's on the other roof, so he might be able to cover me. Comms, bro. Nope. Go uh, lay down, lay down. Yo, can I'm gonna try something. This might be crazy. Cluster out. Kobe. Oh, did I get him with a cluster? I, th I think I got him with a cluster. Watch this chat. The daddy. Just kidding. I can't run up a simple hill. can't run up like the most simplest of hills. It's so annoying. Nice. Okay. I don't know what it is. My iPad today is definitely hotter than normal. Can iPhone 15 Pro Max run Warzone smoothly? I would recommend that you use a cooler. 
No matter what device you guys have, I would recommend you use a cooler. I'm sure I could run it pretty smoothly. I have a 15 Pro Max. We could test it. But I, I just know that after a couple rounds, it's probably going to get hot. I mean, the game, like, is if you can keep your device from overheating, um, the game will run phenomenally, at least on high-end devices. It's the heat that is such a problem. And most people don't play with a cooler because luckily, like, games like PUBG Mobile and COD Mobile, they don't really make your device that hot. So a lot of gamers don't own, like, phone coolers. Um, this, we might have a lot of growing pains as a, a mobile gaming community because this might be one of the first games that really teaches us that, like, dang, you need to have a cooler. I know a lot of it is due to optimization, but I feel like we might start getting more games on mobile. Like, dude, honestly, I could predict, I could see them bringing PUBG to mobile, but it actually being, like, real PUBG, like, PC PUBG, like this, like, on the same engine as computer, with, like, cross-progression as computer. I could see other big franchises doing this, where they bring, like, a real console-quality game to mobile with cross-progression over to console and PC. I could see Apex coming back with something like this. I could see PUBG doing this. Fortnite already tried to do this. But for those type of games, we're probably going to need coolers, you know? Tell them which cooler. Um, here, I can show you. If you guys are... Uh, I mean, the best cooler... I'm going to have to make a video on this. Guys, I actually ordered so many coolers. Look, I'm, I'm, you're not going to believe this. Watch. Hold on. Over the last, like, month, I've ordered so many coolers. Random coolers. Like, mobile gaming... Mobile gaming cooler, like, random from China. I don't know. This was, like, 20 bucks. Um, here's, like, another one. Probably, like, 15 20 dollars. Another cooler. This Black Shark cooler. I, I, I've been ordering these and, like, testing stuff out. I got this Black Shark cooler, this Mag cooler. This one's awesome. That's this cooler right here, the one that I have on my Samsung. This thing is sick, but it's, like, 50 or $60, so I don't know if I can recommend that. It's pretty expensive. I even got this cooler that attaches on the back and looks like a jetpack. Pretty sick. Um, I have another one around here somewhere. But yeah, I've been ordering so many coolers to like test them out and like try to find which one's the best. Enemy the All right, Enemy so yeah, I'm not kidding when I say like I'm literally figuring out which ones are the best. Bruh. How much for an iPad Pro M2? Um, I don't know. It depends if you buy it used or new. I, I don't know if I would buy it new right now because the M3 iPads should be coming out soon. I thought she was hiding in the middle area, and she was not. All right, we're starting off with a ghoulie. Dropping into the AO. 
I, this gun slaps, dude. It's insane. I gotta get a load after this. I what is this? The MTZ 762? Enemy down. Itch my balls 420. What a great name. Dang, bro. Swens is kind of a bot. What's going on, Swens? He's having one of those days, you know? The MTC is actually cracked? No, it really is. I want to make a Lodi with this thing, like, for real. I'm up here, mate! Yeah, what is this? Is this the- there's so many different MTZ guns. It's the, uh, MTZ 7.62. Yeah, no, I actually want to try this thing out in a loadout. Every time I pick it up from ground loot, it's so cracked. Alright, let's go buy him back. Got a buy station here. All right, I'm choosing my teammate over my loadout. That's friendship. Why are your attachments locked? It's a glitch. I'm sorry. Right now, they, uh, they're they investigating it. They're, they're aware of it, and they are trying to fix it. For a lot of people, like, at certain attachments and blueprints that they've bought are, like, locked. It's kind of weird. Weird glitch. Something actually happened similar on Apex the other day. People downloaded the update, and it, like, reset people's ranks. It also, um... Any uh, heirlooms they bought and stuff like weren't on their accounts. It was very strange. guy here to the west, but I want to get my loady too. Maybe I can jump off this cliff and parachute and go faster. W Swens, he's cracked. He really is, dude. Because he keeps getting shot and his plates are broken. He's literally cracked. Nah, the boss B is cracked? Yeah, the boss B is pretty good. I gotta get the one with the conversion kit so I can, like, do the two-tap thing. You know what? Let's let's keep rocking with it. This isn't the absolute best loadout, but it's a fun one. In. Test the iPhone 15 Pro Max to see how it's working. I would have to uh <clears throat> I'd have to set it up. I'm not sure if I have Warzone Mobile updated on it. The the problem is the 15 Pro Max is like actually my personal phone, so like <sighs> I don't want to like leak any, you know, like text messages or anything, you know. I got some pretty high profile classified stuff on my personal Friendly UAV online. phone. <laughs> Bro, I love how it said team wipe like four times. <laughs> I just killed one guy and it was like team wipe, team wipe, team wipe. Catch! Oh my god, imagine. Fuck. Careful, 
area. Flanking here. I mean, uh -huh. nice job. We got him. 2v2. Oh, God. We're cooking. Safe zone relocated. Jeez, how do you laser like that, bro? Just playing mobile games for like six years, you know? This is why I like Warzone Mobile. I actually feel like I'm good at this game, dude. I feel like I'm average at PUBG. This, this is a little bit harder to hit from this range. Oh, I got the headshot. Throw the damn thing. Oh my god, I can't throw the cluster! What the f- I can't yeah. throw the cluster. I couldn't throw it, it's bugged. I almost died right there. Why can't he throw this? Bro, what, what are you doing? Throw the thing. Oh my god. Enemy movement. That's weird. Oh, I think I got that movement bug. There we go. Now I can throw it. There. I, I was getting a weird bug. Sometimes your character gets stuck and you can't here. sprint or anything. Brother. Oh, he got me. Only five left. Like it here. I got you, homie. How do I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max and I'm lagging on Warzone Mobile? Be uh, I don't know, Demetria. It's got to get optimized, man. It's just... This is a very hard game to run on, on mobile devices. I would recommend using a cooler, though. If you're on a high-end device and you're still experiencing lag... Try using a cooler. It it helps a lot. It shouldn't lag on recent devices. I know, Demetria. I'm sorry, man. I know. I'm using a cooling fan and, like... I'm using a total of one cooler and, like, two fans to keep my iPad cool. It just gets really hot. Mobile devices do not deal with heat very well, so they gotta figure out this heating thing, dude. I kinda wish they had just made the game on a regular engine. I always thought cross progression was not that important. I think it's cool now that we can do it, but I've always thought cross progression was not a big deal. I feel like mobile gamers do not really care about cross progression. I did a poll in January to ask and a lot of people said they did care, so I was surprised. I personally don't really care. It's cool that you can buy a skin and you can get it in Warzone and Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone Mobile. I think that's sick. But I would rather have a functioning game and like on it's built on its own engine and not have like everything connected. That's just my opinion. I think it's cool, but uh, yeah, using the Infinity Ward engine on mobile was certainly, uh, they had a tough, a tough uphill battle to try to develop this game using such a complicated and sophisticated proprietary engine. Honestly, if you don't like the game, why are you commenting from your potato phones? No, it's, it's, yo, Sasha, it's okay. Demetria, he doesn't have a potato phone. He's got a 14 Pro Max. I mean, Dimitri is right. You know, it should run well on recent devices. I know this. You know this. The devs know this. Dimitri has been watching me for a long time, guys. Probably longer than anybody else in this chat. So he's 
he's a homie, you know, he's not complaining, but he's right. It should run. You shouldn't need to buy a $60 cooler to run this game. I agree with you guys. You shouldn't need it. But like I said earlier, we can complain about it or you can buy the cooler and play. If you don't want to, that's totally fine. But if you're trying to play right right now, I would recommend a cooler. It's just the way it is. It's not ideal. But it's the way it is. I agree, Sotos. You know, 90% of people have either never played the console version or they're never going to. And I that's what I thought too. A lot of mobile gamer or a lot of like PC gamers might play Warzone Mobile and they might have their skins linked, but it's like, dude, if you have a computer and a console, are you going to play Warzone Mobile that much? If you're home, you're probably just going to hop on your Xbox, you know? There's a lot of mobile gamers out there that don't have consoles and PCs. So for them, cross progression doesn't matter. Try the game on Vision Pro. I have tried it, but it doesn't work. Any third-person modes coming to Warzone? Maybe, but probably not for a while. Right now, their main focus is optimization, so they're probably not going to be adding like a bunch of wacky content that most people are... Most people want the game to just run first. Before we add third-person and add all these other things, we got to make sure the game runs first, you know? Yo, what's up, Hasnat? I'm Matt. Just came here to say, saw your video. No matter what you do, your audience will stick around. We don't want you just for crate openings. You're an amazing creator. Keep it up. Thank you. I really appreciate that, guys. I won't lie. All of the nice comments that people have been leaving on that video have been really nice to see. The last two weeks has been absolutely nothing but hate and just people criticizing me, calling me shit sanity. They called me Bobby and Ferg. Well, guess what our new nicknames are, chat? Our new nicknames are shit sanity, booby, and I fuck. That's what they call us now. So, I'm going to have to change my channel name to Shit Sanity. We've been getting so many hate comments, dude. It's sad. So, yeah, to see some nice comments today was actually kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so, I appreciate it. Say my name. What's up, Nayamar Bagra? That's right, guys. We're going to have the, the Shit Sanity and I fuck collab coming soon. Sorry for the language. Not my words. Those are the words of Twitter. Bunch of jack wagons. They are indeed. You know what, though? On honestly, though, screw the haters. Oh, oh, whoops. Because I'm not going to lie. We've actually gained more, we've gained more Twitter followers and more YouTube subscribers in the last two weeks than we have in like months prior. So we've been getting more subs and followers than uh, ever right now. <laughs> so I'm like, what's going on? Do people actually hate me or not? Make up your minds, guys. God damn, five years a long time. I still F with you with Sanity. Yo, to meet you. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. It has been a long time. I'm pretty sure Demetria was watching me before I even made um, this YouTube channel. He was watching me since my old Winsanity channel. Yo, Demetria, you're getting married, right? Or did you get married? You said you got engaged, right? Have you guys... Have you d done the wedding yet? W growth? Either way, that's right. My haters make me stronger. Red Magic has a, is a gaming phone with a built-in cooling fan. That is right, yes. Red Magics are pretty sick. Of all the Androids that I've uh, run the game on, the two that it's run on the best have been the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 devices I have, which are the, uh, the Z Fold 5 and the Red Magic. But I did use a cooler, you know? I've had pretty good performance on the devices that I've tried it on, but the cooler certainly makes a big, big difference. Bro, why are there never any guns up here? I'm just going to drop down. Enemy UAV of active. course he hits me. Oh my god. Wait, does he have like explosive rounds? From a gun on the ground? That shot like burned off a little bit of my plate.
Apparently in this new update, you can throw C4 way further, but I'm not sure if they tweaked it for mobile. Let's find out. Nah, it looks like we can still not really throw C4 that C4 that far. C4 that far. Iverg Sanity 360. Clip it. Ship it. I got one bullet in the chamber chat. All right, rip. What? Huh? That dude just literally disappeared. Did he like crash? Like, did, did, did I throw that fart grenade at him and he like his game crashed? Did he just disconnect? Homie left the game. Yeah, he saw when standing the kill feed. He was just like, I'm out. I'm out. There's no chance. No hope. These things are really weird. When you run on these like glass pyramids, there's no footstep sounds. It's like dead silent. I don't know if it's meant to be like that, but it's kind of weird. Oh, Lodi's right here. How long is Shimo out for? Usually the bundles are in the shop for a while. It's like a month at least. I've seen stuff in there for like 40 days, so you should have plenty of time to get it if you're saving up for it. All right, we got a lot of dudes on this most wanted. Did I get a knock with that? Oh, no, 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 Bro, oh, dude, I don't think you can cancel a finisher. No. Imagine if Tencent made Warzone, we'd probably have to pay for tracking bullets and hit effects on the guns. Well, I mean, you have to pay for it in Warzone. You have to pay for it no matter what, but... I don't know, you know, just, you can either do bundles or you can do, like, lucky spins and draws and stuff, so... I mean, PUBG Mobile's not all that bad. They they also do bundles, I think, in PUBG Mobile, where it's like, you, you just pay and you buy it. Some of the skins in that game, it's like 20 bucks and you just get it. It's just not all that bad. I just wish all the skins were like that, you know? All right, I got to drop back on that spot. Have I tried the plunder mode yet? Yeah, I have, Kay. I just personally don't really like plunder that much. It just feels like too casual. I like BR, man. Where did I die? It was like over here. Enemy mutt. I think this guy 1v2'd these dudes and I third partied him. Oh, what? Oh! My goodness gracious, Agnes! Wait, what? Somebody threw a thermite? Okay. That's not sus. Oh, I bet there's a noob in the tower. That guy's name was asking me about my wiener. <laughs> that was a good movie. 
That was from the movie Accepted, I think. It was an old classic movie. Where Jonah Hill was dressed up in a hot dog costume and he was on campus saying, Ask me about my wiener! <laughs> I forgot about that movie, dude. A bunch of guys that were applying for college, they got rejected from all the colleges they applied to. And they didn't have the guts to tell their parents that they got rejected. So they just made their own fake college and pretended. And then obviously it got way out of hand. Too many people were applying and going there. This is nice, dude. It's like an AUG, but with a hundred bullets. It looks like an AR, but it's like an LMG. It feels like an LMG, dude. This thing is slow as heck. There's like no mobility. No shot. It's up to us. Is that two two one? No, two one one one. There's there's three solos. Let's go. All right, that was a pretty good one. What do we have, like 12? So what is like the meta now? I was using that Ram 7 all last season and it is now nerfed. I'm not sure. I might have to run it for a match here and see if it's still good or not. So many of you guys asked me to make a video about that Ram 7. And I'll admit it was a good gun, but I, they nerfed it. I, I can't tell if the nerf was a big nerf or not. Like maybe it's still meta, but I feel like there's probably a better option now. It's not nerfed. Are you sure? I literally saw a giant patch notes that said it got like some damage. The like the damage at range and stuff got trimmed back a little bit. Meta is the subverter. There you go, Jesper. Thank you for the super chat. Exactly. See, guys, a little bit of optimism. All right. Imagine. Your phone getting hot with Warzone Mobile is good. Imagine you're in the cold weather. You're freezing to death. You have hyperthermia. You're about to get frostbite. And you just 
fire up a match of her dance, and all of a sudden, your phone saves your life, okay? See, finally somebody with some logic here, okay? Thank you. Easy. No one's freezing to death with Warzone Mobile. See? It's all about positivity. Bobby Place said they nerfed it exactly. I, I mean, I saw the list. I saw a giant, like, ban. I might have even bookmarked it. No, I don't think I bookmarked it, but, um... I saw a list of, like, all the nerfs and ban... Or, all the nerfs and buffs, and, uh... It certainly looked like the Ram 7. Got a little bit of a haircut. So, uh, the Holger is good now. You know what? I sh I'm just gonna go to that website. There's a website called ggs.ai. And apparently that has, like, all the top weapons right now. The, uh, SVA 545 Burst. Okay, I don't want to use a Burst. Oh, did the ta is the TAC Evolve your back? The HRM9, apparently. I need this, uh, this has a Sonic Suppressor on it, it says. Yeah, okay, whoever said the Subverter, you were right. For a battle rifle? With a 50 round drum mag? I like ARs, though. I don't really want to use... I, okay, wait. Hold on. What's this AR? The top AR right now is the... Uh, the. It's a burst, though, bro. I don't want to use a burst. I want to know what's the best full auto. The Moors Sniper is also meta, but we don't have the Moors yet on mobile. Here, maybe we'll run it back one match with the Ram 7, and I'll see if it feels any better or worse. That would be the best way for us to confirm if it sucks or not. If I start using it and I'm just like, oh, dang, yeah, this thing's ass, then we can... We cannot make the video. It would suck, though, if I don't get the chance to make that video, because I have, like, two weeks... Two weeks worth of uh, gameplay with that Ram 7. <laughs> now it's, like, not good, apparently. You looking on ggs.ai? Yes, that website apparently has, like, a lot of the best builds. This is it right here, ggs.ai. So, if you log into this site, um, it's just literally ggs.ai, and you can see, like, these are all the top weapons. Right now, it says this SVA burst is the best, but I just don't want to use a burst gun, dude. The Tacky Volvier is back in uh, meta, maybe. That was in, like, season... That was a few weeks ago that people were using that. The HRM9, that's 10 out of 10. The HRM is, like, definitely goaded. I just need to unlock this Sonic Suppressor S. You have to, like... It's one of those things where you got to level up a ton of other guns, you know? In order to unlock this attachment. The Thorn Barrel, Hand Stop, 50-round Folding Stock. Then this, uh, the Subverter is a battle rifle with a 50 round mag, but I feel like battle rifles fire kind of slowly. What about that, um, MTZ-762? Meta. The Ram 9 is meta. The Subverter. Okay, so meta is blue. What about A tier? The Striker is A tier. The Wasp 9 is A tier. The MCW Aftermarket. Wasp Swarm is A tier. The TAC Evolvier. MTZ 556. The Holger. The Pulmiat 762. That's like an LMG. Rip, dude. All the guns that I'm looking for aren't considered. Okay, the striker. We have the striker. We've been using that. That was that se my secondary gun on my loadout. The Ram 9. Dude, is the Ram... What is the Ram 7 now? Is it considered B tier? Yeah, what the heck? The Ram 7 is now considered B tier? What? Or C tier? That's crazy. There's no way it went from meta to C tier. What about ARs? Alright, so the best AR right here is SVA. Then the BP-50. I haven't really used the BP-50 A tier. I don't know, chat. We'll have to mess around and see what's up. 
Okay, the, yeah, oh, wait, here's the, wait, that MTZ-556 is right here. Uh, we may be, maybe we consider using that. I might try out this 556, or no, never mind, never mind. I was using the MTZ-762. Why is that gun considered so bad? This website has the uh, 762 listed as a... Is it a battle rifle? Oh, it's considered a battle rifle, but it's considered a C-tier. What? C-tier? Every time I pick that gun up, I'm so shocked at how good it is. How is it C-tier? We can't run the finisher of this new bundle? No, the finishers right now are only on PC and console. They're trying to bring them to mobile soon. Warzone hub has better meta. Are any burst guns meta? Yeah, actually, that that um, website says that the SVA 545 is like the top gun in the game right now, and it's a burst. Come on, dude. You think they will add ranked? Yeah, for sure. Use the handgun, turn it to an SMG. Everyone is using it. What, the Renetti? Is that what it's called? SVA is auto, not burst. No, but it says that the... Here, let me show you. Let's see. Let's go uh, meta. Yeah, the Renetti right now, aftermarket, is apparently busted. If you survive, you earn your freedom. It says this SVA 545. Up, it says it's a burst fire. though. Maybe it is auto. God damn. I'd be locking on these guys like I literally have a controller. <laughs> I think they probably think I'm a controller player. I love your videos. Thank you, Darth King. Us no lifers need something to sweat for. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. I can't wait for ranked and we can actually see like how many points we're losing or gaining mid-match just like in Warzone PC. That's going to be so much fun. Enemy UAV active. Okay, my iPad got a little bit cooler. I think it was really that the temperature of my studio was so bad. I might have to level some of these guns up. They might already be a high level because just in all the kills that I've gotten, you know, picking up guns as ground loot, I probably have leveled up the guns, but the problem is I'm going to have to level up other guns to get certain attachments. Like, if you want to unlock a certain suppressor on one gun, you have to get a different gun up to, like, level 24. It's so annoying. The SVA 545 is an automatic AR, but it's best to use burst because its first shot is two bullets. Oh, I don't know. I I like. I mean, the uh, did they nerf the boss B? Cause that thing had like a disgusting two tap. I saw Noah was using it the other day. I think they like emergency nerfed it, cause it was literally two shotting people, even in Warzone with plates. No TPP. No, this game is all first person. On PC and console, you can fire the SVA on single as fast as an automatic. Wait, really? That's kind of nasty. And it has no recoil? What? We're going to have to start experimenting around.
Oh my god. What is this gun? I feel like I've got some pretty decent stuff. The MCW? Oh, this is literally what I've been using with the blueprint. I guess thing's not that bad. Once we get Lodi, I'm going to test out my Ram 7. See if it's actually ass or not. We have so much cash, we should probably just try to buy a Lodi. Oh, shoot. Whoa. Give me that plate. Why is there a loadout all the way over there? That is crazy. Oh, I got... The, oh, I think he's... Oh, what? Bro, oh my god. Does anyone know if you can snake in Warzone Mobile like console where you just repeat the crouch up and down? I've seen that, like, snaking thing. I don't think you can do that in here. I've never seen anybody doing it. I feel like if, if you could do it, somebody would have made some, like, cracked snaking movement guide, you know? on YouTube and I, I haven't seen anything like that so I feel like it's not in it dang dude E swens with the with the revive W by station. Oh, there's enemies though. Oh, and they see him too. That's GG's. No. Yeah, just go to the other one. Oh, there's another guy flying in too, bro. What is this bad luck? Nice.
Yo, did the other guy seriously not buy me back? What the heck? He made East Wens buy me back. What a jack wagon. Yo, can we buy a Lodi? Got a buy station here. Good cash here. Moving here. Get your bloody phone. I need can we buy a loadout? Thanks. Um, yeah, let's keep going with the Ram 7. This is what we want to test out. Dude, I just got Lodi finally at like 32 alive. That's crazy. Enemy UAV active. Enemy UAV active. Oh, God, dude. Some team just called in an advanced UAV. Cloak Sierra, thank you for the member. In. Why is everybody saying new X, dude? I thought it comes out tomorrow. Or is it in the, is it in PUBG Mobile today? Oh, shoot. What the fuck is going on? No way. No way. That's probably the team that popped the advanced. Try the SOA subverter. Is that gun even in Warzone Mobile? I feel like I haven't even seen the subverter. Don't forget, guys. Some guns are not in mobile. I just got jumped, bro. I know. These dudes were out for blood, bro. I am using it. Is in mobile? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, it's in the Arsenal store. Yo, Max Muncy. Hey, big fam, bro. Keep it up. <laughs> Saw your post. Couldn't agree more. New X suit's trash anyway. Honestly, I don't even think it's trash. I think it looks good. I think the new X suit's... It's definitely better than some of the recent ones they've had. It's better than the Fior. It's better than the, the um, Sylvanas. It's better than that one Stygian Liege. But, yeah, it's... It's not worth it, guys. I think what what I realized was... Um, by the way, Demetria, thank you for the member. I think what I realized was that after buying so many skins, I just don't care anymore. I'm like, is it worth it? Do I need an 8th exit? A 9th exit? A 10th exit? No. Like, the videos are fun and stuff, and I'm just like, it's not worth it. Oh, my God, he got turned on. Dang. You know, like, when you already have a trillion fancy car skins for the same coupe. I can only use one at a time. I don't need a Lamborghini and a Bentley and an Aston Martin and a McLaren. You know, it's I just kind of realized like when you have enough, I think I just realized, yeah. I think I, I like, I have enough. I'm satisfied. I don't need more, you know? Some people, they're never satisfied. They just want more, 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 more. But I, I looked at my account and I'm like, I have enough. I don't need to get, I don't need to spend a ton of money to get to Mythic Fashion 7. Because guess what? By the time I finally get to Mythic Fashion 7, they're going to release Mythic Fashion 8. I've been playing catch-up my whole life. Oh my gosh. As soon as I got to Mythic Fashion 5 and I got the, like, name tag, then it was like, well, now there's Mythic Fashion 6. You know? Oh, oh okay. Now I got to try to get the, the nameplate. I'm grinding for that. Okay, I just got it. Oh, well, now there's Mythic Fashion 8. Dang. Now I gotta get even more mythics. Oh, but now there's ultimate fashion. Oh, okay. Now we gotta go ultimate fashion. Oh, now there's ultimate fashion too. It's never gonna end. It's never gonna end. You've got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Request Friendly UAV online. Wild. I'll keep doing crate openings if PUBG Mobile wants to pay for them, bro. You know, I, like, we get lots of views. I won't complain about that. You guys love it. It's fun. Those videos are fun. Don't get me wrong. But dude, I'm like, I don't want to spend $600 every time. <laughs> 
I'll open. I'd open everything in the shop. It's free marketing for PUBG. I'll open it all. Get 200,000 views. I'll do it. If they give me the UC for it, though. You got to hop off, Swens? No worries, dude. All right. I think that's GG's, boys. There's no buy stations left. These guys aren't probably going to... Wait, did they just... What was that sound? Oh, I thought he bought me back. I was like, really? Wishful thinking. Will you do a Conqueror stream? Um, Maybe. I don't know. I, I honestly don't even know how much I'm going to play PUBG Mobile anymore. I'm sure I'll play it again someday, but I have I don't have any plans to play PUBG Mobile right now. The reason is PUBG Mobile and Warzone are two completely different games. And I've been playing so much Warzone that when I go back to PUBG, I'm like, what am I doing? You know, like it feels different. My Like my crouch button and my jump buttons on PUBG are in opposite. They're in opposite places. And I like to, you know, you like you do like a lot of crouch spamming in PUBG. But in Warzone, you do a lot of sliding and tack sprinting. Like, like my brain gets discombobulated trying to play both games. When I played in the 6th anniversary event the other day, my whole brain was melting trying to play PUBG. My whole... I was like, wait, this isn't Warzone. Wait, wait. It's third person. You can't jump and shoot at the same time. You know, like, these games are very different. So it's hard for me to bounce between both games. That's why in my video a few hours ago, I said, what if we played Blood Strike? And we did Warzone Mobile and Blood Strike. Because those two games are very similar. So I feel like it'd be a lot easier to, like, switch between the two. You've got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. How many wins chat? I don't know. I feel like we, we lost one. We were on like a three streak. We lost one. And then if these guys clutch, we might win. These guys seem actually like they're pretty good. I'm kind of hungry, but I don't have any food at home that I can like just eat real quick without having to uh, like bake something for like 30 minutes. What happens if you get banned on PC console and your account is like the mobile? Uh, yeah, Casper, I do think that... I think your whole account... It's like, if you get banned, it's your whole Activision account. Whoa, I've never really played out here. Look at this. The circle's on the absolute edge of the map. These guys are in like a... Like a canyon ravine thing. That's how I felt with COD Mobile and buying legendaries and mythics. After 70 legendaries and 8 mythics, it's just like, why... Yeah, you know, I'm like, how many skin? I, bro, I have so many skins in PUBG Mobile. I, I have so I have some skins I have that look just like other skins that I have. How many like frilly little dresses can you wear with like little girly bow ties and stuff? You know, like. I mean, I bought so many skins in PUBG. I have a skin that looks like a burrito. You know, <laughs> like I have a skin that looks like an ice cream cone. I could be a dragon. I could be Godzilla. There's so many. I could be Lionel Messi if I wanted. I have so many skins. It's just like, <laughs> why buy more, dude? I don't need any more. A lot of the skins they come out with now, they look just like skins they've already released before. Now they're like releasing skins on the Royal Pass that you can change the colors of and stuff. You know, it's like, okay, all right, like I have enough. Maybe I'll make a maxed out pass video. Those aren't that bad. It's like $100. You know, the max royal passes are cool. But, um... Yeah. Ever since I opened the Aston Martins, and it cost me $2,700. Ever since then, I was just like, oh my god. I'm like, this isn't... This is not worth it, bro. You could be messy in Warzone Mobile, too. That's a good point. Messi and Warzone Mobile also only cost like $20 instead of like $300. Am I getting hungry? I am getting hungry. What's my prestige on here? Um, I'm like almost level 300, whatever that is. I think I was like prestige 5. Not gonna lie, X-Suits nowadays are bad. Yeah, I mean the X-Suits, ever since the Pharaoh and the Blood Raven, like they've never been able to like make a cool one. I feel like they just keep getting worse and worse. Oh, he had to hit that. He's using that M4 from the pre-registration. The... What are you? Come on, bro. What? What? He couldn't hit a damn thing, bro. $2,700? Yes, chat. Chat. I'm not kidding you.
I literally am not kidding. Getting all nine Aston Martins to complete the entire collection, every single Aston Martin, masterpiece, getting all the fancy effects where the container comes down on Spawn Island, it opens up, you get the you get your name on the license plate. You're welcome to ride in my Aston Martin. Like to get all the bells and whistles and fancy features and and loot crates and elimination broadcasts. Like I, I was curious. I was like, I want to see how much does this cost? I had to go all the way up to eight on the speed drift, like six times to get all the tokens, to get every vehicle. It was crazy. It literally was two hundred and thirty-five thousand UC which is like $2,800. It's just short of about 3,000 actual US American dollars. And you guys wanna know how much money that video made? Let's look it up. I don't even remember if it was sponsored or not. Aston Martin. 200, sorry, 225,000 UC. Um, it was not sponsored. I just did that on my own because I'm stupid. And that video made $500. It went pretty viral. It got half a million views. It did. It got me $518. And it cost me almost $3,000. So that is also one of the reasons why I'm just like, hey, you know. Maybe we don't need to open every single car and crate <laughs> anymore, bro. Ugh. But, I, you know, I just, it, it did 500,000 views, right? Like, that's a lot of views. 500,000 views on YouTube is a lot. There are not many YouTubers getting that many views on, on PUBG Mobile crate openings. So it's cool, right? You know, I mean, to be fair, I got 2,000 subscribers from it. That's, you know, it grows the channel. You guys love it. Half a million views is crazy. But it's from the, like, the financial part of it, that's where it gets ugly. Crazy. You know, I just... Got caught up in the hype of wanting to grow the channel. I mean, we got to 1.6 million subscribers, which is great. The crate openings were certainly a big part that helped in that. You know, we made back some money here and there from sponsors and stuff. And, you know, I've been able to pay my bills and, you know, we've been able to get it all done. I'm not broke, but I'm also not rich. You know, I think people saw those videos and they think I'm just some millionaire. And I'm like, I am not at all. Yeah, you know, it's at the end of the day, it's like, is $3,000 worth 500,000 views? Not really. Why Win doesn't read my chat? What's up, Danny? I'm sorry. The major update doesn't fix the lag. Yeah, I know. Guys, it really wasn't that major of an update. I, I tried to tell on people on Twitter, this Warzone mobile update was not major. It was an update, but it was not major. They only worked on it for two weeks. From global launch until the other day, they only had two weeks to make an update. So it was not going to be massive. I tried to tell people, don't overhype it. Don't... Don't get too overexcited because everybody's just going to be disappointed. This update was not going to be that monumental. I think some people figured this update was going to fix all their problems and all of a sudden a low-end device was going to, you know, run the game at 120 frames on peak graphics. It's not, it was not going to fix all the problems. It was going to be like a tiny improvement, you know? I tried to tell people that. I was trying to be one of the few YouTubers that was like trying to keep expectations reasonable. Because I saw a lot of my friends, and I know they're excited. A lot of people were excited, but everybody was like, yo, W update, W devs, W communication, W Activision. And I was like, whoa, 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 okay, let's not get too excited here. Let's actually see if the update's good or not before we go hyping it. And lo and behold, it was an okay update, but it wasn't, like, massive. It wasn't this monumental, earth-shattering update that f solved world hunger, you know? It wasn't going to fix everything. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's actually, let's figure out a good gun, all right? I don't really know what's going to be the best, so I'm just going to look at this website. I'm just going to see what's the top gun. Let's go to weapons, desktop. The uh, SVA 545 is right now considered one of the best guns. The Subverter is one of the best. Um, the Renetti. Let's click uh, weapons, see all weapons. Meta. The Renetti aftermarket pistol is meta. Do I have that? Oh, sorry, I am on. I'm on my iPad right now. Handguns, Renetti. I don't think I have it leveled up. Rip. Oof. 
Yeah, my Renetti is level one, dude. All right, we might not have to go with that. Let's try. Uh, so this HRM9 is definitely meta. I think that's what we want to use for our backup. So let's go to SMGs, HRM9. This should be leveled up pretty decently. I just don't have any good camos for it. Um, wait, 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 wait. You know what? Yes, I do. What is live line? All right, whatever. Let's just use this, whatever this camo is. Um, so the HRM9 meta right now is a Sonic Suppressor S, which I don't have because it's locked and I'm really annoyed. We need to get the WSP9 to level 24. What is the WSP9 at for us? Maybe we can level it up real quick. Oh my god, it's level 5? Should I level it up, chat? If this Sonic Suppressor is really as good as everybody says, should we try to level up the WSP9? I mean, I can go hop into a uh, mosh pit and just start clapping fools. We could do Rust 24-7. Time to grind? I know. Send it. What's up, Tectonic? Yo, is that the real Tectonic? Um, Let's do it, guys. Let's do this Shaped Fate Black Cell. Let's equip it. We got some double XP tokens, by the way. Let's go multiplayer. No, wait, wait, wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong thing. Yeah, you know, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun, man. It doesn't always have to be super sweat BR. It's like COD Mobile. Sometimes it's fun to go over and do a little team deathmatch, you know? Yo, Windbreaker4488, thank you for the member. Did you watch the Godzilla X Kong? Not yet, no. As fake as I can be. Hmm, is that actually a fake person, or is that something that Tectonic would say? Still lagging in the S23 Ultra? Yeah, you guys have to use a cooler for sure. Point Out of the point. Look at these goobers. Oh, nice! Wait, this is a uh, Black Cell skin. This actually has death effects. Look how much better I am when I don't play on peak graphics. When I actually play on high graphics, dude, I'm clapping. Are these bots? Wait, hold on. I think I got a bot lobby, bro. Hey, that's fine, though. I don't care. Windbreaker, thank you for the member and the 10 gifted members. Thank you very much. I don't. Hey, bot lobby, that means we're just going to level this bad boy up even faster. Wait, what the fuck? What is this? Dude, this gun is insane. Yo, screw the WSP or the, uh, screw the whatever, the HRM, dude. Let's just use this wasp. This thing's like three tap. What the hell? Is this thing meta chat? This thing has to be meta. Am I pulling another all nighter again? Uh, probably not. Although, actually, do I have anything? I don't think I have anything to do tomorrow. Destiny had to run some errands today, but I already took her, so... That means I can lock her up inside the house for a few more days. We don't have to go anywhere. We only leave the house, like, once a week, dude. Dude, I've been seeing so many people on social media trying to hit trick shots on Rust. They go up top and they, like, try to hit 360. 360 snipes. No scopes. I almost... I've been getting really close to an SAE. Come on, SAE. I'm so close. Oh, oh, I was trying to see if this thing had any range on it. Rose got the movement. Yeah, so if you hit like the, uh, if you hit this like tax sprint jump, he'll like jump kind of far. Dude, I really like this gun actually. This thing's nuts. I had no idea how good this was. Midway. 
Look at it, it's like three tapping in multiplayer. And this is, I didn't even tweak it. It's just a default build from the battle pass. Dang. Since the update, I connected my controller via USB-C and the input lag is gone. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm sure they've optimized, like, controllers probably got a little bit of optimization in the update too, but most of us don't use controllers, so we don't know, but there are a lot of controller users in Warzone Mobile. A lot of console kids. Dude, look at the range. Oh my god, I hit that guy from like 30 meters away. Is there a nerd up here? I want to get an SAE, dude. I've been like on a six kill streak three times. I can't hit it. Oh, baby. Let's go. I have like multiple cruise missiles. I've gotten two cruise missiles. I, I, I don't think they stack though. What gun am I using? This is the WSP-9. It's just some basic loadout. I don't think I got anybody. This was just a blueprint from the battle pass. I didn't even customize it. There we go. Oh my god. When you tap the screen for the SAE, it kind of me gets messed up. It doesn't tap where you tell it to. I like this map, dude. This map looks so good, even on just high graphics, not even peak. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Ghost YT. Oh, that guy is a sweat. I've seen him in the kill feed many times. Hopefully, we're leveling this thing up. I tried. They don't have nukes yet. Yeah, even if you go on a 25 or 30 kill streak, there's no nuke yet, unfortunately, in mobile. Oh, that flick! Did you see that flick? Oh, he had to reload. That's unlucky. Oh, I had to reload. That's unlucky. Controller people have a great advantage over touch players. I don't know, man. I feel like they don't, but a lot of people say they do. I mean, the aim assist is insane, but the thing is at range, like controller players um, with ARs trying to spray, like it's really hard to shoot people from far away. I can, like, I have, I think I have an advantage and like the 200 meter range. With an AR, I think I could outgun a controller player. It's just that close-up aim assist. Like in the Gulag, I definitely think players in the Gulag have uh, more aim assist. 
like controller players have an advantage they should probably like lower the aim assist in the gulag specifically but not vr trick shot oh come on dang it Tim the Tamman showed a great example of that. What, the aim assist like locking in the gulag? Yeah. This ghost guy's being a little bum, dude. Let's see, he's right on the other side of this. So if I just. Probably like that. Oh wow, did you see my aim assist? What the heck? That my gun pulled across when all those guys were in front of me. If we didn't get at least like six or seven levels on this gun, I don't, this is going to take forever. How do you get the free gold ghost skin? It's probably over now, Lorenzo. That was the uh, day zero event last season. I think it's over now. Maybe it's still in the store. Check if they're in the, in the store, if there's a day zero thing. 51 and nine. Interesting. What's up, Jesus? Uh, I just got off work. How long do you plan on streaming? Um, a little bit longer, for sure. We're only at three and a half hours. We'll do a few more hours. Level nine? Wait, that's it? Bro, what? I only got four levels on that? Dude, this gun is really good, though. I might throw this in an actual lo like loadout. The only thing I would do is maybe tweak it ever so slightly. Like, it doesn't need a scope. I would rather put another attachment on to, to make it even stronger. Which is insane that it could even get even stronger. So, uh, let's go SMGs. WSP9. Tap to equip. Let's alter this because we don't need the optic. So let's take that off. And we can put something else on actually, which is nice. We could put in a, a different type of ammo. Which, it's we need to be level 10 for that unfortunately. We could do a, a grip. Maybe like the chook. I don't know. It just seemed like it had a pretty good, a lot of, a lot of positives on that one. So we got the, the shaped fate black cell and we could do the SOA subverter. We got the magnetic pulse. These are two guns that we need to level up. So we might as well run them, you know? Custom loadout four. Why don't we do... Wait, what if we did Resurgence? Okay, wait, hold up. Hear me out. Hear me out. I'm not a big Resurgence fan, but... This WSP Swarm feels like it could be pretty good in Resurgence. You know? chat is it kind of weird that after making that video earlier where i just kind of said hey look i'm not really doing a lot of crate openings anymore like i feel so much better like this is the happiest i felt in a long time i feel i was waiting to get that off my chest for so long i'm not even kidding so the whole reason i did i did like a whole q a thread the other day and i asked you guys to ask me questions and then i, I tried taking all these questions because obviously you know people are going to ask how much money do you make how much money do your crate openings make do you profit do you lose money like, is it worth it to do PUBG Mobile videos anymore? Like, those were all questions I got. So I was like, okay, cool. I can take these questions. I can try to answer them. I literally made a full hour-long Q&A video that we talked all about, like, the crate openings and, like, money. Is it worth it? Like, I broke stuff down. And it was an hour long. And I was just like, nobody's going to watch this. So then the other day, I re-recorded the video again. And I fully edited it, too. And then I re-recorded the other video it was like 15 minutes long, and I was like, okay, I'm not sure how I feel about this. 
and then I didn't upload that one. And then today I was like, screw it. And I just made like a four minute video and it got straight to the point and it was perfect. And now I feel a lot better. A Q and A video. Yeah, I deleted it. I, I edited a whole 55 minute Q and A video. I might still upload it and just answer other people's questions. Like a lot of people ask, how did I meet destiny? People ask like, do I have a normal job? And besides YouTube, people ask a lot of good questions that would be fun to answer. So I might still do a Q and A video because that seems to be something that a lot of people want. Bro, it's always like shotguns and snipers. I swear. No way. Warzone Mobile is more fun anyway. Thank you, Muhammad. All right, let's reset here. I want to get loady, but it takes so long in resurgence. I wish they'd give us our loadout sooner. I guess you really got to prioritize. Like you got to plan with your teammates, share your cash, and buy a loady. What if I stuck this guy with a shock thing? I was so close to actually sticking him. You're not getting away that fast, Buster. Oh my god. Hadouken! Let's go. You could do the black cell cat for long range. Yeah, that, that's true. That's true. That's true. Is the cat actually considered like meta now? That didn't knock, what? Oh my god. No, oh my god. Oh my god. No, I didn't mean to do that. Can I get any ammo, please? Thank you. God, you're not getting away, bro. Last freaking bullet. Ooh, okay, wait, hold up. I can see why this subverter is probably meta. This thing has no recoil, like, actually, though. This might even be a pretty good uh, blueprint. Just straight up. Kind of some random blueprints from the battle pass, you know? What in the 
the hell? What? This is just some blueprint. I didn't even customize this. Yo, okay. Now I see what's up, dude. Wasp 9 Subverter? Is that where it's at? What the frick? Oh, dude, this has a hit effect, too. That's sick. Oh, my God. This guy's a sweat. Actually, it is a little bit harder to aim without that optic. I won't lie. Nice. Cool. Did I get the new X suit? No, Muhammad Al someone. I did not get the X the new X suit. Alright, let's see if we got more XP that time. I can't quite tell what gets the most experience when you're trying to level up a gun. Like, is it dropping 50 kills in a rust or a shipment? Or, like, going into a battle royale and winning with, like, nine kills. You know, like, winning a BR. I feel like that's a lot of XP. One, two. Okay, we got 3,600 on that. Yeah, that uh, that didn't really do all that much, dude. Yeah, that, that didn't do anything, bro. I, Damn it. I think the fastest way to do this is to seriously just... We just got to fry some dudes in a, a multiplayer. It felt good though. These guns are sick. I forgot that the um, the WSP has that hit effect and stuff. It, it's that full black cell blueprint. Did I quit New State? No, guys. I don't really quit games. I mean, I'm I'm down to play them again in the future. But, I mean, Warzone Mobile is a pretty big launch. You know, Call of Duty is a pretty big franchise. So, when Call of Duty launches, you know, it's definitely something that I want to cover and play. So. I don't really have time to uh, play 47 different games. Use EXP boost? I am. That's the thing. I literally used two XP tokens. You guys didn't see it because I was checking out the loadouts on the website, but I, I used two weapon XP tokens. This ram still feels good. Yeah, dude, this ram is still... I think I could seriously still make a video about this. Exude is out. Exude spin. Exude is out. Exude, Exude, Exude says Hydra vibing. All right, Hydra. I will open the Exude right now.
if you don't make crate opening videos anymore, you could sell your glasses. I could. I'll still make some crate opening videos, guys. Don't worry. I'm just not going to make, like, one a week. I used to make one, like, every single week. I did my taxes, and in the year 2023, I spent $54,000 on mobile games. So, I'm going to try to not spend $54,000 on mobile games this year. That's the goal. Told you Ram 7 is still meta. You're right. You know, I'm happy though because I could probably make my uh, I could probably still make a Ram 7 video for sure. New X2 emote is good. Nice. Yes. Let me spend $700 for an emote. Ace Lawrence. Oh, you know why we didn't level up those guns that much? Because we didn't have our loadout for like half the match. Hacking mainframe. Blah, 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 blah. Signal received. Oh, I shot the claymore. That's good. Whoa, how did he... What? Bro, he knew exactly where I was. What's up, Jeremy? I think once it's optimized for all devices, this game is really going to excel. Me too, Jeremy. I agree. I think this game is going to be awesome, and when I decided to be like, do I want to play Warzone Mobile? When I thought about it. When Warzone Mobile was like, Vincenity, we would like to partner with you. And I was like, do I want to partner with Warzone Mobile? Do I want to play this game? Do I want to be a Call of Duty partner? When I thought about it, guys, it doesn't matter about anything else. The, one, the biggest thing was I was thinking about, what do I want to be playing three years from now? Four years from now? That was the biggest thing I thought about. Not the videos and streams and like... The, the COD points and all this stuff. I didn't think about any of that nonsense. I thought about, what do I want to do three or four years from now? This game might have a rough launch for a few months, but if they can actually optimize this game, everybody's going to love it, and we're all going to forget it had a bad launch. You know? Modern Warfare 2 last year launched, and Warzone 2 launched pretty poorly. And then they fixed it, and now everybody loves Warzone again, and they're all playing it. You know, they all forgot about it. So if they could fix the game, I think that this has a bright future for years to come. It was definitely a long-term decision, you know?
Hey, bro, that's mobility. That's mobility. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Fifty thousand dollars in mobile games. How much did you net total from the entire year? Okay, Dragon Bear. Let's not let's not get into the like the the full financials. Okay. All right. I'll tell you guys this, okay? I think this is the most transparent that I'm willing to be. My channel makes a lot of money, okay? From sponsors and, and ad revenue and all that stuff, okay? But 30, like 35 to 40% of it goes to taxes. <sighs> Gone. Another like 15 to 20% goes to my editors. <sighs> Gone. Another like 20%, I got to pay my mortgage so I have a house to live in. <sighs> Gone. Then after that, we got UC, crate opens, gone. Bills, you know, my internet, uh, Photoshop, everything, gone. So at the end of the day, bro, I literally make a normal amount of money as if I just went and worked at a basic job at a computer at a, in a cubicle. You know what I mean? So, like, I'm not rich. I have, I literally work, at the end of the day, it's like working a completely normal job that just makes, like, a regular, like, little salary, and I just live. So that's pretty much how that works. IRS ain't no joke. Yeah, neither is the neither is the state of California, bro. Neither is the state of California. <laughs> oh man. I know I bought a new car and everybody was like, oh look at this guy, look at this big YouTuber buying a car. I literally saved for that, and that's the that's the first car I bought in seven years. <laughs> and I'm I'm gonna keep that car for a very long time. <laughs> so that was it was an investment. I'm going to be making a, a car payment on that car for the next 72 months. You know? Yeah, taxes suck. Exactly. So, you know, at the end of the day, I, it's like I have a normal job. I just think this is more fun than working at, like, some cubicle job. There's nothing wrong with it. There's two paths in life, you know? You can work really hard and play games. <laughs> or I could have an easy job and just go to, like, work and, you know, work on, you know, like, numbers on a computer and send emails. You know, I could just... Two things you could do. Your first car? My first car was a Cadillac ATS. It was a 2014. Just a normal car. It was red. The trick is, guys, if you really want some advice, and chat's like, oh god, no, we don't want any advice. Shut up, Winston. I need to just play the game. If you want some advice, here's what I've done. I've now I bought two cars in my life. I bought really nice luxury cars. But I bought them like like used, so that you get them way cheaper. You get you can buy a car way cheaper that's like pretty much still basically new, and that's that's what I did. When I bought my first car, it was about three years old, but it was still like pretty new and nice at the time. Didn't have a lot of miles on it. it was considered luxury, but I got it for like half off because it was like three years old. And it was technically new. Or technically used, I mean. It wasn't new. And then my Porsche, I bought it. It was like a year. Um, it's It was a 2023. And I bought it in 2024. So it was like seven months used. The dealership, they used it as a loaner car. So they would let people borrow it for like a day and like test drive it. But no one ever actually bought it and no one owned it. It, it only it belonged to the dealership. So I bought it. I was technically the first person to actually own that Porsche. But I got it for like 20 grand off. I got a huge discount on it because it was technically used. It had it had less than 5,000 miles on it. So it, like you got in, it smelled new. It looked new. It drove like it was brand new. But technically it was used. So I got like a really big discount on it. That's why I bought it. So don't be fooled, chat. I wasn't like uh, Mr. Beast. I didn't walk into the dealership and I'm like... I want a new car. Here's a hundred thousand dollars. I I did not do that. Okay. What type of Porsche? It is a Macan. 
monthly payments yes i financed the car i put like a little bit down like you can put a little bit of money down like a down payment and then i traded in my cadillac they didn't give me a lot for it though because i wrecked my cadillac and then someone else had wrecked it before i bought it i didn't know that it actually the previous owner on the cadillac did wreck it maybe that's why i got such a good discount but um i traded in my car and then i put a few thousand dollars down and then i financed the rest so like you know just a normal i tell you guys i'm just a normal guy i'm just a normal guy i'm not some big fancy youtuber driving lamborghinis with diamond chains you know hanging out with rappers like aiden ross i'm a normal guy guys i go shopping and buy groceries at target <laughs> like I'm, I'm pretty i'm a pretty boring dude I play Call of Duty and that's it. Mama Llama with the RPG! What's up, Drixie? I've been watching you for days. Thank you. I gotta be careful, someone's coming. One of your allies is back in the game. I'm gonna smoke the cluster, watch this. Never mind. I thought I'd made a big brain play. I smoke grenade the. I smoked the cluster, and I was hoping he was gonna push down and not see it because of the smoke and just blow himself up. But it did not work that way. Aim at the enemy, not friendly. Aiden Ross gifted Kaisen an SUV. Yeah, Aiden's pretty generous, didn't he? Gift uh, he gifted like a boxer, like Su Sugar. What's his name? Sugar Sean. Suge? Something I don't know his name, but he gifted him a car. Oh my god, Isaac got that? I just res him. He had no plates and he still got that off. Dang. This is actually kind of a sweatier uh, rebirth. Need plates. There we go. The cluster got somebody. Dang it. My life's more boring than yours. I day trade and play Warzone Mobile. Don't even stream. <laughs> hey, bro, it's streaming or not. Oh, we're just playing games, you know? Can I try to make a trick shot? I could try. Yeah, I could try. We're returning you to the front line. Go get them. Just closing in. Dropping into the AO. It's setting down. Oh. LST Orange County. Got him. Oh, he's here. Oh. Like he's here. And he might. Oh. Wait, did he just get crushed by a Lodi? Do an execution? I'll try. It's kind of risky to do executions in Rebirth because you might... You might die. I, like, once you start an execution, I don't think you can cancel it.
Oh, I almost missed my parachute, bro. Oh wait, that guy! Wait, that guy was a sweat. He had the Fenrir. That's literally a uh, tier 100 battle pass skin. Oh shoot, wrong loadout. No, I got the wrong loady. Damn it. Dang it. If you do not use a parachute, you die in Warzone Mobile. Yes, if you do not use a parachute in real life, you will also die. Pro tip. What happened to Pal World? Did you beat the game? I mean, I pretty much beat it. There were just a couple legendaries left, but I got really busy and wasn't able to finish it. And now it's just, I don't know. It got kind of boring. Just grinding, like, to try to get stronger Pal Spheres. It's, it was such a grind. What's my rank right now? There's no rank. They haven't added ranked yet, so we're just kind of playing, like, classic matches for fun. Until there's ranked. Oh. Three trios left. Or a quad and a duo. Nope. Oh, no! Friendly mortar strike inbound. Flanking here. Enemy knocked. He's fresh. You know the drill. Nice. All right. Is my other YouTube channel active? No, Jack. Right now, like, this is pretty much my only channel. I know I have so many channels, and sorry I got so distracted making, like, ten different channels, but right now, my goal moving forward is, like, this is the one channel, you know? You love how Resurgence is mostly real players? Yeah, for the most part, I really like that Warzone is overall mostly real players. I do feel like they've added a few bots in this most recent update. Some people thought it was, like, too hard. Which I understand. Yeah, see, this is a waste of time. We're, like, if we're not able to get our Lodi, we are not able to get leveled up. Let me see. I think I still have my XP tokens active, right? Yeah, I still have 47 more minutes of double XP for weapons. Um, Let's just do maybe, like, Mobile Royale. We get Lodi super fast, and we can still fry, like, 12 to 13 guys a match. That might be the move. 
Also, real quick, gear up um, this. What is it? It's custom Lodi 4. That's what I got to remember. It's Lodi 4. It's only level 2, dude. I was going to see if I could uh, put a bigger mag on there, dude. The, the tier 50 mag is going to be... That's going to be juicy. Once we get that unlocked. All right, let's go mobile rail. Yo, Tiltico, I I remember you, dude. You're the guy that I said was cracked. Your mobility was uh, pretty nuts, dude. GG's, bro. Yeah, you got me that one time, and I'm like, dude, this guy is so cracked. Yo, what's up, Mom Sanity? Good morning. Guys, yesterday was Mom Sanity's birthday. Any X suits on Warzone Mobile? No, pretty much everything is just like you just get a bundle. I mean, this is sick though. The skin I have is pretty close to an X suit, I'd say. It's like glowing and has like frost effects and stuff. It's pretty cool. All right, remember how I said earlier I was really hot? Well, now I'm really cold. <laughs> Battle Royale. All right, mock a drop point for your team. Oh, wait, no, don't go there. Let's go right here. Dude, this unfollow thing takes forever. It's kind of annoying. You got to hold it down for like 10 seconds. We got John Wick on our team what crazy mate all right lads let's get it done i don't think anybody went here this is kind of a random spot you know where would people go actually oh probably like quarry or something What's up, little Pop Tart Christian? Yo, Mom Sandy with the 50 gifted. Mom Sandy, that's not how this works. It was your birthday. You're not supposed to gift me things. What? What? Oh, Icy iOS was gifted a member. So I see Icy lurking in the chat. Okay. Okay. We have an imposter among us. Yo, Icy, my man, listen. If you don't get this Godzilla skin and like make this skin your whole branding, bro. Like, it literally is, like, made out of ice. It's like a Glacier Godzilla, dude. I could see that being, like, your YouTube banner. I'm just saying that, oh, dude. Like. This totally matches the icy vibe. Bro, why is Lodi so far? Oh, wait, we gotta go over here. Bang! Oh, my God. I'm, I am a bot. Wait, wait. Can I drill through the wall? We gotta get Lodi ASAP so I can level up these guns. W Mom Sanity. Boom, clip it. Ready, chat? Clip it. Okay, does this sniper just suck? I hit him twice. I can't even read chat, bro. Stream Elements is going off the chain right now with members. What is it for? Yeah, we got our subverter. Oh my god, bro. This thing is insane. Once I get the hang of it... Oh, man. It's GG's. It has no recoil. 
What is this scope? Is this the eagle eye or is this like the glassless or something? I don't know which one this is. Might have to throw my schlager on there. Bro. Oh my god, dude. I only have two bullets left. Low blow. I've never seen that before. What's a low blow? This feels like a rather easy lobby. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. People probably want TV. I forgot that this was in the circle. Glassless doesn't have a dot. Oh, really? This doesn't have a dot. It's literally just a... Just a crosshair. How are you so good at playing Warzone Mobile? Well, I played Warzone on PC back in the day, so I, I understand the game mechanics. Like, I understand plating and, and loadouts and UAVs. You know, I like, I get it how to play. I know the rules. And I've been playing a lot during the soft launch, even though the game just came out like two weeks ago. Don't forget that a lot of us have been beta testing the game for like over a year. So we've had a lot of time to practice. I mean, I've also played mobile games for like uh, mobile shooters, especially. I've been playing PUBG Mobile for over six years, so. Spent a lot of hours with my fingers on a touch screen. If only the hours I spent arguing with people on Twitter also improved my touch screen abilities. But unfortunately, that doesn't translate to PUBG. Do I miss PUBG Mobile? Um, not really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I miss hanging out with my viewers on PUBG Mobile, but if you guys are willing to watch Warzone Mobile, I like PUBG Mobile, but I really like Warzone, you know what I mean? Like, I just am really having fun in a brand new game. I can't hit my shots for anything right now, dude. Dude, I would even like a bigger scope on this thing. Like, give me like a 6x, dude, you know? I want more range. I think the Schlager would be better. Oh, Bro, I got the lag right during... No way, dude. Oh, my God. Bro, I got the lag during a fight. Ah. Uh, yeah, the subverter is definitely the meta. I got to figure this thing out, dude. We got to get a good build for it and then just let it rip. The only difference, though, is that I like big scopes. A lot of meta builds and stuff, they don't put scopes on it. They put, like, little scopes or just red dots and stuff. Like, I truly, I like builds that have, like, good optics. As an iPad player that doesn't use gyro... Why am I shooting my gun? What? What the heck was that? What? Why was he just letting it rip? How long does the Godzilla bundle stay in the store? I think for like another month at least. The bundles stay for a while. Especially like the popular bundles, like you know, like good skins. Fuck, dude! Oh my god, that was that was my bad. I tried to, uh, I tried to throw a stun like while I was free falling, and it just takes so long. I got you, homie. It takes so long to like throw stuff.
I have a feeling that these sweats, unless Isaac wiped them, I don't think he did. That might be one of the other teams in our lobby right now. It might be two trees. Oh yeah, we got some people out here. Yup, there they are. I need to find a gun immediately with a scope. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I cracked both of them with that frag. You can hear them on the chat the whole time. They're like, no. Is it bad I am using a PS5 controller to play Warzone Mobile? You know what, little Pop-Tart? It's not bad, bro. Play how you want to play. If you're having fun, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if you're playing on a phone, a tablet, controller, no controller, touch screen, you use triggers. It doesn't matter. Who cares? If you're having fun, that's all that matters. You got hit by the precision? Yeah. We got lucky we had zone. Those guys are good. Did I level anything up? Okay, the subverter leveled up once. Twice. And then what else? WSP? I, I barely used it. Yeah, dude. We're, this, we're not going to level these guns up fast enough, man. It's taking forever. Why would playing with a controller be bad? Well, there's this, there's this like weird attitude in the community that like controller players are bad and they need to be separated into different lobbies and it's not fair and blah, blah, blah. Oh, like you're not a real mobile gamer if you use a controller. Like it, it's so dumb. Just play the game. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Only noobs play with a controller. No, see, that's what I'm saying is people are jerks. They're not noobs. If people have been playing Warzone on console for years, if they want to play on their iPad and pair their controller, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I never got used to playing touchscreen. Yeah, exactly. That's fair. I, I never got used to playing controller. That's why I, I suck with a controller. How are you playing so much time on an iPad? I play like one match and my iPad Pro M2 chip heats up like crazy. Also using a cooler stand like yours. What's up, Rafs TV? Um, I'm ha I use multiple coolers, man. Um, I have a cooler on the back. Maybe your cooler just sucks. I don't know. <laughs> I, I have a pretty good cooler on. The oh, it just fell off. But I have a pretty good cooler on the back here that mag magnetically sticks on. Um, and then I also have cooling fans underneath blowing on it from underneath too. That's how I'm able to play for like five hours without the heat being a problem, you know? Hold on, chat. I'm starving, bro. I gotta go get something to eat.
Let's get it done. My bad. That took longer than I thought it would. I just ate three donuts and a glass of milk in like 80 seconds. He lost the winning streak. We're just grinding to unlock attachments for metaguns. Yeah. All right, we begin our journey from the edge of the world. What's the win streak? I'm not sure. I mean, we're on, we're definitely on another win streak. Maybe like three again. We won a rebirth, and then we won a Verdansk. I'm just gonna time this smoky guy out. He's being a douchebag. We don't need somebody like him in chat being a jack wagon. Make it for the controller players. It's stupid. You ate milk? Yes. You know, if you leave your milk out long enough, you can eat it. One video of your gaming room tour. I could, uh, I could do that. Yeah. I never made a studio tour because I kept changing my studio and I like never really felt comfortable with like it felt good. Now I have everything the way I want it. It all feels pretty good now. After this match chat, can you remind me to put more weapon XP tokens? We're, gonna, we're about to run out. We only have a few minutes left. Would love to see your bathroom. Well, okay. All right, that's the weirdest comment I've ever gotten in my life. I want a Ram 7 build for long range. I might be able to give you one. I have a good Ram 7 build. Watch this guy. I'm about to ruin his day. Not that guy. Dang it. Okay, that's a friendly claymore. I saw that for a second. I was like, oh, no. I feel like all the players are in plunder because it's like the first thing, right? It's like default. So all these kids just play the default mode because the battle royale and even rebirth has been kind of quiet. I feel like I'm fighting noobs. And then there's also like a couple bots now. There, the last few weeks, there were no bots. And now I think they added a couple bots in. They put it in the patch notes. They said the game was too hard. But now it feels too easy. Wish you could drive this truck. It looks like you should be able to drive this, but you can't.
Enemy marked. Oh, he sees me. Okay, that's not a bot. That thing's disgusting when you mount with it. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, he scared the hell out of me. I had no idea my teammate was right behind me. Oh, there's a bunch of people behind us. Where? What the heck? He didn't even register on the UAV. Whatever. Big news, WWE Universe 3D returns in WWE. Nice. Tell the devs we need a zombie app dedicated to zombies only. That would be pretty cool. I mean, I hope one day we get some Warzone zombies. That is the good part. Like, I know the engine, it sucks because it's hard to optimize. But the good part is things like zombies could be possible in the future because it's on the same engine. Where did I die? I want to get my stuff back. Your teammate was sent to the gulag. I guess we could just like it here. Enemy mutt. Your teammate was sent to the gulag. Stand by. Come on, dude. That's annoying. I almost got the, uh... Well, it's Enemy GG. UAV got a buy station here. Your teammates are sent to the Gulag. They'll fight for a chance to redeploy. Try plunder and do contracts. It'll help get tons of XP. Wait, actually, yo, prob. That's a great idea. Wait, plunder with the loady guns. We could be frying dudes with. Con oh my god, I didn't think about that. That's a good point. Good point, brother. Maybe we'll try that after this. We could get a lot of weapon XP if we do plunder. We need another loady. Cause yeah, you get your loadout guns automatically every single time in plunder. So super helpful. How'd that not knock? What? How did that not knock him? That's crazy. I lit him up. There's actually still a buy. No, wait, how did Isaac not hear that? Where were these sweats the whole game, dude? We were shooting nothing but bots, and now it's like an absolute sweat fest. You've got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Well, useless teammate was on the exact opposite side of the circle. W. All right, let's do plunder. I like that idea. Can you give me the new X suit? No. Nope. No. Only five left. Only five left. Dude, this is taking forever. Our subverter's only level six now, bruh. This weapon grind is certainly no joke.
All right. Um. Blunder. Oh what? Oh dude. There's a seventh mode. I didn't even know this. This thing can scroll. I had no idea. I bet no one is even playing solos. I had no idea that was even there. Did you guys know that there was a solo mode? I bet it's dead because it's it's like literally hidden. Who's gonna be who's gonna know about it? Add more XP boost. Thank you. Wait, we still have 20 minutes, but I'll throw an hour on there. Because we're gonna go for a little bit. You play solos? Nice. I didn't know that it was there. Alright, chat. Got an early morning meeting. Enjoy the stream. Take care and happy Friday. Thank you, Mom Sanity. Happy belated birthday. Play Plunder, bro. It's hella fun. Yeah, it's it's pretty fun. It's a little bit more casual, but it's fun. What's the primary gun? Right now, I'm trying to level up two guns. We have the Subverter, which I think is a battle rifle. And then we have the WSP-9, which is a submachine gun. Right here, this is what we're trying to do. The SOA Subverter and the WSP-9 is what we're rocking here. Become most wanted and rush the bounties. There you go. There you go. Aim at the enemy, not friendlies. It's up warming up. Stand by for deployment to the war zone. I love how Wind calls plunder mode casual, but it's the most hectic VR mode. Well, it's casual because you can die like as many times as you want. There's no real stress of like battle royale. Like if you die, you're out, you know? Plunder is just like you just get money and you can respawn over and over again. It's just like a giant team deathmatch. You can't find the training mode? There is no training grounds yet, uh, Klajdi. There's no training grounds yet. I'm going to mark a most wanted. Oh, wrong loadout. Oh, nice. It'll actually change it for me. W. I think we got to get the subverter to level 10 or 11 to get the 50 round drum. That's really the only attachment I want to change on this besides maybe the scope. Oh, there's something on my screen. I was like, what is that? There we go, okay. What is this red circle? 
Oh, is this enemy a cash UAV drop? Active. Is this an enemy cash drop? All right, we might be cooking a little bit on plunder here. Let's go. Okay, run into the wall. Cool. I gotta lock in some of this cash, dude. I literally got a quarter million on me right now. Oh my goodness, once I get 50 bullets on this thing, it's gonna be so nice. What? Enemy UAV active. No, dude. He just ran right through my thermite. What a goofball. Yeah, it's the SOA Subverter and the WSP-9. That's what I'm using right now. These are just blueprints that I got from the Battle Pass, and they're pretty good. You wish they had more controller options in Warzone Mobile? Yeah, I think they're going to bring some more controller options. We know that that's something they're aware about and hopefully going to work on. I also just lost a frick ton of my money, dude. Enemy Rip. UAV active. Enemy UAV active. I knew he was one tap. Enemy UAV active. Me and Isaac, we gotta call the cash balloon thing. He's got 300k, I've got almost 200k. Need recon overhead. Nobody's even near us, I'm gonna go to this buy station. Am I getting sniped that, bro? Who snipes and plunder? UAV 
balloon is full. Wait, oh my god, he filled it before I could even fill it. Okay, uh, we got some most wanted out here. Might push these guys. We're actually on a little bit of a heater right now. We got 13 kills. Oh my god, dude. Well, if we don't get a lot of weapon XP in this game, I don't know what, dude. I gotta use the wasp more. I can't just keep using the subverter. Or I'm never gonna get any XP for it. Let me rejoin. Let me rejoin. Damn, dude. That never happens on my iPad. I got nerfed, you know? We were just playing too well. They had to nerf me. Oh, I got a full login again, bro? What? Oh, my God. You're tripping. I mean, I, okay, in five hours, I crashed one time. I don't think that's that bad. Ashwin says, when are, when are you going to get the new X suit? I will do it, Ashwin, if you give me $1,000 for it. Because that's how much it costs. And I don't want to spend $1,000 on it. I got nerfed. Hey, at least I didn't get banned, bro. That would have sucked. I'm back. I'm back, bro. Here we go. Enemy UAV active. Like it here. Oh, wait, crap. What is this idiot doing? Why does the ground look like Play-Doh? What is happening? I have one bullet. Hold on. Settings, graphics, okay. Streaming textures. I know my iPad's gonna get hot, bro. Dude, there's so many bots. This is annoying. Why did they have to do this, bro? I guess it's because I'm playing at 2 a.m. Chat, what do you guys think the hottest game mode is right now? Maybe solos? Active. 
Dude, it's all bots, bro. Why'd they have to do that? Oh, shoot. Yo, what? Bro, he was stacked. Enemy UAV active. That was wild. Homie came flying in. Wait, what? Enemy dropping into the AO. Enemy UAV active. Enemy UAV active. Come on, we need one more for 30. Enemy dropping into the AO. Enemy UAV active. Enemy UAV active. There it is. Boom, we got 30. Oh my God. I think it's over in like three seconds, right? Nice. Am I the only one getting bots in VR? I've gotten a few bots. They said in the patch notes they were going to consider adding a couple bots in each game because some people were complaining that it was too hard. And unfortunately, I think that's exactly what happened because now I definitely am seeing some bots in my games, which is unfortunate. I'm not sure what mode to really play anymore in order to get, you know, some like sweaty lobbies. Playing sometimes like on the big battle route with 120 people, that also can at times not really be that hot. Oh no, chat. I think my channel's dead. My video earlier where I said I wasn't going to do any more crate openings, I lost 11 subscribers. I think it's the end of the road. GG's. Bad, battery's low, gotta go. All right, no worries, Isaac. I was actually thinking I might end my stream too. It's been five hours and it's been a busy day. Wait, did we level these guns up at all? I didn't really see. We hopefully level them up. I still have an hour on my XP token. Dang it. Maybe uh, maybe we could do like a big BR. I, I'm not ready to leave just yet, but I do want to end my stream soon. Did these level up at all? I didn't see. Level 10 and level 14. Okay, that's good. Wait, level 10, does that mean... Yes, sir. We got the 50 round. Bada bing. Okay, so this was the eagle eye. I want to put the schlager on. I prefer the schlager. I know I'm a weirdo, but I like the schlager. I like me some schlager. We got the armor piercing. I'll just keep that probably. Whatever. Use the Bruins heavy support underbarrel. Instead of what? What's up, Pixel Simulation? It's usually the best underbarrel for all guns with heavy recoil. Wait, but Isaac, this doesn't have heavy recoil. It barely has any recoil. I don't think I need to mess it up anymore. I would rather... I kind of want to test it with the Schlager first before I make any additional changes. What is your name, little Pop-Tart? You said you were giving me a Ram 7 build. Yeah, I can give you a Ram 7 build. Here, just take a screenshot. I like this build. The Schlager, Cronin Headwind Long Barrel. 
the casus brake muzzle, heavy support grip, or Bruin heavy support grip, and the 60 round drum. There you go. I love this game being on the same engine. They literally can drop anything at any moment. I mean, they really can. They can just be like, all right, plunder's turned on. Plunder's turned off. They can do some pretty cool stuff with this engine. Hopefully in the future we get... I mean, anything is technically possible. We could have DMZ. We could have zombies. Probably not, but it's possible. Because it's all on the same engine. Your name is AK? You passed it? Okay, I was looking for it. You mean Akshay Krish, that one? Trash game? All right, A to Z. Thank you for your contribution. Appreciate it. If you don't like it, you can go play something else. Isn't that wonderful? You can go to the App Store, and there are thousands of other games you can play. AK Chimp on it. Oh. Oh, I just accepted some random person. Okay. I don't see it. Are you sure you're sending it to the right person? I'm with sanity hashtag 703-7427. Do I, PS5, do I have disc or without a disc? I have one with a disc. What the F, bro? New Exu. What you doing here, says Harard Rose. Time to unsubscribe? Yes, you can unsubscribe. I'm not going to spend $1,000 on another Exu, Harard. Time to unsubscribe. There you go. No more crate openings. I'm not wasting my money. Sorry to disappoint. I know you think I'm just some endless credit card. I'm playing Warzone because... <gasps> I actually like Warzone. Lost another sub. Darn it. We're up to 12. Pfft. Channel's gonna be dead by noon tomorrow. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna roll a BR. I'm kinda wasting time on my XP tokens right now, so... Except I'm Groot, it's me? Okay. Everybody on my friends list is like still already in a... 200 MS, bro. What? Hold on, I'm going to switch that up. Okay, there we go. 19. <laughs> I was like, geez, dude, what? Leveling up the Renetti. I gotta level up the Renetti. It's only level one for me. Kids that don't know the value of money. I know. I know. I, uh, wait, what did that say? It said failed to join for some reason. I know a lot of kids watch my videos, and I know I spend a lot of my money on crates. I feel, I feel like sometimes they don't appreciate, like, how much is getting spent. Sometimes the way we edit videos, too... It's hard to tell, like, exactly how much we're spending because we, like, speed it up and make it fast, you know? But, like, we'll take a crate opening that took, like, 30 minutes and we'll edit it into a video that's, like, 7 minutes. You know what I mean? So, like, some of these kids might not understand. Or if they don't have a concept of money, they don't realize that, like, $700, that's, like, as much money as some people earn in an entire week or month, you know? Like, that's so much money. 
What skin is on the Ram 7? Um, I can show you. It's just a basic one, actually. It's just uh, over here in the retro category. It's the Ice Cave. You got the Black Shark Mag Cooler 3. Is it good? Because I want to get one soon. Um, is that what this is? Yes. Yeah, dude, this thing is sick. It's great. It sticks on perfectly, and then also for like the the mag, the mag safe on like iPhones, it sticks right on the back perfectly. It's great. It says my friend request is pending. I don't think I see it, man. I think I'm only allowed to have 20 requests at a time. What's your happy counter 1 to 10 after shifting from PUBG Mobile to Warzone? You mean like how happy am I? I think as a... I'm not going to accept anybody else. I just want to match. I keep canceling matching. Um, Room for me? I guess, yeah, I guess, Soldier, if you're in chat, yeah. I haven't gotten in a match in like five minutes, dude. I'll try to invite Groot and Soldier. Um, but yeah, I think playing PUBG Mobile, I think on a happy scale, I was like seven out of ten. And I think with Warzone on a happy scale, I'm like an eight out of ten. I'd say it's a little bit better. I do hope they improve the game though. I'm happy with the game, but it also makes me sad that. Other people are not happy with the game. You know what I mean? Like, if if I'm the only one that can play it, my viewers can't play. That's not very fun. So I hope they improve it. But I do have a lot of fun when I play. Isn't your RPM higher because you're a big creator? That's not how that works, David. That is not how that works. RPM is just the how much money you make per thousand views. And I have a pretty low RPM. You don't look happy? No, I'm happy. I've just been sitting here for five hours and I can't find a match. <laughs> That's, oh, we're not even matching. What the heck? No, I'm happy, guys. I am happy. I guess what's tough is that on the inside, I am really happy. But if I look too happy, if I say too many good things about this game, if I am too excited, everyone just says, oh, you're just sponsored. You're just a sellout. You don't actually like the game. You're faking it. Um, I'm going to put a clip of you saying some shit on Twitter and call you out and say you're fake. So now I, now I feel like like I can't be happy. I don't know. It's weird. I feel like I can't be happy. You know? Because if I if I am happy, you like nobody believes it. They think it's fake happy. I love this game. Like this... Uh, this stream wasn't sponsored. I, I literally just sat here for five hours and played the game because I wanted to. <laughs> just because I want to. Ranked mode is coming soon. Is that true? I have no idea, Nightmare. I'm not sure what content is uh, is coming. The $5,000 from Activision meme. Exactly, dude. Exactly. All those memes on Twitter of people putting like, Activision sent you $500 on PayPal. You know, every time somebody says something good about the game, it's like... You got paid, you got paid, you got paid. How's the MCW from the bundle? Uh, Which gun is that? Oh, from the Godzilla bundle? It's good, it's good, dude. I like it. I ended up putting um, I ended up putting a scope on it, though. I swapped out that red dot, and I put that Schlager scope on there that I like. It's pretty good. People on Twitter be farming hate for engagement. I know, it's crazy. Can I stream snipe you so I can make the lobbies harder? Yo, Doxy, chill. Yo, Rizemo, thank you for the member. Thinking about getting it? I Yeah, dude, it's totally worth it. I mean, look at this operator. This operator alone is sick. Lol, Activision trying to sponsor you? I mean, well, they do. I am, I am a partner with the game. <laughs> Some of my videos and streams are sponsored, but actually a lot of my streams and videos are not sponsored. I just play this game because I want to. Do you think Warzone Mobile will replace PUBG Mobile? Probably not. Being completely honest, probably not. PUBG Mobile is so popular. It's been downloaded over a billion times. 
there's a lot of people out there right now that are struggling to run Warzone Mobile. So they just keep playing. They keep playing their old games. COD Mobile and PUBG Mobile are not going to die at all. What's up, Rizmo? I saw your first controller gameplay on Warzone and it gave me energy to get better. <laughs> My first controller one? I mean, I was hot garbage. I remember um, I went to London two years ago and they did that whole global summit and we got to test out Warzone Mobile. This was actually before it did a soft launch and I like ran to the store and I bought a controller so I could test it out and make like a controller video. I'm not sure why we're not able to find a match. Let's just do Mobile Royale. I've wasted so much of my XP tokens. You were talking like a sellout last stream, not gonna lie. Well, what did I say, Daddy420? I'm, I'm curious, like, what did I say that sounds like a sellout? I praise this game because I like it, and it runs really well on my iPad, and I feel like people think I'm a sellout because I have good things to say about the game, and they can't run it on their, like, really low-end phones or something, and they're mad. I, I don't understand. I've been sponsored by Arena Breakout before. I've been sponsored by Free Fire. I've been sponsored by PUBG Mobile, by New State, by Apex. I've been sponsored by every single shooter game. And no one ever called me a sellout. You know what I mean? I just did a PUBG Mobile sponsored thing last week. And no one called me a sellout. I've been sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. No one called me a sellout. Now all of a sudden, because it's Call of Duty, I'm getting called a sellout every day. I don't understand it, guys. What about Warzone Mobile and Bloodstrike? Yeah, we might try Bloodstrike soon. I asked in my video tonight if people would be down if we played it. Hold on, I'm going to restart my game real quick and try to rejoin. Do you have any recommendations to buy a device to run on Warzone Mobile? I mean, I'm not going to lie. Right now, um, the best thing to do is to buy a brand new phone like a Samsung S24 Ultra or an iPad or an iPhone 15. I know that's insane, but those are the phones that can run the game really well right now is like the high-end brand new flagships. Oh, what the heck? Um, the Your next bet, b best bet, your next best bet is to just like, you know, buy a phone cooler or something. These really help. If your phone is getting too hot, these coolers really do make a huge difference. The Rust video seemed a bit fake, no hate. It That wasn't fake though, guys. It really did look good. Maybe the Twitter clip just looked like garbage, but it looked like a console game to me. I don't know. I, I was not faking it. I see why you guys say that. I was just genuinely excited because the, uh, the graphics look amazing. You guys have to remember, I've been testing this game for two years. When they tested the first alpha back in 2022, this game looked terrible. So like I've seen how far this game has come. So maybe I'm biased. Right, lads, the game looked so bad two years ago. It was awful. I mean, Rust really does look good. The lighting, the grass, the textures. It does look good. My whole chat was said it looked really good. It's only people on Twitter that are, like, negative. I have people come in all the time in my streams, and they're like, what the heck? How does your game look so good? They're like, my game looks like ass. How does Win Sanity's game look amazing? Like, this looks like a console game, bro. The physics. The, like, the gun animations and stuff. This is insane. What headphones am I using? These are the Bose Quiet Comfort 35s. QC Bose QC 35s. If people really need to spend one thousand dollars to play this game, why not just make a gaming PC and play the PC version for that price? I mean, I don't disagree. Listen, Daddy, can I explain something? Because I see this comment all the time. Everyone says you shouldn't have to buy a thousand dollar phone to play a game. You shouldn't have to buy a two thousand dollar iPad to play a game. 
You shouldn't have to buy a brand new Samsung for $1,600 to play a game. Listen, guys, no one is buying a brand new phone to play Warzone Mobile, okay? I know this might blow your mind, but hold on, hold on to your butts for a second. Hear me out. There were people that already owned iPads before this game came out. No one's buying a new phone. This game, it's just for people who already have the devices. Is that not hard to understand? No one's actually buying a new device to play this game. But there are people out there who already owned iPhone 15 Pro Maxes. They already owned iPad Pros. And computers. You know what I mean? There are thousands, millions. There are millions of people out there that already own high-end devices. And Warzone came out and now they can just play it. No one is buying a brand new device for Warzone Mobile. Yeah, if you have a thousand dollars, go buy a computer. I'm not. I'm not stupid. Go. Go play actual Warzone. You don't need to play Warzone Mobile. But there are people out there that have gaming computers and they have iPads. You know what I mean? And it's like they play both. There's nothing wrong with that. I just hate that argument of like, why would I buy a $2,000 iPad? Don't. Don't buy a $2,000 iPad. But there are people out there that already have iPads. Dude, what is with the bots? Oh my god. What are you using to stream and record? I'm using a program called Open Broadcast Software. It's uh, OBS. It's a free software. It's what most streamers use to uh, broadcast their gameplay. You were telling... Oh my fucking god, dude. I was not telling people to buy iPads. I was not telling people to buy iPads. That was some stupid shit that all these Twitter trolls blew out of proportions, okay? I had someone comment on my videos. And he said... Why does it seem like creators are having a great experience and the community is having a bad experience? And all I said was, creators are not the only people that can have iPads. Anyone can have an iPad. And everyone took that as me saying, anyone can afford an iPad. And that is not what I said. All I said was, not just creators can have iPads. There are people in the community who can also have iPads. I can't believe I have to explain this. It's not just YouTubers that are having a good experience. It's not YouTubers versus community. It's just high end versus low end. You know? There are creators that have low end devices. There are community members that can have high end devices. It's not about whether you're a YouTuber or not. It's about what device you have. Holy crap, I can't believe I have to explain this. I feel like I'm teaching some third graders when I see these people that criticize me. What the heck? Look at that. Like, okay, okay, come on. Can we be honest, chat? Can we be honest? There are not many mobile games where you can hit someone on a hill and their body goes flying and then their body rolls all the way down the hill. There are not a lot of games where that happens. When I say this is like a console game, th this is what I'm talking about. This guy landed all the way down here. I literally ran him over uphill. Like the physics and all this stuff in this game are insane. The only game that I can think of that does that is like New State. You can run over somebody and their body kind of ragdolls like New State. Um, but then after a few seconds, the body disappears.
Yo, what's up, Rose Smith? Do you need a new Nokia to play this phone? Yes. To play this game? Absolutely. I have, I have, uh, I have a durable. Oh, soldier's still up? W. Damn, that was insane. Okay, that got that got crazy real quick. That went from zero to a hundred out of nowhere. So okay, this does feel pretty good with the Schlager, I won't lie. Yeah, the whole lobby was right here. Oh, wait, there's a guy that literally picked up a most wanted. <laughs> Yo, you think he's trying to do the contract to like save his team? Homie's trying to bring his whole team back. What a giga Chad. Oh, dude. Why is she? Is that Doxy? I bet that's Doxy. Did we level up our guns? That's the question. 14. Okay. Uh, not that much. All right, chat. Look, I want to show you guys something, okay? And I think this kind of just gets at, like, what a lot of people are experiencing, right? I have an Android phone, okay? And it can run COD Mobile perfectly well. And I literally go to download Warzone, and it says device not supported. It's, and it's crazy, you know? It's just unacceptable. So, like, I can show you. I'll literally show you right now. Here, watch. Hold on, let's go here. Let's go here. Let me, uh... Right here? Yeah, we got the focus. Like, look at this. I have a perfectly good Android phone. And it can run COD Mobile. And this can't run Warzone Mobile? Like, are you kidding me? Look, I'm not even, I'm not even capping, bro. Call of Duty Mobile. See? This is what P 
people have to deal with. It's on. It's just unacceptable. I can play Warzone or not Warzone. I can play COD Mobile just fine. You don't believe me? It's running right now. Android 9. It takes a little bit to load, but you know, it happens. Okay, we're loading. Oh, okay, we're loading. There we go, see? Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. No. Oh, Warzone Mobile. Yeah, download Warzone Mobile. I can't. It's not compatible with my phone. Let's see. Let's, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go multiplayer. Practice range. Shooting range. This thing, he has even gyro, guys. All right. I have a 0.3 KD. How many FPS you run on that bad boy? Actually, though, no joke. This thing gets like 30 or 40. It's pretty good. Look at this. It's like my loadout. It's got gyro. Where's the aim button? There we go. See? I'm goaded, bro. Yeah, and see, I can play COD Mobile just fine. But I can't I can't play Warzone Mobile. Just insane. This little thing right here, dude. Wait, actually though, this thing's so funny, dude. I dug this out. This was that old little tiny phone that I made a PUBG Mobile video on. Look at the size of this compared to an iPhone. It's so small. The size of it compared to my iPad. <laughs> it's so small. It's like a two inch screen. This channel dead or what? Yeah, Harard. It's dead, bro. It's dead. This was my last stream. I told everybody to unsubscribe. I'm, di I'm dying. The channel's dead. It's dead. I'm broke. I spent all my money. I'm washed up. It's dead. Bye, chat. I'm a dead channel. How can you even see it's so small? I, you know? I just, I just close my eyes and I just let my fingers feel the way, you know? Did you expect any hate or did this come as a complete surprise? I feel like I would have expected a little bit of hate from my PUBG Mobile viewers who are like, we don't want you to play Warzone, we want, we want you to play PUBG. I expected a little bit of hate from people who didn't like me to switch games. I guess I didn't really expect the hate from the, like... People that feel the game is unoptimized and content creators are sellouts and you're assholes and you're liars and you're shills and all this nonsense. I didn't really, under, I didn't really expect that. I, I, I wish I had gotten the chance to test the game more on Android during the soft launch, but I genuinely had a very hard time trying to download it on Android. Um, iOS was easy. Once you changed your country one time and downloaded it, you could go into your history and you could reinstall the updates easily without having to change your country anymore. But on Android, it's very difficult. I could not get my address to change on the Google Play Store at all. I tried creating all kinds of emails, um, like Germany123 at Gmail, like trying to get to the different countries and stuff. Australia, I had a fake email for New Zealand, and like all this stuff. Um, and it just would not work. And then I would try to go to those websites that have APKs like up to down tap tap and stuff and like their apks were never up to date they never put the like up updated versions on so i never got the chance to really test out android otherwise then i might have been able to know hey this doesn't really run that great and maybe i could have given them more feedback and stuff but i'm sure they had data from android users i don't know it's not it's not just youtubers that tell them if a game is good or bad like they have data from millions of users you know in fact, the opinions of us creators actually don't really matter that much as people think. What is going on? Is he the party leader? I'll invite him to my party. 
exsuit is here. That's awesome, Ozzy. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it. How to get 25 event coins to buy the epic skin in event store? That's a good question. Let's take a look. How many event coins do I have? I have 10. How do you get these? Yeah, wait, actually, how do you get these coins? I have 10 of them, but I, to be honest, I don't know how I have 10. Does anybody know? Okay, so I guess you get some coins from this event track. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. I have 10. How do I get more? Maybe there's going to be more events. Um, I don't know. For, yeah, I think you get them from playing, I guess. Maybe you find them. You just play BR for the coins. Each week you'll get more. Oh, okay. The daily task. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, yeah, so I guess you get them from this. Yo, Groot, why do you keep inviting me, bro? I want to play. I invite him to my party, and he won't join, but then he invites me to his party. All right, there we go. All right, then. The Shimo bundle comes with the finisher or only on PC console. Right now, Emerson, the bundle, uh, all, all of the custom finishers right now are only on PC. But they said they want to try to add them to mobile soon. They said it's coming soon. I believe they mentioned it on Twitter. They were like, custom finishers should hopefully be coming to Warzone Mobile soon or something. Yo, let's go Millie Base. Millie Base is actually kind of popping if you get it like right on the path. I'm gonna grab this bounty. Oh, I think I saw a guy down there. Too many people sent me a friend request. Yeah, I might have too many requests. I might have to um, get rid of some. Has he played the cash mode yet? What's up, Akash? Yes, we did do plunder a little while ago. I actually got 30 kills on it. Right now, we're just kind of playing a little bit of everything. Trying to level up our guns. We've got some pretty good meta guns that we're working on right now. But we have to level them up first. Where's the bounty? Way out here. Like, this is something that's crazy to me. I know I keep talking about the game, but, like, we can literally see all the way out there. We can see buildings. And I'm not trying to make fun of PUBG Mobile, but you guys know in PUBG Mobile, like, once you get past, like, 300 meters, all the buildings disappear. 
you see trees and buildings like popping in and popping out as you uh, are driving around because stuff disappears from far away, you know? You can look out and you you see people floating in the sky because they're on the they're in apartments and the people render but the buildings don't render, you know? That's when when I say this is like a console quality game, these are the things I'm talking about. The render distance is insane. You know? Enemy UAV active. Why do they not add a render distance option? They might have to. That might be one of the optimizations that they make, you know? What is the best sniper to use? A lot of people are saying the XRK Stalker is meta. I am on single shot. Um, but I personally like the Cat AMR. I didn't realize this is like a single shot gun. I like the cat AMR because it can like one shot to the head at almost any range. It's kind of like an AWM type of thing, you know? I like that one. Yeah, the cat is a one shot. The XRK Stalker, it's like a two shot if you're if you can aim well. But the thing is it shoots really fast and it scopes in really fast. So, you know, you do have the chance to be like, boom, boom. Like, you can hit consecutive shots pretty quickly. The cat AMR is slower, but it's like, you know, all you got to do is hit that one shot. If you can aim well. I like going for sniper clips, you know. So, if you can hit that one good headshot, that's a cool clip. I have not tried Valorant, Ozzy. I've never tried Valorant. I personally don't like the tactical shooters. I don't like CSGO and Valorant, and I think they're not the most fun. I'd rather play Battle Royale. Can you make a video for new players? What's up, Sai? I did make a video for new players a few weeks ago. Um, if, check my channel. Oh, I can't aim. Um... Uh, yeah, I did make a video for new players, and uh, it's called like Warzone tips and tricks for PUBG players or something. But it, it helps if you're if you're new to Warzone and you don't really understand like a lot of this stuff. It does explain um, things like buy stations, kill streaks, self revives. It explains a lot of the things that like the Gulag, things that are new and unique to Warzone. Enemy might. You've got gas inbound. What do you think about YouTubers like Riggs and Stealth Caught M that constantly hating on the game? What do you think they're why why do you think they're doing that? Is it because they didn't get sponsored? Um, I'm not too sure. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it can be uh, tempting to cover topics that you know are going to get a lot of views. If you look at both of their channels, their recent videos are getting a lot of views, right? Like, as a YouTuber myself, I know that, um, you know, it can be, it can feel like, ooh, you know, if I make another video like this, I could get a lot of views. But I don't know. I just don't like to be too much of a negative person. And I, I, I don't know how they can make like 12 videos bashing Warzone Mobile. I just feel like it's kind of weird. At some point, maybe one or two videos, it's just like, yeah, this game sucks or blah, 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 blah. You know, like I'm going to, you know, make a drama video about all the, the launch problems or something. But then I'd move on. Like, is it, I wouldn't dwell on it. The thing is, neither of them even really play the game. So like, why talk about it? You know, I would rather make content about my gameplay or about okay, good games. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and bash bad games, you know? I've killed this zigzag kid three times. I don't know. I like rigs. I don't know stealth. But when I saw rigs kept making videos about it, I thought it, I thought it was a little strange. But it's, I mean, it gets a lot of views. I mean, they're not lying. The, the game is not perfect. It does have problems. I didn't, I personally, and I don't know if Riggs is in chat, but I mean, it's, it's my opinion, so I'm not afraid to share it, whether he knows it or not. I would not have personally made the April Fool's prank. So Riggs made a video that was like five minutes long and he pretty much made a whole bunch of like fake 
updates. Oh, shit. Okay, that was a little bit scary to walk around the corner and see that. Oh, my God. And he made this whole video that was like, they fixed everything. There's no more heating problems. 120 FOV. They added ranked mode. The game is perfect. And then at the very end of the video, he like pretended uh, that it was like all a dream and he woke up. And I was like, I don't know. I think April Fool's pranks should be funny and they should like make people laugh or like, like, oh, gotcha. Something like that, I think, gets people's hopes up. It gets them excited. It gets them optimistic. And then it like crushes their hopes, you know? That's like an April Fool's prank where you told somebody like they won the lottery and then you have to tell them they didn't win the lottery. Like, that's so sad. You know? Who did that? It was Riggs Gaming. He made a, t like a, a prank video about Warzone fixing all the problems. And I think it got a lot of people happy. I mean, it was obviously an April Fool's video. He made some jokes in it. He was like, the whole game is going to be remade on Unreal Engine 4. Like, oh my god, dude. This is why I hate playing against bots. Because you'll shoot bots for the whole game. And then at the very end, you get sweats. Like, what the heck, dude? So many bots. Well, I don't know if it's going to change anything, but we have a section where we can just kind of give ideas and suggestions and feedback and just share things about the game that we feel. So I just was like, you know, getting too many bots now. The first two weeks were incredible. Even with all the optimization problems and stuff, the first two weeks, there were so many real players. And now it's like, it feels like lobbies are uh, like 40 bots and then like 20 people. How do you set throwing knife to throw automatically? What's up, Lee? Here is how you do that. Go to your settings. Go to your controls. Open up your HUD. And on your throwable thing, like the stuns and frags, you know, smokes and throwables and all that stuff. On your throwable thing, click it. Go over here to variance. And there's a direct throw variant where all you have to do is tap it and it will just throw it. So this is default is where you tap it and then you have to like throw like then you have to press another button to throw it direct throw is right here and that is you just press it once and he'll just throw it and that is usually helpful like when you guys see me knock somebody and then throw a knife at him to kill him that's that it's this direct throw variant sometimes for me it glitches and it even though it's on direct sometimes it glitches and it goes back to default in order to fix that just open up your settings Apply default, apply direct throw again to like toggle it on and off, and that fixes it. Sometimes you'll hear me say, what the heck, my throwables aren't throwing, because it's not direct, it accidentally glitched back to default. That's how you fix it. Gotta go. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. Have a good, uh, have a good day, man. People are upset that Warzone Mobile isn't running properly after one week. Well, I mean, I understand that people are upset because it's technically the game is out, so it should work, right? You know, um, you know, you wouldn't go to the store and buy a brand new game like Spider-Man for your PlayStation and then it doesn't work and then you wait for them to fix it. Like, if they're going to release the game, it should work. So I understand why people are upset. It's going to take time for them to optimize and stuff. And then somebody said we should go Rebirth because it's probably just going to be sweatier, and I agree. Your Samsung gets baked like a potato. I'm sorry. I would definitely recommend trying a cooler. I know it's not ideal, but um, a lot of the people that I see having a good experience playing this game, um, they are using coolers. I think that's the best thing to do while we wait for them to optimize the game and hopefully fix it over the next couple updates. In the meantime, if you want to try to use a cooler, that definitely helps. 
Got to go to have fun. All right, Tom, Tom, thank you for uh, watching, man. Honest question. What if they literally cannot optimize the game for Android? What's the play then? That's a great question, man. That's a, that's a scary question, right? What if they can't figure it out? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I have a lot of thoughts on that, but I don't feel like getting clipped and put on Twitter by uh, some trolls and have it get shared and then everybody calls me a clown. Not that anyone asked, but I heard Samsung mentioned and I just finished playing multiplayer on the Tab S9 Ultra without a cooler and didn't have any lag on high uncapped. Played for an hour, no issues. Don't trust him, Chad. He's a YouTuber, all right? These scumbag YouTubers get sponsored. He's a sellout. He's sponsored by Samsung. Hashtag ad. He didn't disclose it. I'm reporting him to the president. Joe Biden, FBI. This guy is literally self-promoting in my chat. Sellout YouTuber right here. Samsung partner. Hashtag ad. Hashtag get him out of my face, bro. Nah, he's probably telling the truth, though. It sounds about right, yeah. I mean, at least on multiplayer, that doesn't get that hot. Wait, what'd you say? The Samsung S9? Oh, the tab. Yeah, the tablet. Yeah, true. Well, I'm going to pull my shoe and just fly over here. Yo, Noah. I picked up this new Android phone for COD Mobile, dude. It runs it so well. Check this out, bro. You got to try this, dude. It's this brand new phone. Um, I'm not sponsored, though. Check this out. This thing's a beast. Full gyroscope and everything, dude. I was uh, in the shooting range, just, you know, dialing in my uh, my settings. This thing right here. It's a bad boy. Way, way better than the Samsung, dude. Enemy dropping into the AO. <laughs> I feel like the people who are hating on Twitter are actually more obsessed with the game than the people who play it. I think that's the, what the phone on Twitter are using. Yeah, that's what the Twitter trolls are using, bro. Yeah, dude. I literally... Look, look, I'm not kidding. Look, it can run COD Mobile. My Android phone can run COD Mobile, chat. But it says that Warzone Mobile is not compatible. This is ridiculous, and Activision needs to optimize their game, guys. Look at it. It says download Warzone Mobile. I can't download it. There you go, Twitter trolls here. Clip this. Put this on Twitter. And you can shove this thing up. Okay, let's get back to it. All right, all right. Look, I can run COD Mobile just fine. How much was that, by the way? I'm not going to tell you, bro. You're not going to steal my video idea. It was like $200. It's on Android 9. So I can't update it. I literally can't update it any past Android 9. So I can play COD Mobile. I can play PUBG Mobile. I think that thing can even download Genshin, but it doesn't run it very well. That thing, though, that little phone is actually surprisingly strong. It has, like, an 8-core processor. It's not bad at all. It has, like, uh, ra like a lot of RAM. All right, yo, chat. Ch chat, plug your ears. You're not allowed to hear this. I have to ask Noah a question, okay? This is for YouTubers, so other viewers don't listen. Yo, Noah, are you getting a lot of bots, bro? I've been getting a lot of bots. I don't know what's going on, dude. My lobbies are dead. Is it because I'm playing at 3 a.m.? Like, am I just doing this to myself? Or is it because everybody's in plunder? I don't know what's going on. Also, dude, did you see that? There's literally a solo mode. If you scroll over on the playlist, there's a solo mode that's, like, hidden. Dang, I see Noah didn't answer my question. Okay, okay. Bro, he'll, bro's literally over on... Uh, bro's on Amazon looking up this phone right now so he can make a video out of it. 
I played COD Bubble on the world's smallest phone. There you go, dude. Free like million view video. Except I'm going to beat you to it. I'm going to record it tomorrow. There's actually another phone I ordered that's supposed to be have better like better software and stuff that technically should run Warzone Mobile, but it's also like a two-inch phone. I ordered that and it gets here tomorrow. So as long as I record my video a day, as long as I record my video tomorrow, I'm ahead of Noah. So he can't beat me. Multiplayer has a bit more AI than normal tonight, though. While I was testing the tab, yeah, dude, all modes have a ton of AI. I dropped 30 in plunder because like 10 of them were bots. Dude, I'm so sad. I hope this isn't a permanent thing. It, it messes me up because I kill bots and then all of a sudden, like, you get, like, a real sweat, you know? And then I'm not prepared for it. Like, I was playing so well the last few weeks when it was all real people and I just, I just was ready for it, you know? Every fight, I knew it was real players. Oh, God. Official stupid. Oh my god, I'm him. Placing Claymore. Why do they not blow up? Also, as a man who has now been graced by the 14.6 inch Samsung S9 Ultra, there is a 0% chance I'll ever play on anything smaller again. Hashtag ad. Oh, that's right. Wait, Noah can't steal my video idea because he's sponsored by Samsung. Yo, W, let's go. He can't use the two-inch phone. I'm really hoping, so I ordered this little two-inch phone, uh, like the, the updated version, like I said, that it has Android 13 on it, so I'm hoping that Warzone Mobile is compatible. We're just too cracked, bro. We're too good. Where is this guy? I mean, we could hit a UAV tower. That's a win. Oh, what? Was that not him? Enemy dropping into the AO. Careful. Area's <laughs> Wait, did he just die? Oh, no way. Have you ever tried the Bass V? I have never in my life seen a UAV tower before. What the F? Dude, they literally just added them with the Season 3 update. It's like a new thing on Rebirth. It's been in the game for like two days. Yeah, they're pretty cool, actually. Kind of handy if you, want, if you ask me. Should I update my iPad to iOS 17? Is it better? I don't know, because apparently I haven't updated mine either. I think I'm still on iOS 16. Tell the devs to fix gyro. Um, Smokey, can you let me know what is wrong with Gyro? Is it the thing where it's like, it gets backwards? I know that they're aware of that issue. I don't know why it's taken them a long time to fix it. it that honestly, um, has been an issue for like a year. Why do you always clean your iPad? Because when I'm talking and all the time, I'm like, Hey guys, thanks for the sub. And I always spit on my iPad. And it gets really dirty really fast. Having a screen this big, it gets really dirty. My hands sweat, you know. I rub my nose and then I play on the iPad. It just gets gross, guys. Mobile gaming is gross, okay? 
So I just have this little towel and I just wipe it up, bro. There's a dead zone with gyro. Oh, yes. Yes. I know what you're talking about. Yes. the I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, what? Noah said, I've been meaning the reports for a while. Anytime you use a score streak activation tablet in multiplayer, the input goes far off to the right where you... Yo, thank you, Noah. Actually, he clipped a, uh, a bug from my stream that I meant to send them. Yeah, when you go to use a skill streak like the SAE or something and you want to mark on the little tablet where to drop the bombs on the map, it literally drops it in the wrong place. Just watch your open here video. What? YouTube is trolling me. It's Ramadan and I'm only getting recommended food related videos. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's got to be rough, man. I personally don't celebrate or, or observe or practice like Ramadan, but I, f I feel for you guys, man. I don't know how you do it. I could not go all day without eating every single day for like a month. That's crazy. Your open heart video. Oh. I'll be honest, I don't watch the crate openings, but I love good snipes or good nade videos. All right, well, that's fine. I'm sure a lot of you guys like the gameplay videos. I mean, the only problem is, let's be honest, I upload a gameplay video on PUBG Mobile. It does like 30 or 40,000 views, which is dope. But if I do a crate opening, it's like 200,000. So I know I got a lot of comments that people are like, that's fine, we don't care about crate openings. I mean, there are a lot of people that do, though. You know, like I literally get like six times the views on crate opening videos. But like I mentioned in that video earlier, it's just not worth it. All the views while I'm like just burning money is kind of stupid. 90 FOV feels too slow to me. I, f I know, man. 120 is where it's at. If you use a sniper and try to aim with gyro, it's very noticeable. Yes. No, I, I know what you're talking about. I just let them know. I just typed it. I said, also, there is a dead zone with gyro, especially with snipers. You have to move more than you'd like to to get the gyro to, like, wake up and work. I have experienced it myself, too, actually. I was testing it on some phones the other day, and I was using gyro. And, um, yeah, I felt that. I, I, like, was trying to, you know, snipe. And I'm, like, moving my phone ever so slightly. And the gyro is, like, not moving. Like, the, the cursor is not moving. And I'm, like, move. And then it's, like, oh, you know, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. So, yeah, I let them know. That much views on a crate is insane. Yeah, no, I mean, my crate openings were doing crazy, like 300,000 views, 400,000 views. Like, that's why I kept doing them. But then at the, the more I thought about it, I'm just like, dude, like, why am I wasting money? You know? Actually, Sarah, we looked at it earlier. Like, I think the most crazy example of me, like, spending money on a crate opening and it just not being worth it was when we did the Aston Martin car collab. And it cost, like, $2,800. Actual dollars. $2,800. And I only made 500 on that video. And that video went pretty viral. It did half a million views and I still only made $500 and that video costs like almost 3000. And I'm just like, ever since that video, I've kind of questioned it. I'm like, why do I keep doing this? You know, two X suits was cool. Three X suits, four X suits was cool. But now it's like 10 X suits. Why? You know, they should be a write off on your taxes. They are a write off on your taxes, belly button, but you have to understand they, they don't fully offset the same amount of, of tax as the cost. Now, I know this probably sounds really boring to most of you, but here's how it works. If, let's say I spent $1,000 on a crate opening, yes, I can deduct the $1,000 from my income, but it only actually lowers my taxes by like, let's say like $300.
So deduct a thousand. The only actual tax that you don't like that you save is 300. So the other 700, I still have to pay, you know? My game was running pretty well on my M1 iPad Pro with uncapped high, but somehow I'm noticing frame drop and lags with very low graphics after the latest update. Yeah, there's been some uh, issues with the most recent update. I don't know what it is, uh, but unfortunately, um, with Call of Duty, sometimes the updates kind of, they'll, they'll fix a lot of things, but they might accidentally break other things. Yeah, exactly. Write-off doesn't mean free. Like, here, I'll just give you basic numbers. Let's say, let's pretend somebody made $100,000 that year. They made $100,000. Let's say they spent $20,000 on crates. They deduct the $20,000. That $20,000 is gone. Well, they still have to pay taxes on the other $80,000. You know what I mean? Did I try Warzone on the Samsung S23 Ultra? I did. I will tell you guys, the game crashed about four times over like 15 minutes. Sorry, Noah, but that's just my experience. Um, so, the phone's amazing, but something's wrong with... Uh, something's wrong with the game on Samsung right now, I think. I don't know if they fixed it or not. The good news is, I know Warzone is working hard on updates like every single day. Um, so, they said that they're going to try to push updates out like every week. Not just, uh, not just every month or every, you know, every other season. Like, we should be getting, like, patches and updates and fixes every week. Which is good. So, they're, they're gonna have the ability to fix stuff way faster than most other games. And that is a part of the whole engine. Is that they can push updates, like, on the fly. S23 Ultra runs the game better than the S24 Ultra. You know why that might be the case? A lot of times, if you buy a, like, brand new phone, the, the games haven't had time to optimize for that new phone yet. I can't tell you how many times. I used to be sponsored by OnePlus, and they would send me their brand new phones, like, before they were even on sale. I remember I got the OnePlus, like, 8 Pro before anyone else did because I was, like, a, a YouTuber with them. I got the OnePlus 9 Pro. They sent me their phones really early. But what sucked about it, though, is that every single time I would open up these new OnePluses, there wouldn't be 90 FPS. It would only be 60. And we'd have to wait like one or two updates for PUBG to actually turn on 90 FPS for these new phones. So sometimes when you get a brand new phone, like the day it comes out, um, the games haven't updated, like haven't optimized yet. Those new Samsungs, the S24 Ultras, they have the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chips. You know what I mean? So not only does Warzone have to figure out how do we optimize for old chips, we have to also be optimizing for new stuff. Pretty soon we're going to have new iPhones. They're going to have to optimize for the A18 Bionic chip. They're going to have to also optimize for the M3 iPads. I want to get an M3 iPad, but one problem could be that they don't have it optimized. There could be glitches and bugs and stuff. Even though the M3 iPad is going to be insanely strong, the strongest you know, mobile device ever, there might be problems because they have to optimize for the, the new devices too. So, I have issues with rendering buildings and rebirth and enemies are invisible. Yes, um, we reported that whole invisible enemies thing. Um, like the, where the people's skins are invisible and it's just their head, right? They know about that and they are fixing it. Like that's one of their top fixes right now. Obviously, you can't have invisible enemies. Like that's a big problem. So they are like fixing that right now. Tell the devs to add custom finishers. We can't use any finishers. Um, wait, I can let me show you guys this. Um, Warzone mobile finishers. Here, look. They said this on March 29th. They said Warzone Mobile is planning to add custom finishers in the future. So they already addressed this. I mean, it's kind of like it doesn't say much. It just says, you know. While you can't customize finishers, you should be able to have the finisher for the from the bundle. They said custom finishers are planned to drop in a future update. So they know it's not in the game. It's coming, you know? It's still coming.
Can I have your old iPad when you upgrade? No, I'm not giving away my old iPad. I keep my old iPad because if my new one breaks, I can't afford to like not stream for like a week or two, you know? Like I need to keep a backup device um, so I can do my job. <laughs> They're going to fix the issue when I toggle ADS but goes to hip fire. Um, you know what that problem is, chat? A lot of people had this issue. In fact, I had it for a while. Even Ferg had it, and I, I told him on stream how to fix it. If you're ads and then you go to sprint, like this little auto lock right here, this little arrow, if you're a player that does tap to ADS, this sprint will cause you to unscope. It's the sprint thing. So what some players do is they literally put this all the way up here so that they don't trigger it. Um, that can cause, uh, that can help you stay like, so that sprinting doesn't make you unscope. I'm a hold to ADS player, so I don't have that problem. Check out the Xu Pro. No Hydra, I'm not opening the Xu today. I w might open it in a few days. I actually do have a sponsored video coming up and they want me to play PUBG Mobile. It, it's a, a new phone. And the phone company wants to send me their new phone. And um, they want me to play PUBG Mobile on their new phone. So I said, sure, sounds good. So as part of the sponsorship, maybe we'll do the X suit or something. Okay. You know, I'm not, I know I said I wouldn't do a lot of crate openings anymore. But if we do, if we get sponsors and, you know, a company wants to help pay for it because so, they're so expensive, I am um, totally fine still doing openings. It's just, I don't want to do so many openings where I'm the, I'm the one that has to pay for it every time. Which phone? I probably shouldn't say what phone it is because it's um, the sponsorship is not like happening yet, but you'll see in the future if, if it does happen. It is an Android because it's not obviously not iOS. Apple doesn't sponsor YouTubers. They don't care. Apple's like $3 trillion. They don't care if a little YouTuber makes a PUBG mobile video. It is not Pixel, no. I mean, I'm excited about it. It is a, let's just say it's a phone that I've never used before. Uh, it's a brand of phone that I've never used before. So I'm excited to try something new. Bye, Win. I'm going to go. I uh, have a good day. Thank you, Ozzy. Have a good day as well. What's up, Dark Beast? Love the HUD. Thank you. You like it? It's pretty clean. It gets the job done. The reason my ADS button is up here is because I use this trigger on the side of my iPad to, to play. What do we do, boys? Yo, yo, what if we rip the solo? Let's rip a solo. Is it a nothing phone? No, it's not a nothing phone. It's not a rock. It's not a red magic. It's not a rock. Oh my god, I should probably just tell you what it is. It's <laughs> fuck. I shouldn't say this, but um, it's an Infinix. Which is actually kind of really interesting because somebody mentioned an Infinix to me a few months ago or a few weeks ago in a stream. Um, somebody ta was talking about an Infinix phone and I was like, what's an Infinix? I've never heard of that. And then lo and behold, a few weeks later, I, we actually looked it up on stream and I was like, how, like we were checking out the prices and like, I because I said I'd never heard of an Infinix before. And we were looking it up and we pulled up the website and we were checking it out. And then completely um, coincidentally... Um, I get reached out to a few days ago and it's like, hey, we'd love to send you an Infinix phone and have you test out PUBG on it. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. Like, I would actually love to try it because we were just talking about an Infinix. Check chat in Warzone when what chat, Jaya? In, in game or in my Discord server? That was like a week ago. Yeah, you do you remember that, James? We we talked about the Infinix. What the is it Iku? No, no, it is it's Infinix. Is it that it might be the Infinix GT20? Yeah, I mean, fine. I might as well just tell you what it is. I know I, I shouldn't tell you guys this because it's not officially confirmed. Yeah, an Infinix GT20 Pro.
Been playing a few rounds with the flamethrower attachment. Wait, there's a flamethrower attachment? GG's, mate. Um, let's get the- oh, shoot. Dude, that guy had so much stuff, he was stacked. Contract here. Oh, it's right there. W, okay. I'm trying to get better about making sure I grab the bounties. You know? Because it literally tells you where an enemy is. So you might as well get it. If you're trying to play aggressively, you might as well get them. Except this guy's going to be ratting in freaking Superstore. This guy knows I'm on him, dude. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we got a UAV as well. We got Lodi. Okay. We're kind of cooking, dude. I like solos. It's a little bit more stressful, but... You know, I don't have to rely on anybody else. Need recon overhead. Copy that. UAV online and opening the AO. Oh, shoot. How do you set your sensitivity? Honestly, I don't even remember. I set it during the soft launch. I just kept tweaking it. I would play a multiplayer and just, like, if it felt too fast or too slow. I also just kind of did some some com uh, comparisons between PUBG and, like, just making sure, like, I wanted to, like, turn, you know. It's just something you have to slowly dial in, like, over and over. Don't go changing it too much, you know, like, if it feels a little slow, turn it up just a little bit. You know, it's, dialing in your sensitivity is one of those things you want to do, like, little by little by little. Don't go jacking it all the way up and then jacking it all the way down. Like, you really want to fine-tune it. What's up, Mr. Clasher? Six hours streaming, dang. Yeah, we're going hard right now. Flanking here. So whenever an enemy shoots, if you guys didn't know, it'll show them on the minimap for like a minute or two. Or you know, just a couple just a couple seconds. So every time I hear shots. If I hear shots. I will uh, open the map real quick and try to see where they are. Easy way to find people, you know?
I've got the ultimate camper troll loadout right now. I got the little deployable shield and a cluster mine. I could go camp some staircase. I guess you have to wait, wait to read my comments after this game. What did you say? When I played my gun takes forever to load, it all, always gets me killed when it does that bug. Oh, like a, like just a long reload or like it actually bugs out. Some guns just take a long time to reload. I mean, they're, you know, have like a hundred bullets, you know? All right. We got an actual gamer giga sweat up here. He for sure saw me. I might be able to beam him. Oh my God, dude. He's wearing a Groot skin. Oh, this guy has no idea, bro. He's dead. Oh, there's another one that just came up. Enemy dropping into the AO. Where? Please don't have a precision or some crap. Bro, what the hell? Did you see? That was like 15 hit markers. That's insane. Oh, whoa, what was that? Did you hear that? It go, it, that sounded like an alien gun. I was like, pew. If I, if I hit this, I'm gifting 50 members. This is why I need a sniper rifle, dude. Oh, this guy has to push to me. Hold up. No, crap. Only five left. I'm almost out of bullets. All right, let's see. How do we play this? Mors is good. You don't need to reload. I know. Yeah, the Mors is dope, but it's not in mobile yet.
W cluster mine, bro. W cluster mine. He could not get to circle because I freaking clustered him, bro. 357 IQ. Boom. I literally won because of that cluster. <laughs> he couldn't get out. <laughs> I tried to throwing knife him like a douchebag. <laughs> How do I change weapon? So I have my weapons combined and all you got to do is just, you just tap the one thing and it's, it switches weapons. Instead of having two weapons like PUBG Mobile, I put it together and you just tap it and it cycles through the two weapons. W, that was a good game. I mean, it was, I don't know if these are noobs or something or bots, but I feel like I killed like 10 bots and then one real guy. I don't know. How much accurate FPS do you get? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, if you're just asking about my FPS, it feels like 70 or 80. Can you suggest the best cooler for iPad? Yes, I can. Um, you know what? I'm going to make a... Are there any mods in chat right now that know how to make commands? Do you know how to do that, Steven? It's like exclamation add com or something. How do you do that? We need to we need to make an iPad cooler command because that is something that I literally get asked every single stream. I gotta search back in my like previous orders on Amazon to find it. Exclamation ad com. Is that it? You know what? Here, I could just do it on my end. I can I can literally log into stream elements and just make it real quick. Get yourselves a proper warm up. We'll be deploying soon. Let's see, log in, dashboard. How does the finisher work in mobile? Because it says PC and console only, but it said that for the weapon, it said that too. Um, yeah, the custom finishers are only on PC and console right now. They're going to bring it to mobile in a future update. Let's see. Chat commands. Uh, custom commands. Add a command. Exclamation. Cooler. Activate command. Okay, let's see if that works. How long is the Godzilla X Kong bundle lasting? Um, shouldn't it, it should be in the shop for a while, like at least a month, probably. You actually want to buy the bundle? Yeah, though this Godzilla bundle is fire. Speaking of which, I actually need to send that over to my editor since we since we uh, recorded that video earlier. No guns, really. Wow, Bumbo! Bumbo, get him out of my chat. Ban him right now. Get him out. Get him out. Stream sniper. Scumbag. Look at this loser. Drop shot. Bunny hopping. Movement. Gyrating. Controller playing. Hacking. Cheating. VPNing. Get him out of here. Get him out of my chat, bro. Insane. <laughs> That's alright. I'm gonna land on him and clap it right now. I'm coming for you, Bumbo. I'm coming for you, Bumbo. <laughs> oh, you think you're safe, Bumbo? You think you're safe? Oh, I see you flying down, Bumbo.
I see you flying down, Bumbo. That's not Bumbo. That's not Bumbo. Come on, Bumbo. I'm sending this clip to the win haters to put on Twitter. Oh, dear God. Oh, no, dude. They're already going to clip me with my two-inch Android, and they're going to be like, Winsanity is making fun of poor Android users who are having problems. Is this streamer a scumbag? Really makes you think, doesn't it? I can already think of... Oh, it kicked you? Yeah, exactly. I called up the Activision devs, bro. They're watching my stream. I said, get him out of my lobby. I meant it, bro. They took the trash out. That's right. You kill Insanity, you get automatically kicked from the lobby, dude. They know how good I am. They know you can't kill me. If you killed me, you must be cheating. Can't wait to wake up tomorrow and see what crap those kids clipped from my stream. Um, loadout? Brother. Oh, I just- oh, it, it technically hadn't landed. That's actually funny. I had to shoot it to make it, like, land. Well, this is going to be easy because I guess Bumbo was the only other real player in my lobby, dude. I'm going to have to start streaming at like in the daytime. I can't stream all night like I normally do because it's just there's not enough real people. They're all asleep. This feels like soft launch, dude. There's so many bots. Loadout glitches sometimes. Yeah, I think because it landed on like a little like bit of a slant. Like a slope. It was, uh... Enemy UAV technically hadn't landed yet. I thought it was still falling. Contract here. Got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Objective is to eliminate the bounty target. When using ESP? What? Why would you think I'm using ESP? Y'all can see my hand cam. You, you literally see exactly what I see. I can hear people's footsteps and I can see dots on the minimap, bro. I also have high alert. That yellow bar that keeps flashing, that tells me when someone's looking at me. Is this guy way down here? Enemy dropping into the AO. Yep, I heard that. He called it out. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bro, his whole first spray was like through the smoke. What? He reads my comments sometimes. Well, I, I, yes. Tell me what your name is in game because I can't scroll all the way up and see what you said. <gasps> womp womp. Yep. The sweats be like, bro, it's not even sweats. It's just 10 bots and then one normal player. I don't know. I'm, I'm torn. I don't know what to do. I'm like, do I end my stream and go to bed and then try to stream tomorrow during like a normal time? Or do I stay up? Because like in a few hours or even pretty soon, like Americans are going to start to wake up. So... I should be getting some real player lobbies soon. Does Warzone Mobile have anti cheeks? I saw videos of YouTubers of people using Cronus. Oh, of Cronus? Dang. Um, yeah, it has anti cheat because it's built on the same engine. That is also one of the perks of, I believe, because it's on the same engine as Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. Um, they also have access to the whole like ricochet anti cheat and stuff to work on mobile. Thank you, little Pop Tart. I didn't see your message the first time. I'll send you a friend request. Seeing so, I don't think I can. I don't think I can get any right now. Maybe I got it in here. Oh, it's right here. AK Chimp. Okay, I got it. I got it. Except, uh, accept some? Did I accept yours, Bumbo? I think I did. You're already on my friends list. You're in a battle royale. Wait, why do people keep inviting me? Why does this keep happening? Why do they invite me to their party? I want, I want to invite them to my party. Join my party. Let's play Subway Surfers, brother. Bro. Who can send me some UC in the chat? So CPM, nobody can send you UC in the chat. Um, come, come, man, 69. I am going to not accept that friend request. Just going to, just going to say that. Yo, is that Bumbo? Hey, let's go. You know, Bumbo's got that skin. All right, what do we want to do, chat? Mobile Royale? Yeah, let's maybe do a mobile. Hopefully, it's hot. Is that Isaac? I mean, we could invite Isaac and try to do a big BR. Can I play with you? We have a full team now, Ninja. All right, let's see if we can do a big battle rail. I mean, you know, I could always end up, uh, we could make customs. Like, if there aren't enough real people, not tonight, but if we really wanted sweaty lobbies, that's always an option, too.
<laughs> I love trolling Noah and people on Twitter. Noah posted a clip of him playing on the Samsung Tab S9 Ultra. So I'm going to comment. I'm like, bro, it's called Warzone Mobile, not Warzone Tablet. Because that's what all these kids say to us. These, there's so many kids that are mad if people use tablets and they don't think it's fair. A tablet's not a mobile. It's not a mobile device. People are goofy, bro. Do you ever see yourself playing Valorant? No. No. I, I get asked that all the time and I answer it the same way every time. I don't play Valorant. I don't like Valorant and I think Valorant's boring. <laughs> so there... That's my thought process on Valorant. Your game ping is 19. My ping is 190. Oof. I mean, I'm lucky. Uh, I live in a city that has a server like in it. I'm in Los Angeles, so we have servers in LA. Why you make so many YouTube channels? I remember Harry Potter channel and all the random channels. Well, it wasn't a Harry Potter channel. I just played it on uh, like a PC gaming channel. I know I've made a lot of channels, Warrior Kings, but for now, I, it's just this one channel, okay? This, this one channel is the only channel I post on. Sometimes I upload on my New State mobile channel, but other than that, I don't do anything. I know I, had, I used to have an Arena Breakout channel when I was partnered with them, but I don't do that anymore. Um, that game was a lot of fun, but without, without the partnership there from Arena Breakout, I couldn't continue to justify sinking hours and hours and hours into the game when I had other commitments with PUBG Mobile, with Warzone Mobile, with other sponsorships and my, my main audience with crate openings and you guys wanting me to play at the time PUBG Mobile every day. You know, I didn't have time to keep playing Arena Breakout on the side, but I know I had a lot of channels, but for right now, this is the one main channel. If I do end up playing any PC games randomly, like a few months ago, we played Starfield. I'm just going to do that right here on this channel. I'm not going to mess around and be like, let's go do it over here. Will you marry me? Yes, I will marry you. Dream come true. Oh, Jaya, you're I'm Groot. That's right. That's right. I forgot that. Are we matching? What is going on? New state is dead, bro. Rip. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's dead, but it's definitely not as popular as it should be. Do you think having everything in one channel is better or having a lot of different channels? Well, I think truly having everything on different channels can help. Um, playing like mobile shooter games on one channel probably makes sense. They're all the same. I know I had a separate channel for Arena Breakout because I was part of my partnership and stuff. Um, and it wasn't Battle Royale. But like, if you're going to play Battle Royale games, you should probably do it all on one channel. Now, if you want to have multiple channels, like you want to play mobile games and then you want another channel because you want to make like cooking videos, like those are way different, right? You should probably split that up. I've experimented around in the past where I tried splitting up one channel for mobile and I wanted to do like another channel for like PC gaming, but it's so much work, especially when you're a streamer. Like I can't just stream for like six hours of God of War and then just turn around and be like, all right, let's stream six hours of PUBG Mobile. Like there's not enough time. You'd be exhausted. I didn't mean to leave the lobby. I was connecting my PS5 controller. Oh, well, rip. How long is my partnership deal with Warzone? Um, I'm not going to lie, Brian. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. I, I genuinely don't know if I'm allowed to tell you. I feel like there's like a lot of like confidentiality and stuff. 
All I'll tell you, just because I don't want to get in trouble, maybe I am allowed to tell you, I don't really know. All I'll tell you is that if my partnership ends, I would still want to keep playing Warzone Mobile. I like this game. Um, and if my partnership ends, I would hope and I would try to see if I could get, or like, another one, you know? Like, you can get multiple right, partnerships. Like, all of my friends, like Ferg and uh, Noah and Bobby, you know, they were partners with COD Mobile, like, year after year after year. So, this is definitely the type of game I would love to be a partner with for a long time, you know? I like Warzone. I don't think if my partnership ends... I'm not that type of guy where, you know, it's like, oh, my partnership's over. <laughs> like, let me tell you how I really feel about Warzone. And that's not how I am at all. I really do like this game. Whether I'm a partner or not, I really like this game. I used to play Warzone on PC back in the pandemic with my buddies. I played with Dab. You know, I played with Dab and T-Mags. And we used to run it back on Caldera back during the pandemic. Man, I love Warzone. I always thought the actual gameplay of Warzone is, like, one of the most fun games ever. Pushing enemies, buying UAVs, buying your loadout, the circle moving and shifting, and, like, people flying in, the gulag. Like, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's all so much fun. I really enjoy it. Enemy UAV active. So, yeah, I mean, I've, I've Enemy said it before, but, um, if I don't like a game, I'm not gonna partner with it, you know what I mean? Like, if I get an email in my inbox, it's like, Hey, Winsanity, do you want to be partnered with, like, My Little Pony Fairy Princess Adventures? I'm going to be like, yeah, that actually sounds awesome. But, you know, for, like, other games, I would not partner with a weird game. When I got the chance to partner with Warzone Mobile, I was like, uh, heck yeah. Warzone's freaking dope. Wow, who wouldn't want to play Call of Duty, bro? I'm not gonna lie, I do feel kind of lucky. Like, being able to play Call of Duty is a lot of fun, and it's a really cool game. I remember back in the day, bro, we used to play Call of Duty in high school, when we were, like, 13. I remember when, uh, like, Black Ops came out. Not even, it was, like, Modern Warfare 2. Like, the original Modern Warfare 2. I'm talking about, like, 2006, 2007. Like, Modern Warfare 3 came out. Like, when those games came out, when Black Ops came out when I was in high school, I remember my friends used to skip school. They all would skip school the day that Call of Duty came out. And they all pretended they were sick so they could all stay home and play Call of Duty with each other. They got their moms to let them, like, pretend they were sick and they skipped school to play Call of Duty every year when it came out. COD destroyed your grades? Dude, I'm sure Call of Duty had an effect on my grades, too. I didn't play it all that much, but I remember I went through a little bit of a phase where I definitely grinded Call of Duty. I prestiged a couple times on the original Black Ops. That was the where like um that was the first Call of Duty that had like Nuketown and it had uh firing range and jungle and like it had the original like Keener to Toten zombies and stuff. The original Black Ops was awesome. It had a campaign and everything and like you had to uh, it was like in the Cold War and you were trying to like stop Cuba from like getting nukes and stuff. It, dude, that was so much fun. I played that when I was like 13 or 14. I remember grinding that game on my like PS3. Dude, I honestly though, like if you would go, if you went back in time. To like 13 year old Winsanity and you were like, hey buddy, um, in the future, you're gonna be like partnered with Call of Duty and you're gonna get to play Call of Duty on YouTube. Right here. My like brain, I would have been like, what? <laughs> like it's kind of a dream come true for like little teenage Winsanity, man. So I do feel really lucky to be able to to work with Call of Duty. That's that's pretty cool, dude. It's it is a lot of work to be a streamer and a YouTuber, but it's fun, you know. We do get to play a lot of games. I mean, there's a lot of editing, and there's a lot of meetings, and there's a lot of not-so-fun stuff, just like every job. But you still get to play games. That's cool. What's up, James? 37, I played all the COD games. I stood outside shops for hours on release of some COD games. Madness. I remember that, dude. I don't think I ever did it for Call of Duty, but I did do the midnight release when Skyrim came out. 
I remember it came out November 11th, 2011. So it was like this magical day. It was 11, 11, 11. And I remember waiting outside. And uh, standing in line outside a GameStop. You missed 2013? I know. Simpler times, right? Oh, I'm getting sniped from over there. Oh. Oh my god, bro. These nerds. Yeah, that's right. Push me. Bro, my explosives actually worked. Rip, I kind of missed that mortar. Well, there's definitely real people in this lobby because bots don't call precisions. Dude, I didn't know there was a guy right there. It's Bumbo again. You know the drill. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Bumbo's my teammate. What am I saying? Oh, hell no, nah, bro. No way. Okay, Bumbo, you're kind of good at this game. Save me. Save me. Ah! He did that on purpose. Ban him. What should I do for my birthday? You're 21. Just enjoy it, celebrate, but you don't have to go crazy, okay? A lot of people go way too crazy on the 21st birthday and something bad happens. They get too drunk, they party too hard, they hang out with the wrong people, they go to the wrong places. Um, you know, enjoy it, but at the same time, you don't have to go crazy, remember. Just because you turn 21, you're going to be 21 for at least for the rest of your life. So you got plenty of time ahead of you. What the fuck? This guy's sniping? Oh, wait, there's snipers in the ghoulie? What? Grenade, get back. No way! Bro, what the fuck? That was the dumbest gulag I've ever had, bro. Who actually switches to their sniper rifle in the gulag? That's whack. Got a buy station here. I'm in shambles. You got executed. Bro, you got executed right in front of me. And then I died in my gulag because the guy captured the flag. Are you kidding me? As a 20 year old, I am just enjoying life right now. Don't worry, there's a lot of life to enjoy. 
I used to think that like I had to do all these fun and crazy things in my 20s because you know once you turn 30 you're just old and you can't have fun anymore and that's that's not true man life still goes on when you're 30 you can still do fun stuff in your 30s you know life is still enjoyable at 40 and 50 and 60 and you don't have to rush and try to enjoy life too much as a 20 year old in fact if you make a lot of stupid decisions as a 20 year old you're gonna regret it as a 50 year old you know Like, do you, you know, do you really need to tattoo your girlfriend's name on your forehead? Probably not, you know? <laughs> you can make some dumb decisions early on in life. Objective is to eliminate the bounty target. I think the biggest thing that I would tell people is the earlier in life that you can start saving money. I know it's not fun to, you know, put money in a savings account, you want to spend it, go get some McDonald's or, you know, like buy a video game. But like the earlier in life that you can save money, I promise you, you will not regret it. Even if it's just like $10 a month, or maybe you're 15 years old. If you could just save like $10 a month, or if you're, you know, once you get your first job, if you could just save $30 a month, every paycheck, just set aside $5, you know, I promise you, you will not regret it. That is the one thing that I learned. I learned at... I'd say I learned that like a couple years ago. Maybe at like a 25, 26 year old. So I wasn't young, but I also was... I didn't learn it at like 50, you know? Where it's like too late. But you can easily become a millionaire by like the time you're 50 if you literally just saved a little bit of money every month. Or like just like invested it. I don't know, you know? It's, it's crazy. Most people burn all their money and they don't save and then they regret it later on in life. They turn 65 or 70 years old, they want to retire and then they're like, wait, I don't have any money. You know? That's just the one tip I would give. But also, it's hard because like you don't want to save all of your money. It's like, bro, live your life. You, nobody wants to be that 80 year old man that has like 500 million dollars and it's like bro never did anything you know bro didn't live a fun life he just saved everything that's also not fun what the hell are they fighting each other or fighting what i thought they were fighting each other oh they're teammates what bro did i just get debated i just got debated i think they were faking shots to like draw me out that's crazy I, th I swear I thought I was uh, third partying him. So should I not be spending all of my money on X suits, Mr. Sanity? Is a Roth IRA more important? <laughs> no, yes, Noah. You, you of all people should spend all your money on X suits. You also should do every lucky draw in COD Mobile. Buy every bundle in Warzone Mobile. I, I know it sounds crazy, chat. Financial advice from the guy that spent every dollar on every PUBG Mobile crate <laughs> for the last five years. I do promise I kind of know what I'm talking about, though. Wow, that's really embarrassing. Who's that? Isaac? Oh, never mind. That wasn't embarrassing. If that was Bumbo, it would have been embarrassing. I will say one thing, and this may be a little controversial. This is just my this is just my opinion. So don't take offense to it. I'm just sharing my thoughts. I will say, I do not really spend a whole lot of money, if not any I really don't spend any money on any like drugs and alcohol. And now I know you're probably like, yo, it's Sandy, you're lame, bro. Drugs and alcohol, let's party. But like, no, all right. I've drank before, I drank in college, I've been drunk before. All right. I'm almost a 30-year-old man. I would be lying to you if I told you I wasn't. I will admit. It is a colossal waste of money. A colossal waste of money. Some people go out and they drink with their buddies every weekend. They go out partying every weekend. Like, drinks are expensive, guys. You go to a bar, you know, hey, yo, bartender, can I get, a, like, a mixed drink? Or, like, can I get a beer? And then they're like, all right, that'll be $17.99. That'll be $15.99. You know, it's crazy. 
So that is like, even though I make stupid financial decisions, wow, that's how we lost. Even though I spend a lot on mobile games, I don't spend money on other stuff. Like people that go out and buy like a ton of beer for the weekend and stuff like, dude, that adds up. It's a lot of money. One mixed drink is the same price as a huge bottle that'll last months. What the heck? I mean, yeah, drinks are so expensive, though. Like, if you're trying to be financially smart and you're like, all right, I'm gonna, I want to save, like, $10 a week for my future. But then you go out on the weekends and you, like, go to a bar every Saturday and buy, like, $30 in drinks and shots and beer and stuff. Like, dude, it wastes so much money. All I can say is I've never met an old person that was, like... Look, that looked back on their life and they were like, yeah, thank God I drank all those drinks and smoked all those cigarettes. You know, like most people like don't look back and think that they're thankful they did all that. So, you know, I just don't really do that. I drink water. No, Daniel, I, you're not allowed to drink anything. No water, no alcohol, no soda, no juice. Just don't drink anything. Yeah, exactly. Spending you bet it's it's better to just burn the money than it is to buy alcohol and destroy your body, exactly. Also, the older you get, if you drink too much, the next morning you feel like crap. The older you get, bro, you can't bounce back from that like you can when you're 21. Even at 28, if I have too many drinks at dinner or something, bro, the next morning I feel like crap. You don't sleep very well when you're drunk, it's not fun. So that's one thing I would say is don't waste your money on all that crap. I know it sounds lame because we used to make fun of people when they said that and they, they would come to our high school and they'd say, you know, you don't need alcohol to have fun. And we're like, <laughs> losers. And then, but like, literally, it's true. You don't need to buy alcohol to have fun. You can have fun so many other ways. Whenever I go out to like a club with my friends or a bar, I literally will buy one drink and I'll just hold on to it the whole time. <laughs> and I like don't really drink it. I'm 19 years old. Any advice for me? Um, just really make sure you try to pick a job that you enjoy. Um, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to end up picking a career that you're going to hate. It's way better to work a job that you like than you don't like. I'm going to be 20 tomorrow. What? Bumbo, I thought you were seven. Did I run the 800? Um, I ran it a couple times. I think once I went like 159, I went sub two minutes, but I didn't really run it. I ran the 400 hurdles and I ran the 400 and like the four by four and the uh the 110 hurdles i wasn't much of an 800 runner be advised gas is closing in proceed to the safe zone contract here contract marked i remember warzone saying you can cross progress from console and pc but they lied only if you started buying from mobile shop what jimmy that's jimmy 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 what are you saying right now, dude? It does work. If you buy it on PC, it works on mobile. I literally, the skin that I have right now, I bought it on PC. Jimmy, rewind my stream. I literally bought this whole bundle on Modern Warfare 3, and it works on mobile. Need ammo. Enemy UAV active. Friendly UAV online. Your teammate was sent to the gulag. They'll fight for a chance to redeploy. Hello, Island, 
What the fuck? Dude. Do I have like really high ping? I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe my gun just sucks. Coffee is also a big waste of money too. Has one of the biggest markups. Yeah, that's true. I will admit that is one of my guilty pleasures. I drink coffee every day. I make it at home though for the most part, but I have a Keurig, so I just put like pop in that pod, make a cup of coffee. But yeah, like if you buy the like the little coffee pods for a Keurig, they're like 50 cents each. But if you go to like Starbucks and buy a large coffee, it's like nine dollars. So yeah, if you if you're getting like the Starbucks coffee, that's expensive. I'm behind you. Oh, bro. I should have executed him. That would have been the ultimate disrespect. I'm going to land on these. Oh, wait, hold. someone's over here. I feel like I just scared the absolute poop out of that guy. Alright, we got real player lobbies again, chat. We're this is great. Your teammate was sent to the gulag. They'll fight for a chance to redeploy. Enemy UAV active. Enemy movement. I'm gonna try to go back to Superstore. I think that one Godzilla skin guy might have been the guy that I knocked. I, I didn't check the names. There could still be people here. I feel like there are. Yeah, yeah, there's still people here. They're fighting in the back? Above? I, maybe the roof? I'm gonna check roof real quick. What's my secondary? Dude, yeah, there's actually a lot of Godzilla skins now. Everybody's buying that bundle. I mean, I don't blame them. It's sick as heck. That makes me happy, dude. It makes me happy. Like, in PUBG Mobile, I would get a Max X suit. And, like, nobody else would have it. It's just too expensive. It's cool to see that people, like, they, they release a bundle. It's not too expensive. And, like, people actually have it. Oh, that's a whole squad. God, I have no health. I need to stim. Enemy UAV active. Alright, so far so good, dude. I'm kind of cooking a little bit. We gotta get Lodi. There are so many Godzilla skins now, dude. I think all these kids, like, woke up and bought it. <laughs> got somebody over here. I'll throw a decoy try to mess with him.
UAV active. Damn it, dude. I think the ping must be kind of high, bro. I keep getting killed by... I don't even recognize these guys' names. I didn't see what the ping was, but I feel like we might have got put in an Asia lobby. I am on the West Coast, so it is possible they could match me across the Pacific Ocean. No way, bro. Holy shit. This lobby's insane. All right, let's try that again. It was like 273 MS. What? Where is West Coast? West Coast United States in California. I mean, hold up. Why don't I just get my loadout guns? Oh, I get, never mind. Did I have loady guns? Did he take my... He took my loady guns, bro. Got my subverter back. Your teammate is redeploying. Stand by. Enemy marked. I kind of want this load out. Where's my subverter? Friendly UAV online. Bruh. Whatever. All right, I guess we're rocking with it. Dude, I have 10 kills with 36 still up. This is actually kind of lit. Bro, he's not that far. Are you kidding me? There we go. I'm like, how am I not knocking this guy? Maybe he was that far. 140 meters. That did not feel like it was that far. We're gonna have to lock it in for the end of this match, man. It's gonna get kind of crazy, I think. Where's Circle? Way out there. Yeah, this is gonna be insane. I don't know. Maybe they'll all kill each other. I have no money. Wow. I thought I'd be packing on a ton of cash. Well, hopefully they didn't uh, nerf the Ram 7 too badly, because this is what we're going with.
Oh, I need plates. Dang it, I should have bought a plate bundle. Oh, I got five plates now. W. Okay, that was really easy. Armor here. I'm good now. How do you climb this thing? Oh, it's in here. It's in here. Yeah. At least we can parachute off the tower, you know? All right, 23 up still. Okay. Well, the cat AMR is still good. Enemy marked. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just saved him so hard. Oh, bro. Bro, I just saved him so hard. Holy crap, that snipe to save him was insane. As he got knocked, too. It's full, uh, four. Okay, it's not full squads, never mind.
Oh, shot. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Deep breath. You know the drill. Yeah. You owe me an interview. Mikey here. Here's a self revive. Enemy must. W play box. What? Deep breath. You know the decoy grenade out. Fuck. God, this is insane. No way. No way. Bro, like, we went from bot lobbies to that. That is the sweatiest game I've ever played in. I had no plates either, dude. I should have. There was a plate box, like, behind the shed. I couldn't get to it, though. I got knocked going through the door. There was some douchebag under the bridge that I marked, like, 17 times. Oh, my God. That was insane. I, dude, if we could get lobbies like that every game, oh my god. Oh, we're matching. Okay. Can't fix my loadout due to the loadout glitch. Rip. What is this loadout glitch? Everyone keeps having it. I don't have it at all. Lobbies like that every game would be crazy. I know. If, if I had lobbies like that every game, dude, Warzone would never die. Is ranked mode out already? No, it's not even out yet. That's what I'm saying. That was a ranked. That felt like a ranked match. But the ranked's not out yet. There we go. I was like, come on. Come on. I know we're in a plane. Super stall. Contract here. No, seriously, give us rank. I'm never getting off this game. I know, dude. Same. Why am I always following somebody? Jump! Fuck! Are you kidding me? Or it's because we were following our stupid rando. Alright, lads, let's get it done. Objective. 
objective updated. Secure that position. Enemy UAV active. Self revive here. Got a buy station here. What the heck? Recon intel secured. Solid work. Flanking here. Enemy UAV active. I think they're listening to the stream on a little bit of a delay. Some guy climbed up the back ladder of Superstore Roof. No way. No way I don't have any freaking... I like playing this game. I The one thing that I don't like about PUBG is I don't like that there's no, like, shield or vest mechanic. I mean, I know pu PUBG is just like a... You just have a health bar, and that's more realistic. I like BRs where you can, like, put your plates back in. You can, like, build up your shield again. And, like, Apex, you can, like, recharge your shield with those, like, battery cells and stuff, you know? I really like games like that. I like that it adds another element of, like, your health. You can plate up real fast. You can quickly put in a... Uh, you can quickly put in like a shield cell mid like in between a fight, you know? Look at this kid. Freaking lost. I like doing that. I feel like it adds more to the skill gap and it adds a uh, like an outplay maneuver. Like when you're f in a crazy fight, you can slide and put in a plate and you know, like you can try to keep your health high mid fight. Cause you can't really do that in PUBG. You can't just like stop and take a whole med kit in the middle of a fight, you know? Nice knock, thanks. Yeah, that the uh, the thermite Enemy threw him off. Active. Thought I heard footsteps, but it's actually this uh, this mortar to the north. Got a buy station here. in there what I heard him run out that's crazy I literally heard him run out into my smoke and there's still a guy in there maybe there were two in there Okay, that could have been bad. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden the lobbies got insane. Maybe the devs heard me complain. They're like, he's talking about bots. Put him in the sweat lobbies. He'll regret everything. Give him the Asia server. Copy, buy station. What? Oh, where's that from? That's over here, right?
Okay. Enemy movement. Enemy movement. I don't know, understand why he doesn't pick up all the armor plates. There's a lot of times where I want him to auto loot the armor and he won't do it. And I clearly have enough space for it. Sometimes, I think earlier when I was complaining last stream about not having any plates, I feel like he wasn't picking them up when he should have been. Uh, what is that, a most wanted you marked? Okay, we got a vehicle out here too. The wasp would go so good with the cat matchy matchy. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I just have to put it together. I don't have like a complete loadout right now that does that. Or do I? Wait, maybe I could. Oh, guy right here. I this is the free loady. I could actually loot this. Let me uh let me drop my cat. Get the uh wasp nine and the subverter. I'll take the cat AMR. And now we got the wasp. Enemy UAV active. Enemy movement. 
Yeah, I don't know about this wasp, guys. That that did not have the damage I needed. Maybe it just felt good in multiplayer because players uh, people don't have plates, you know. This thing is not that great for battle royale, especially because I don't have an optic on it. Dang it, he self res. Oh my god. Okay, this zone is like really moving. This is fun. Like, all the way up in the northwest corner of the map. This is like getting a Zarky zone on PUBG Mobile. That never happens. These guys are a bunch of sweats. Enemy what the fuck? Can't snipe because of the flinch, bro. Oh my god, the effing gas mask. Either put it on or take it off. Put on the gas mask, you idiot. I don't understand. He won't put it on, bro. He's like, yeah, let me just choke for a few seconds first. That was a crazy fight. Yeah, I knew those guys were sweats. The way they were running together and all had, like, ghost skins on. Moving. They let me get my self-res off, which was a big mistake. Because I was able to get up and knock them and crack them. Oh, what? That was... Bro, I missed. I literally missed. How did I knock him? Huh? I, I swear to God, I thought I missed. Chat, I'm built different. Even when I miss, I hit. Here. 
There we go. Those are the plates I needed. Nice. Yeah, the gas mask can be a little bit frustrating because half the time I want him to like not have it on, but then he'll take it off and then put it on. And I'm like, just leave it off. <laughs> it's so annoying. I'm pretty sure in PC Warzone now they have it where like you literally could just put it on. Like you can manually do it now. So if you come out of the zone, but you're like trying to make a play, he'll just keep the gas mask on for the sake of, you know, priorities. Yeah, that was actually a pretty good win. How many kills did I have? Like 11? 13. Oh. Oh, we kind of popped off. Okay, 6,000 damage again. That's back-to-back 6,000 damage games. Dude, I want to go to sleep. Like, I'm getting tired, but I'm actually having so much fun now that we got crazy lobbies. These games are worth it. All right, here. Let me take a second, and I'm going to send this... I'm going to send this Godzilla video to my editor so that he can work on it when he wakes up. Was it this one? All right, let me... multiplayer let's stay dude resolution low don't want to I want to play warzone nobody believes me all right, I just got to find a good gameplay from one, uh, earlier. Ah, uh, there was the plunder gameplay. Oh, yeah, this one gameplay was sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to do that gameplay. That were, yeah, yeah. The one where we... I don't know if you guys watched at the very beginning of the stream, but we were fighting that sweaty team by the tower on the airport, and they were, like, calling in mortars and resing each other, and we could hear them on voice chat. That double buyback clutch. Yeah, that match was nuts. It actually was a ton of fun. It was really intense. Chat, I'm proud of you. I haven't seen anybody complain about anything in like 12 minutes. I think that's a world record. Is this the EBR? This is garbage ass gun. Oh my god, dude. Objective updated. Secure that position. Oh, 
I hate my life. Why do I have a sniper? Oh my god. Bro, what the fuck? Why do I- I literally should have just used my pistol. The pistol's more efficient than the, whatever the hell that is, dude. I got a bolt action with no scope on it. Oh my god. Every time I get a hot drop at super that's actually fun, I land on garbage. I am scared to start a channel I don't know what to post. Well, post something that you're passionate about. What are you passionate about? It's not going to be fun for you to start a YouTube channel and, and post every day about stuff you don't care about. You have to care about it, you know? Some people try to tell me, they're like, when Sanity doesn't actually care about mobile gaming. <laughs> I'm like, what? I've done this every day for eight years. What do you mean I don't care? <laughs> Ground loot this season stinks. Yeah, it stinks, Vino. Come on, it's going to be what settings do I need to change so when I click the fire button to not scope? Um, I can show you that in one second. Hold on, Stefan. There's like a uh, hip. Uh, there's like a fire button ADS is setting. I'm gonna lose. No, I'm not. Um, hold on. Let me pull my shoot and I'll show you, Stefan. Settings, controls, gameplay, go all the way down to um, aim down sight when firing. Turn it off so that he doesn't constantly aim every time you shoot. <laughs> Wait, ground loot was good? Yeah, no, ground loot stank since Warzone came out, bro. <laughs> it's just permanently down bad. Anybody still up here? No. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Here's a gun. Wow. Is this... Oh, I was going to say. I think this is the thermal. We got to get, like, a bounty or something. Yeah, most wanted up here by that SUV. Enemy mutts. Got a buy station here. Love from Pakistan. Thank you, Tuf Itachi. Enemy movement. This does not have the best scope on it for being like a DMR. Kidding me? Oh, what the? F oh my God! Bro, that's so dumb. Nice grenade. Dude, it said it was going to throw it over. It didn't say it was going to bounce it in my face. The little, like, arc thing. Oh my god, this boom grinder kid is so freaking annoying. I have have him blocked. Yep, he just posted some nonsense on Twitter about 19 minutes ago. So stupid. There's this clip growing around where Ferg was streaming and he his iPad was lagging. And everyone is like, look, 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 even on iPads it lags. Even on iPad it lags. And the problem, and I love Ferg, I love Ferg. The problem is... Ferg plays with his iPad completely flat on the desk, so it probably gets hot as hell, and he doesn't use a cooler. So, I don't, I don't know, man. That would probably cause it to lag. He's also streaming, too. 
And the one thing that no one ever understands, no one, the one thing that no one ever understands is that uh, streaming makes your iPad lag too. Because 99.9% .9 of people aren't streamers. So trying to stream with a mobile device also causes it to heat and lag. So he's playing face down on uh, the table with no fan or anything. And he's streaming. So yeah, of course it's going to lag. I don't know why I'm at the buy station. I don't have any money, bro. Yeah, GG's. Fuck, dude. I should have landed on the loadout. I'm so stupid. I don't know why I landed on the buy. Tell him, dude. I, I have told him. I, I don't... I think he just... He feels the most comfortable playing that way. So I don't think he wants to change it. Which is fair, but... I mean, it, it's... Unfortunately, with a game like Warzone, that's just not possible. I mean, with COD Mobile, it's possible. He literally plays, like, flat on the desk. And can play like with his fingers. And it works for COD Mobile, but I don't think it's going to work with Warzone. What's up, Zach? No worries, dude. I had messaged Cold at the same time, and he said yes. Yeah, so I just threw some... It, I only needed like a minute of footage, so thanks. It's fine, though. Yeah, there's no airflow, exactly. Like, it's not that the f iPad gets hot. It's that when you lay it down... It gets hot, and then it gets even hotter, and it can't cool off. What the fuck is going on? Get up. You owe me an interview. That was not that, that high up, dude. Pick up the wasp stinger. Look, I, why won't he pick anything up? I have nothing, and he won't pick this gun up. Here's a self revive. I'm okay playing Warzone, but at the end of the, at the end zone, I do bad. Yeah, it does take a lot of practice. That's why I play the game so much. That's why it's actually so hard for me to like try to play so many different games for you guys. Like if I, if I switched and was like, we're gonna do PUBG today, Warzone tomorrow, we'll do PUBG on Sunday, Warzone on Monday. Like if I kept switching games like that, it would be impossible for me to improve as a Warzone player. This game is so sweaty and takes so much practice. That switching over to a different game with different controls, that's third person and this is first person, like it's it's really difficult to do that. I definitely struggle. When I went back to PUBG last week after playing Warzone for a week and a half, I felt like a bot. You guys are getting wins. Yeah, we're winning a lot.
I'm not really having a great match this game. Boom made a short about you. Boom is an idiot. Make a short about that, Boom. Boom, you're an idiot. If Boom actually focused on doing something productive with his life instead of making stupid videos on the internet, he might actually be a real COD Mobile partner and not faking it in his Twitter bio. Located an airstrike. Need recon overhead. Copy that. UAV online and opting the AO. UAV is exiting the AO. Dude, who is Boom? Boom is a stupid COD Mobile YouTuber from India that keeps making stupid videos about me. He Boom watches my streams and then clips the streams. Like, this kid is a loser. He literally watches every stream, every minute of every stream, and as soon as I say something... He clips it and puts it on Twitter for drama. Like, did you guys see what Winsanity said about androids on his stream? And then he gets all this drama and stuff. Boom's an idiot. There's a couple guys. It's not just Boom. There's a few other guys that are dumb. And they do it all the time. His name is Boom. It's Boom the Grinder. I have him blocked. He made it. He literally just made a stupid short where he clipped me saying, Yeah, this game runs really good on an iPad. And then he spliced in... Ferg's footage of his iPad lagging because it was overheating because Ferg plays with his iPad completely flat on the table and doesn't like give it any airflow. Again, it makes no sense arguing a cooler should be necessary. The whole idea of mobile gaming is portability. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Listen, I agree. You shouldn't have to use a cooler. But if you want to play Warzone Mobile right now, you're going to have to get one. That's just the sad truth. You shouldn't need one. Hopefully, they optimize the game to the point where you don't need one. But it, right now, you do. There are either two options. Either complain about it or, or wait for them to optimize the game, or the third option is to buy a cooler. Alright? I decided instead of complaining about it, I was just gonna buy a cooler. I solved my problem. It's not that hard. I wish I didn't need a cooler, but you need a cooler. That's just the truth. It sucks, but it's true. PUBG Mobile makes devices hot. Yeah, my device gets warm playing PUBG Mobile too, guys. It's just the truth. These tiny devices that are six inches big my iPad that's like one centimeter thick. Yeah, it gets hot. I never said, just get a cooler. This game needs a cooler. I'm just saying, in order to play it right now, in the month of April, before they optimize, if you want to play the version that's unoptimized, get a cooler. That's all I'm saying. That's because of the stupid Infinity Ward engine? I know. I know, guys. I'm not an idiot. I, I know these things. I am, I'm aware. There's nothing we can do about it. This game was made by 11 different studios and hundreds of dedicated people over the course of like three years. It is not easy to make a full console game work on mobile. This game was not made by Winsanity. So I don't know. I don't know how to make games, chat. I just play them. Oh my God. 
I mean, honestly, the difference is the difference with the lag and stuff. It's literally the heat. I play on the same device that Ferg does. I have the, the I watched the clip, the frame drops and lag that he gets. I never get that. But I also play with a bunch of fans and cooling stuff, you know? I could not imagine how hot my iPad gets. If I laid it flat on the table like he does, dude, I can't. That would be insane. All right, I'm going to have to switch up to a sniper here real quick. The hell's our loadout? Why isn't it letting me pick it up? Pick up. What? No way. Bro, I got the driver. I didn't think he was just going to freaking beam me. That sucks, dude. I actually knocked the driver out of the car. That was sick. Rip. I was going for the double. I was like, bro, if I could get both knocks, this would be the sickest clip ever. Hill Glitch has been in PUBG Mobile since the release. Exactly. I know. It's just... Like, they literally have never fixed that. We've given... We told them for years to fix that, and they won't do it. How to change the finisher move? You can't right now, life. They haven't added the custom finishers to mobile yet. They'll add it in the future. He's on the wall. I carried so hard that game with my like three kills. Five. Wow. Sorry. I had five. Got to hop off GG's for the third time. All right, dude. I'll see you later, Isaac. I might hop off too. It's been eight hours. So that's a full day of work for me, lads. I think it's time to clock out. That was fun though. We got to check if how much we leveled these guns up. Uh, W actually, we got the, uh, we got this all the way to level 17 and we got the shaped, uh, what is this? The, the WSP nine, we got this all the way to level 19, but I don't think that's enough. We literally needed to get it to level 20 in order to unlock that supersonic or that, that like sonic suppressor or whatever it is. Buy a console, then play the original instead of wasting money on a new device. Yeah, if, you, if you're if you going to buy a whole brand new device just to play Warzone Mobile, you could literally buy a PlayStation 5 for probably less money. But if you already have a good mobile device, then you could also, you know, you could play Warzone Mobile. But I, I probably wouldn't recommend anybody go out and buy a brand new device just for Warzone Mobile. 
unless you have a lot of money and you just love mobile games and um i i like to play mobile even though i have a console and a pc i still like to play mobile because i feel like i'm good at touchscreen i play every day on a touchscreen i'm really bad at controller and keyboard and mouse yeah gg's bumbo gg's isaac boom put a short of your stream 38 minutes ago i know boom's an idiot we got to figure out who he is in the chat and ban him boom if you're watching this uh stream you're an idiot i had to check because you said it i know i told you guys i kept joking all night i'm like you know can't wait to wake up in the morning and see what tomfoolery they post about me today These guys are just butt hurt. I don't know why. Like, I get it. If you're going to hate on Warzone, like, when it launches, whatever. But if you're going to hate on Warzone a week later, two weeks later, three weeks later, that's just corny behavior. That's just childish. There's so many other good games out there. If you don't like Warzone, fine. Go play Bloodstrike. Go play PUBG. Go play COD Mobile. Like, there's so many other games out there. If you're literally still hating on Warzone Mobile three weeks later, there's something wrong with you. That's weird. You don't see me out here making 13 videos in a row. Uh, dogging on Free Fire. If I don't like it, I don't play it. You know, I don't talk about it. I don't play it. I'm not out here making fun of other stupid games. What's up, Tossin? I know you're from the Power Bang era. That's right. What an era. Steven is boom. I knew it. I knew it. They say keep your enemies close. But keep your friends. No, they don't say that. Keep your friends close. Keep your enemies closer. That's what it is. I always knew it, bro. It had to be somebody close. Gotta run. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, likely, likely exit there, Steven. I see. Can you edit your lobby? You mean like, uh, like the background? I don't believe so, no. How are the new Shimo skins? Oh, dude, they're bussing. They're so good. Um, if you want to rewind the stream, I'm about to end it, Sub-Zero. But if you rewind the stream, you can rewatch. We bought the bundle. We checked out the skins. We tested them out in Modern Warfare 3. Overall, they're dope. Is the new is this the new operator skin for Shimo? Yes, this is the Shimo operator skin. It's uh it's technically the operator is byline, and it's a Shimo skin for byline. You should get your own skin in Warzone Mobile. <laughs> nah, it probably won't happen. Unfortunately, Call of Duty tried doing some skins last year with some YouTubers, and it didn't really go well. Those YouTubers kind of got into some drama, and then Call of Duty was like, oh, man, I don't know if we should. Then they, they like, took those skins out of the shop because of all the drama, and then people got mad, and it was not that cool. So I feel like Activision probably is like, yeah, we're not going to do any more YouTuber skins because the last time we did it, we had some problems. <laughs> So it's unfortunate. Love the hat. Thank you. This is literally my this is my new Warzone mobile hat. We you know we had to we had to switch up the hat. So I've got my other hat. This is PUBG Mobile when we play PUBG Mobile. But I've got my Warzone mobile hat. This is Warzone Mobile right here. When are the Godzilla skins coming? They're already in the game. Lokender, Candwall. I have them right here. Right there. That is the Godzilla skin. In the shop. Do I need to turn on nade trajectories separately? What what are nade trajectories, potatoes? You mean the direct throw? Like where you tap it once and they just automatically throw it? Just watch the boom guy short. Riggs is farming views on Warzone Mobile Hate. I know, man. Hopefully soon he moves on and just covers some other content because it's getting kind of annoying. We get it. The game is not perfect. It needs to be optimized. How many times can you make the same video? When you when you make videos like that, you're not really getting fans. You're not getting true subscribers. You're not getting. You're not building a community. It's just a bunch of people that come together on the video and they're like, "I'm mad. Well, I'm mad too." Hey, I'm also mad. Let's all be mad about Warzone in the comments. And I'm mad. And yeah, this sucks. Yeah. And then they leave. 
Like, what's the point of that, you know? All right. Uh, how to change scope to hold. Here you go. Go into controls. Is it interface? No, no, no. It's in gameplay. Where is it? Um, aim down sight behavior, hold or toggle. Toggle is like you tap it to scope in, you tap it to scope out. Hold is like you hold it down and then when you let up, it will unscope. So this right here, aim down sight behavior, it's, it's underneath combat in the gameplay tab. Boom, Stealth, and other YouTubers are just farming hate vids for easy cash. Well, it's dumb, though, dude. I'm not going to lie. Listen, I, I just... Guys, I just made a video a few hours ago on my channel, right? In that video, in that video, I showed you guys an example of a crate opening, right? That did 200,000 views. 200,000 views. I also showed you guys that crate opening video only made me $209, okay? $209. So from that, we could assume, let's say, for every thousand views, you make a dollar, okay? So Riggs has made what? And I'm not trying to make fun of Riggs. I like Riggs, but I'm just saying, for all these YouTubers out here that are hating on Warzone Mobile and they think it's cool, um, like, let's look at Riggs. He's made how many videos about Warzone Mobile? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight videos about Warzone Mobile. And he's gotten about, let's see, 30,000, 45,000, 70,000, 90,000, 110,000. He's gotten about 160,000 views. Oh, and then this other one did uh, 40. He's got about 200,000 views on all of his Warzone Mobile hate videos. So, was it worth it? 200,000 views makes about 200 bucks. So, he put all this hate out there. Caused all this drama. I'm sure Activision is never going to want to work with him. He just made an announcement recently that said he's not a PUBG Mobile partner either. So, he has no partnership with no game. He's causing a lot of trouble. And it, it makes someone like myself question, do I want to play with Riggs? Do I want to be seen interacting with Riggs? I don't like, I like the guy. I do. But you have to like often wonder if you see your people you hang out with make some stupid decisions. You have to be like, oh, I was like, is that going to make me look bad? You know? So was that all that worth it for $200? Probably not. Same with Stealth and same with Boom. Yeah, you made a couple hate videos. You got 50k views, whatever. You made 40 bucks. Was it worth it? I'm not trying to cause drama. I know that this is probably going to cause drama. I'm going to wake up. There's going to be somebody's going to clip it. Boom's going to have it on Twitter. He's going to tag Riggs. I'm just trying to show you guys, like, from a professional standpoint, as a YouTuber. It usually doesn't really make sense to, like, engage in drama and hate and everything, you know? When there's so many other things you can do that are positive. But as, as I'm not trying to single out Riggs. He's not the only one. I get it. I know that when you're like, oh, like, these videos are doing really well. You know, like, if he averages, like, 10,000 views a video, but now all of a sudden he's getting, like, 50,000, I get it. You want to ride a trend. You want to perform well. He's getting subs, you know. I saw he's gained, like, a 1,000 subs since that. I get it, you know. You want to do well. You want to... It's, it's tough to be a YouTuber. Sometimes you got to scrap and claw for every, every possible view. So why are we talking about him if you don't want drama? Because people were asking about it and stuff. So I'm going to stop talking about him. Because I, I'm not trying to cause drama. Yeah, it's getting old and annoying. I mean, everyone, everyone is like, why does he keep doing this? Like, every time I wake up on YouTube, 
um, I, I make my coffee. I sit at my desk. I open up YouTube, and then right there, right on the front page, is a new Riggs video five hours ago. Warzone Mobile is failing. Okay, Riggs. <laughs> like, it's weird. Exactly, James. People are dying in the streets. There's homelessness. There's wars, famine, and all we all we can do right now is argue over a mobile game. It's far far bigger problems in the world. I like Riggs, guys. I do. I've talked to him a lot. He's a cool guy. But I just, I just, I know now that like, if there's any kind of drama, he's gonna cover it. He made a video about me. You know, when I made, when I commented that one thing, I said, not just YouTubers can have iPads. Anybody can have iPads. He made a whole video about that. Everybody made a whole video about that. Winsanity thinks everybody can afford an iPad. What is Winsanity stupid? Not everybody's rich. Not everybody can buy an iPad. And Riggs was one of the first people to make a video about that. You know. I thought we were cool, but uh, hey, yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess, I guess we can make some drama. Make a little drama. Got to make that paper, baby. Got to make that $35. Thesaurus says, when is the next crate opening? Right, right now, man. Right now. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Let's open a set of 10. Just one last time. I said I wasn't going to do any more crate openings, but here we are. <sighs> Oh no, Chet. I don't know. Can I resist? You guys wanted an X suit opening. Let's do it. Is it even in the game? It is. The Ignis X suit. Oh, oh my god. Don't do it. Not worth it. No. Guys, I can't help it. I can't help it. I haven't opened a crate in over nine hours. One last time. Hear this, PUBG? One last time. This is it. I'm going to open my first of the day. I'm going to get an X suit. You, this is your one last chance to hook me forever. Give me an X suit on the first of the day. Wow, they actually gave me a, a grenade though. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, we got a we got an upgradable grenade, a, a gun lab grenade. That's actually pretty insane. What? Dang, chat. We actually got a legendary. Okay, PUBG wants me to stay. Oh, <laughs> PUBG wants me to keep opening, yo. I said I wouldn't do it, guys, but you see, the thing is, I'm woefully addicted to mobile games. Okay. Glasses. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a slippery slope. Can we get an X suit? Oh, I got the lion emote? Wait, actually? Wait, is that the emote you said is sick? Is it? What is that emote? Wait. Wow. Wait, what? No way. Wait, on the first set of 10, literally thesaurus in my chat. He goes, the lion emote is pretty insane. Well, there you go. We got it. Look at that. W. Actually, wait, I'm curious. I, I do want to look at it. I literally don't know. What does this X suit even look like? I actually don't know. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm not actually going to open it, but I, I don't even know what it looks like. Basic form. Okay, that's pretty sick for basic because it is even animated. Advanced form. Okay, we get the shoulder thing. Okay. Final form. Now he gets like armor and he's got the red cape. And then we have radiant form, which gives us the glider, which is a full on Pegasus. He also gets the orbiter. And he gets the summon. Okay, that's pretty crazy. 
Oh, wait, there are two forms? Oh! Oh, you can actually turn off the stupid lion on the shoulder. I didn't really like that. Yo, this is actually pretty cool. We got the victory broadcast, okay. The shock and awe. Oh. That is actually crazy. What are the chances? You called it, bro. Dude, that's... That's the entry emote? That's actually kind of insane. They did cook with this X suit. I would max this. If we get a sponsor. If we get a sponsor. I think we have a sponsor coming. Alright, I'm working on it. Somebody said the AMR is sick. What does the AMR look like? Is this it? The Scorching Blessing? What the heck? Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. It's like a... Uh, it's like a sword. Yeah, I know it literally... Yeah, the sword's on the loot crate. The hit effect. Oh, the hit effect is like a lion. I mean, it better be a good hit effect. You only got 10 shots. The elimination broadcast is pretty fire. D Yo, that's dope. And then the explosion effect. So we have this frag now. But I think we need to get the gun in order for the frag to like... Bro, that's what they did. That's why they did it. They gave me the frag because the frag doesn't work unless you have the gun. I'm not spending my money, PUBG. You tried to get me. You tried to get me. You're like, oh, just give him the gun. Or just give him the grenade. Just give him the grenade and then he'll get the gun. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. All right? I'm going to keep my money in my bank account where it belongs. They're crazy. All right, the X suit is cool, but you know what? So are the other 10 ones, so... All right, guys, I am going to end my stream now. No drama, no hate. I love everyone. I love each and all of you. May you be blessed. Positivity, go spread it in the world. If you see someone complaining about Warzone, just give them a hug. All right? There's enough hate out there. Let's just try to be nice to each other. Except, boom, you're an idiot. All right, guys, I will see you later. Peace out. Thanks for watching. And I will re return another day. Hey, boom. You should clip me saying you're an idiot and put it on Twitter. Bye, everybody.